We're live at Collectco for tonight's Facebook record sale. When you're on and watching, be sure to say hi and hello or any other form to let us know that you are here and with us. Matt Ketrin is lightning fast, folks. He is lightning fast. That fast. Boom. He's on and watching. Absolutely incredible speed with Matt Ketrin. Absolutely incredible. Good luck beating him for the first comment. Folks, it's not going to happen. Alrighty. I've also got to go over here and plug the music. I've got, or uh, mute the music. I've got Nirvana absolutely blaring. Nothing wrong with that, huh? Absolutely not. Let's go here and get some of this tagged. Go ahead and get tonight's sell on the road, as they call it. The show on the road. Alrighty. So, welcome. Welcome, greetings, and salutations. I'm getting the KISS records over a little bit closer. Got to get the KISS records over just a little bit closer. Let me move this gigantic tub of posters. We actually hadn't moved anything since the last time we were live, which was Saturday night. I got to do a few things first here. What is this here? Let me move some stuff out of my way. Please get out of my way, cart. Out of my way. Thank you, cart. All right, cart is out of my way. All right. This would be a great time for me to have some kind of intro video while y'all are letting me, while y'all are patiently waiting for me to get this show on the road, as they say. Let's go ahead and start getting everything shared and tweeted and liked and commented and posted and, you know, all that stuff. All right. And as you know, I'm not even we're close to looking at comments yet. You can ask me all the questions in the world. I'm not nowhere even close ready to answer the first one. Not even close to answering the first question. So, but you can send them. I may or may not see them. I'm trying to get some empty crates over here so we can go ahead and get rolling. I've got a cool uh, couple records to show you. And, uh, of course, we got lots of cool kiss stuff. I've got it sorted by condition, thanks to Laura, who helped us get all this stuff ready. Shout out, Laura. Our most recent addition to the Coletco team here. She's got lots of experience. Did you file your taxes after you break the camera? Yeah, I just accidentally ran a tub into the camera. hope it's all okay. All right, I'm opening my phone now. And I'm going to start officially getting all this all shared. So let me go ahead first and go to Coletco and get this thing shared. Welcome, everybody. There's my hand. How about we go ahead and put an auction up while everybody's hopping on? Let's go ahead and get started with a KISS record while everybody's on and watching. This is called, what is this called? But let me go ahead hit the like button, folks. 33 likes and 107 viewers. What in the world? What is wrong with y'all? Uh, 112 on Facebook and only 37 likes. That's an issue. Let's fix that right now. I'm also going to copy the link. I'm going to get it shared in multiple groups. I need y'all to do the same. Let's bump that up there fast, really fast. Let's share it there. I'm also going to share it here. And I'm also going to share it here. All right, now let's go over here and copy let's go over here where i shared everything in the group today and everything else so let me click on my name inside of the group and let's see here there's the first video i posted and here's gonna be our first uh, kiss record which is an unofficial live now let me go ahead and get this going all right still gotta do some sharing but this is a wicked lester and Prodigy Demo Sessions, and the vinyl is nice. EX Plus or better, $20 start on Wicked Lester Demos. That is a unofficial pressing. First Kiss record going up for auction. 
right now. And I hadn't even looked at comments, so I'll have to come back and revisit that in a second and see where we're actually at. But that way, at least somebody's bidding on something, because I know y'all are going to like that. I know y'all are going to like that. So Wicked Lester Zari up for auction. Now, I've also got some ads running for this stuff. Here's the first one. Let me share this link here. And let me put this and say we're live now. Wicked Lester, three, four, five, twenty dollar bids already. I just walked by the monitor. And we have uh you reply to this guy. Everybody caught my faux pas. I put the wrong date. I put March 15th. It took a long time for somebody to actually notice. I figured most people don't even look at that. That's kind of, they just glance over it. And uh, I think that's it. I got that kiss video. I'm, I got that ad running. Let me delete this and put it where live. It's getting a lot of activity. Wicked Lester's at 35, by the way. I'm almost done. I'm almost done with my Facebook sharing. And I've told everybody this is where I'd need a, some kind of intro video with like cool music and showing all the amazing records we've sold here in the last five years. It'd be a really cool video, but uh, uh, I got to pay somebody to produce that right quick. So if anybody's into video producing, let me know. Be a cool little gig for Coletco. And now let's go over here to YouTube. Make sure you've liked the YouTube video. Make sure you've liked uh, the uh, Facebook post, YouTube and Facebook post. I'd greatly appreciate it. Let me click over here and let me open the YouTube video and then we're going to get started in just a second. All right, 17 likes on YouTube. We need to get that to like 150 like we usually do. Please do that. All right, let's hit copy link and let's get that to our story. And then folks, we're going to be ready to get Monday night and a new fresh week started here at Coletco. Hope everybody's ready. Let's go ahead and let's see here. Let's go favorites. Let me find a good picture to post. And we'll get started here. Let's use this one right here. All right, that works for me. Link. Live now, last thing. All right, welcome everybody. I am opening my chat and I think we're ready to get started. Now, I think I saw where Wicked Lester was at 40. And let me go over here. Now, I want to remind everybody what I just posted in the group. I just posted in the group a very nice reminder right here that says, all outstanding invoices with a March date of before must be paid by Friday of this week. If not, we'll have to cancel and resell them, and that could jeopardize your account from buying with us again. So essentially, if you have an invoice, we give two weeks to pay. I think it actually marks them like one week, and I think some of them now even get marked immediately if you're a new customer, because we would expect that you can pay immediately. But essentially, if you got an invoice from March or before, and it hadn't been paid, we need to have payment by Friday, or it could jeopardize you buying from us again. So hopefully you don't have anything three weeks overdue. If so, you've got to get it paid. So you can, if not, we got to resell. So if you have something more than three weeks overdue, you've got about five days to pay or we have to cancel and it could jeopardize you ever buying from us again. Now I put in there, please communicate. So if you got something, if you can say, Chad, I can't pay on Friday, but I can pay you on Monday or Tuesday, I promise, then you might want to send that to us immediately. Because we're going to be sending manual reminders. Hey, please pay this by Friday or Saturday. If not, then we're going to have to cancel. Ed and Tanner going to be doing that. And Doug and me, probably mostly me because they don't have time. So I'll be sending a lot of reminders. All right, let's get the show officially started. This is Wicked Lester. This is Wis Wicked Lester Demos. It's an unofficial first kiss auction. First kiss auction. And who has the high bid? Whoever had the high bid, go ahead and send it again. I'm going to start by going through some new, new vinyl here. I think we've been through this several times already, but we're going to go through it again. I've got four crates of new vintage. 
The new vinyl, I've kind of, we did a big sale and I've got some of our best titles condensed now. So last week we sold two full crates of on sale new vinyl. I'm about to go through some of the stuff on the table. There was supposed to be a huge delivery today and the U, the UPS man who is evidently, um, he's usually a, it must be somebody new because they did not deliver our packages. There were seven people inside the store working and they didn't call the pickup line. They just left a note and left. So like, Nine crates of new vinyl didn't get de uh, delivered today, so that's pretty crazy. Who had the bid on Wicked Lester? Somebody did. Who was that last bidder? I saw it before I clicked on the feed. I need to update on that. Dave Serretin is at $45. Here we have. This is Alabama Shake Sound and Color. That's a deluxe edition 2LP. Red and black, pink, mixed colored vinyl. That's Alabama Shakes, $39.99. I have Eat the Elephant, A Perfect Circle, $46.99, $46.99 for Perfect Circle, and the Virgin Suicide soundtrack. I still have both of those, $33.99. So this starts a new week, new invoice and cycle. So invoices went out today. They've all been sent. So you might want to check your messages. You might want to check this. You might want to check that. We've got our first two sales of the night and the week. Eric Fisher gets Alabama. Derek Zarzaro gets Eat the Elephant, A Perfect Circle. Still got Virgin Suicides. I have an amazing box set here, The Band. A classic album, music from the Big Pink, that is $79.99. We have Joe Satriani, Not of This Earth. That is his debut album from 1986 on blue vinyl for music on vinyl, numbered to $1,500 for $39.99. And we have Half Speed Master, a Half Speed Master of Rush moving pictures. Now, the other night I was reading off all these incredible titles of metal auctions we hadn't got to and other hard rock like Damn Yankees and ACDC and Striper and Dio and Black Sabbath and Michael Shanker. I still got all those over here. That's the stuff we didn't finish. So it's not just KISS auctions tonight. I know a lot of people are tuned in for some of these KISS auctions. However, we got some other great stuff. We're going to start out with Michael Shanker group here, Assault Attack. This is going to be a $15 start. The vinyl is super clean. There is a crease that runs through the cover, but this is OG MSG Assault Attack. $15 start on that. So we sold the first two, Alabama and Eat the Elephant. There's Rush. We got the new Judas Priest, Invisible Shield on red vinyl, $48.99. Van Morrison Moondance. Hope everybody has a copy of this. This is like if I were to make Chad's Top 100 Essentials, on my opinion, that would be in there. Also, Bob Seger's Greatest Hits, $39.99. Pantera, Far Beyond Driven, $33.99 for Pantera. Dave Matthews Band, remember two things. Their debut album, that's $39.99. We also have, I was listening to this, that's wild. I was listening to that and that uh, in commuting the last couple of days. Invisible Touch, one of my favorites. Invisible Touch, Domino, what an amazing song. That's $33.99. Derek Zazaro, first on the Dave Matthews Band. If you're new, welcome. We're going to be auctioning Kiss. There's a lot of people here tonight to probably to buy Kiss albums. They're going to be sold back here on the auction block between now and like 11 o'clock. So if you're here for Kiss Records, buckle up. You're going to be seeing some cool stuff all night long. And then we're going to have another auction probably going as well. Stuff like Dio and Black Sabbath and Kiss or I've already said KISS, and ACDC. I've got another crate like that to go through, and it's also fantastic stuff. Circle Jerks, Wild in the Streets, $36.99. The Essential, Stevie Ray Vaughan. I'm waiting for us to sell this last copy. It's two LPs. It's $33.99. We still got Ill Communication by the Beastie Boys for $46.99, and that last copy of Painkiller by Judas Priest, $29.99. So the first KISS auction is the Wis Wicked Lester uh, demos, and that is with Bill Samus for $60. Bill Samus has that for $60. That is our first KISS auction. That's going twice, going three times. And Michael Schenker Group has one bid for $15. That's a final call. Michael Peevler wants the Stevie Ray Vaughan. That's so to Michael Peevler. Thank you. And Anthony Riddle gets Judas Priest. That is so to Anthony Riddle. That was just what we call a warm-up bin. Those are titles that I've probably went through four or five times, but i got to have something to start the show with. Now, I'm about to uh, bring over our first crate of new vintage stuff, but before that, I got to find a box of uh, sleeves that are around here somewhere. Okay, they're right here next to me. Right where they are. We hadn't moved anything from uh, Saturday night's sale. We didn't have anything uh, Sunday going on, so we're still right here from Saturday night. Uh, everything's still right here next to me. I gotta, I'll gotta. i be re-sleeving a lot of stuff tonight. Guy Harbridge, I am fresh out of Stevie Ray Vaughan, but I'm definitely going to order more. If you want on a waiting list, let me know. Michael Schenker Group all of a sudden has new bids, and so does the Wicked Lester. It's now a 70. This first crate, 
had Beastie Boys, Circle Jerks, Genesis, Pantera, Bob Seger's Greatest Hits, Van Morrison, Judas Priest, Rush, Joe Satriani, The Band, and The Virgin Suicides. Welcome any first-time new viewers, and welcome back all of our regulars. We've been live streaming here on Facebook for about five years now, so this is nothing new to us. We do this now six nights a week. Sometimes we do it seven days a week. Sometimes we do a Sunday show. You just never know on Sundays. It's kind of like a day of, uh, well, for me, it's like the only day that I'm not here live streaming between six or eight hours a night. So I'm trying to not do anything as uh, far as live streaming on Sundays, but I promise I am here working. We have Michael Jacob wants a pack of outer sleeves. I'm trying to keep those up here next to me, so anytime anybody asks Michael, I have them at all times. I'll go ahead and give you a pack right now. We're also about to go through our first bin of new vintage stuff, outer sleeves, sold to Michael Jacob, pack of $129.99. If anybody else wants one, let me know. Let's go back up to the top. Wicked Lester was at 70. Michael Shanker Group, $21.25. Pantera Brian is $33.99. $33.99, it is on colored vinyl. I own one myself. That's my first purchase. I sent info a few days ago. Thank you, Michael. I did see that come in. Derek Zarzaro also wants outer sleeves. And what was the Joe Satriani album? The Joe Satriani album was called Not of This Earth. It's, yeah, Not of This Earth. It's on blue vinyl, limited number to 1500 it is $39.99. Derek Zarzaro also wants a pack of outer sleeves. That's sold to Derek Zarzaro. Go ahead and get those tagged. And we're about to go through our first bin of new vintage stuff. And we're going to keep one or two KISS records auctioned all night long. And then probably later tonight, what I haven't auctioned, I'll put up for a buy it now. So that's the buy it now. KISS stuff's going to be later. I got two full crates plus the metal stuff I have to auction. So, and hard rock, I've been calling it metal and hard rock because ACDC's in there and some Black Sabbath, but that's kind of metal, but not typically what people think of as metal. You get what I'm saying? So we have uh, plenty to auction. So I'm not going to get to all the KISS auctions. Some of the rare stuff obviously will be auctioned, and then later tonight I'll do a buy it now crate, probably by... Uh, whenever we're starting to get low and maybe some people are having to get off to go to bed, etc. First crate of new buy it nows. First crate of new buy it nows. Vintage check condition. And there's some really good stuff in here John has marked. First thing is the police. Every breath you take, it's in shrink wrap of hop sticker. That's a police greatest hits. $29.99. It's in VG plus condition. $29.99. We have Pigeon. I think that's what that says. Pigeon is VG plus $24.99. That's on Deco Records. That is VG plus $24.99. Uh, Sean Mankel also wants a pack of outer sleeves. You got it. If anybody else wants a pack, let me know. We've sold two packs, now three packs. And this is going to Sean Mankel, pack of outer sleeves. Don't worry, I've got hundreds of them. All right, back up at the top. Bill Samus has the Wicked Lester demos for 80. Tammy Revere, let me know if you want back in. She did bid, and now Sean, uh, Bill Samus has it for 90. Wicked Lester demos unofficial. And then Michael Shanker Group is a final call. This is called Assault Attack. It kind of slowed down. The last bid on MSG was Todd Tipton for $25. $25 with Todd Tipton, and that's a final call. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything else. Pretty sure I'm on the list for outer sleeves. So, Scott, the invoices went out this week or went out today. If you got an invoice and there's not a pack of outer sleeves on there, I would go check it. If there's not, let me know, and I'll tag you for a pack tonight, but you may have to let me know. And then we have Dennis Daly on outer sleeves, which I've already got Dennis Daly down. All right, so we got the police. We have Pigeon. And we have Ario Speedwagon, wheels are turning. VG condition, $9.99. Ario Speedwagon, wheels are turning. VG condition, $9.99. Bon Jovi, slippery when wet. VG plus condition, $24.99. Bon Jovi, slippery when wet. It has the original inner sleeve with it as well. VG plus, $24.99. The Hollies, stop, stop, stop. VG condition, $14.99. An original Hollies album, stop, stop, stop. $14.99 and The Doors, Greatest Hits, VG Condition, 
$14.99. Back up at the top. So the last thing I said was Wicked Lester was at $90 with Bill Samus, now $95. I was about to sell Michael Shanker Group for $25. That's been a while. I was just going to get down to the bottom. I usually give our first couple auctions plenty of time. Dave Seretna put REO Speedwagon. That's so to Dave Seretna. Michael Lynn on Bon Jovi. That's so to Michael Lynn, then Matthew Powell, then Anthony Riddle, then Don Nico. Wicked Lester's now at $100. Boston, their self-titled debut album, EX condition $32.99 clean copy original label $32.99 on that Tony Wade first on the doors Todd Tipton gets our first auction of the night which is Michael Shanker Group Assault Attack Todd Tipton that goes to you 25 that is sold to Todd Tipton for 25 Wicked Lester's at 100 with Bill Samus it looks like if you want that you're going to have to go through him so I've got plenty of kiss stuff to auction tonight as y'all have seen I'm going to go ahead and put up one of these first uh, uh, kind of unique items here, something I don't see. I like putting up the stuff first I don't see as often, like this here, Kiss Forever, a 1990 UK pressing. This is going to be a $35 start, special limited edition gatefold, features album discography and previously unreleased demo version of Deuce and Strutter. That sounds pretty cool. Never seen this before. I've never had this before, gatefold, and it looks like it also includes a single from Hot in the Shade, $35 start. So we got WL if you're bidding on Wicked Lester, and we got Kiss over here if you're bidding on Kiss. That is now up for bid. So lots of people next on Billy Joe. Tony Wade got the doors. Tony wants to know what the price on that one more time was. That was $14.99, Tony. $14.99 on that. Here we have REO Speedwagon, a decade of rock and roll, VG Plus condition, $24.99. A decade of rock and roll, VG Plus, $24.99. Clint Black, Killing Time. Wow, don't see this too often in the bins. VG Plus condition, $49.99. In Shrink Wrap, VG Plus, $49.99. And John Lennon, Walls and Bridges, VG condition, $12.99. Walls and Bridges, John Lennon, VG, $12.99. And Cream, Live Cream, VG Plus, $24.99 on Cream. And whoa, Santanic Majesty's Request, the Rolling Stones, VG condition, $34.99, lenticular cover, an original stereo pressing with lenticular cover. The cover does have some scene splitting, $34.99. Up at the top, we left off by saying Wicked Lester was at $100 with Bill Samus, Tammy bid $105, and then Kiss Forever went up for auction. At a $35 start, we had bids for $37, $36, $35, $40. 35, 50, 35, 40. Wicked Lester at 110. Kiss at a 60. Kiss at 68. Matthew Powell first on Clint Black. That sold to Matthew Powell. Then Shane Devers. Then Derek Zarzaro. Kiss is at 65. And we have Pat Pinatar. Crimes of Passion. Pat Benatar. VG Plus Condition, $9.99. Stacy has Kiss Forever at 110. And Wicked Lester is at 110. Both auctions at 110. We have Leon Redbone, double time. VG Plus Condition, $9.99 for Leon Redbone. And another Pat Benatar in Shrink Wrap. VG Plus, $14.99. Love is a Battlefield hop sticker. In Shrink Wrap, Vinyls VG Plus, $14.99. If you haven't already, please make sure you've hit the like button on the Facebook post. Make sure if you're watching over on YouTube, you hit the like button over there. And also on X. We're streaming on three platforms right now. You can watch and buy on any of those three platforms. Facebook, YouTube, or X. Even if you're just here to watch, I would greatly appreciate it if you could hit the like button. If you know of a KISS group you can share this feed into, that would be really helpful. If you could share this into a KISS group you are aware of, and maybe if the admins had let it, Let's let them know we got some awesome KISS stuff going up for auction tonight. Up at the top, KISS is at 110. Scott Oman, you were first on Pat Benatar. Scott, let me know if you want Precious Time or Live from Earth on that one. Live from Earth on that one. Anthony Hammonds, your second. Josh Phillips was first to the Boston. That was from previously, but that was an OG pressing of Boston self-titled. And nobody else has bid on Wicked Lester. It's now a final call to uh, Bill Samus for 110. And it looks like Stacy has the high bid on KISS for 110. Final call on that. Scott O'Man wants Pat Benatar live. So Anthony Hammonds, there is one left if you want it. If you want it live, it's already sold. Getz and Gilberto, that's a VG condition, 1999. The top scene does have some splitting. Black Verve label, that's 1999. Tammy Revere, back in on Wicked Lester at 115. But it may be where Kiss is a final call to Stacy. I'm about to sell it to her. There is a lot of people bidding. It's got up to 110. 
That's a final call. Leon Redbone. This is called Champagne Charlie. Leon Redbone, VG999, Wicked Lester. Our very first auction of the night. Still getting bids. Bill Samus is at 120. Thank God it's Friday soundtrack. VG condition, 999. Donna Ross, cameos on there. Uh, Donna Summer, the Commodores, Thelma Houston. VG condition, 999. And exposed to a cheap peek at today's provocative new rock, VG Plus Condition, $17.99. That's one of those mini CBS. This is actually a CBS sampler, exposed to. Psychedelic Furs is on there. That's VG Plus. That is $17.99. Kelly Bagwell on LR for Leon Redbone. Stacy said sell it. There was no more bids. Kiss Forever, our first auction of the night, is sold to Stacy Metternich for. 110. Stacy, that is so due. Congratulations. One of our longtime viewers and major KISS fan, Stacy Metternich. I'm sure we have a lot of KISS fans watching tonight. I'm going to mute my mic. almost said mute my water right quick. I'm about to drink this water. Excuse me for 10 seconds. All right, let's go back up to the top. Now, we got an absolute steel cage death match going on over here for Wicked Lester already. We have 120 with Bill Samus. Kelly got Leon Redbone. And a Josh Phillips wants to get Goberto, a classic jazz album. That's so Debbie Winston said, thank God it's Friday. Well, it's Monday right now, but I'll give you that album. That's so to Debbie Winston. And both were $9.99. Yes, uh, do you want both Leon Redbones? Uh, Kelly, yes, they were both $9.99. Go ahead and give Kelly the other Leon Redbone. And then back down to the bottom. Tammy, I'm just waiting for you on Wicked Lester. Wicked Lester, just waiting. Wow. Goodbye, Yellow Brick Road. Elton John, VG Condition, $14.99. That is on that original black MCA label, $14.99. Wicked Lester, somebody asked if there was a truck. Is Blackie Lawless on here? Blackie Lawless. I don't see that on here. I don't see that track on here. No, I do not. All right, we, uh, Wicked Lester has a new bid, 125 of Tammy. Jesse Clark, first on Elton. If you're a first-time viewer, don't hesitate to make a purchase. If you uh, see something in the bin you want, just go ahead and claim it. I'll sell it to you. Not only do we have Kiss stuff tonight, but we have some other incredible auctions that I'm fish, uh, finishing up from that previous crate. I'll read off some of the titles in just a second, but what am I holding here? Striper, To Hell With The Devil. It has a insert, says, for the Striper merchandising catalog, please send 50 cents in a self-addressed stamped envelope to P.O. Box, blah, blah, blah. The vinyl on this is beautiful. It has one scuff right here in the last track. It's a superficial mark that will not affect play. It has the original Enigma bag. It obviously has the second cover, not the original cover, but as always, it's a Striper album. Gatefold, their catalog's not in print. What's up with that? $25 start on Striper. That's auction number two. Wicked Lester, I believe, is still getting bids. Let me go ahead and get the next Kiss record on deck. But right now, we got to finish up Wicked Lester. Let's see. We had Elton John to Troy uh, to Jesse Clark. Tammy's at 125 on Wicked Lester. Uh, so Bill Samus, I'll see if uh, Bill Samus is back in at 130. Tammy, you're back out. Striper has bids for 25, now 30. Steve Winwood, Ark of a Diver, VG Plus, 14.99. Head East, flat as a pancake, VG Plus, 14.99. <sighs> Head East, flat as a pancake, VG Plus, 14.99. What else do you have in Kiss? Oh my goodness, we have two entire bins full. Make sure you have checked out the Facebook post we made. I've got Revenge, Hot in the Shade, Japanese Love Gun, Crazy Nights, Look It Up, Creatures. I've got Picture Disc, Kiss Killers, Animalize, Smashes, Thrashes. Japanese Lick It Up. All kinds of different versions. I think I got a Mexican pressing of their first album. I think somewhere in here is, uh, yeah, there's a lot. This is from that incredible Kansas City collection and plus some other stuff. We just bought a Kiss collection and then we just bought the Kansas City collection, which also had great Kiss records. We've joined forces and those are all being sold tonight. That's why we already have 385 people watching right now. It's going to be a pretty crazy night. Tammy's out on Wicked Lester. Final call, Bill Samus, 130. He's about to get it. Then we had Striper at 25, Striper at 35. Guy Hobbert wants SW for Steve Winwood. Seth, I've already sold it. Jackson Blaylock wants Pigeon. That was the very first record in the bin. That's sold to Jackson Blaylock. Wicked Lester's now at 131. And Fred Carnell wants to know the info on Wicked Lester. Wicked Lester is an unofficial pressing. It's on Rockwell and Good. It's uh, an unofficial pressing of Wicked Lester and Proj 
Progeny Demos, however that's pronounced, it's at 130. And Brian Thurman just bid 131. Fred wants to know the uh, information on it. And we have uh, Striper at 35 of Trey Mendenhall. Striper's at $35. Final call. Kind of surprising. Spinners Live. VG Plus Condition, $14.99. Boy, this is a classic. Never been any reason. We got three new bidders on Wicked Lester. Fred Carnell's at $136. So is Brian Thurman. Here's another Doors. This is the best of the Doors. VG Plus Condition, $34.99. You haven't missed any KISS stuff. We're on our very first record. What else have we sold? We sold one thing forever. That's it. You hadn't missed anything. If you're here, I would not go anywhere else. Just kind of maximize your screen. Make sure you're sitting on your couch, recliner, chair, and I wouldn't swap off anywhere because you're going to miss something. Back up at the top, Jason Franz gets spinners. Striper has a new bid for 40. Kevin Coy, we've already sold the spinners. Philip Regato gets the doors. Jack's, Jackie Ray first on head east. That is so to Jackie Ray. Wicked Lester's at 140. Striper's now at 45. Bob Seeger, Night Moves. VG Condition, $9.99 from Night Moves. And James Gang, thirds. VG Vinyl and about a VG cover, and that is $9.99. Joe Walsh with the hit song, Walk Away, on it. Striper now has new bids for 50 and Wicked Lester's at 141 Bob Dylan, New Morning, VG Condition, $9.99. And Billy Joel, check this out. It's an Australian unofficial live recorded at the bottom line, 2LP, a vintage Billy Joel bootleg, VG Plus condition, $49.99. Jesse Clark wants the Bob Seeger. Jim Sedal wants thirds by the James Gang. Josie Sinkbell second on Bob Seeger. We have 53 on Striper. We have Felix Solace first on Billy Joel. Wicked Lester's at 150. Patrick Malloy, you were third on Bob Seeger. Identified the Nashville String Band, VG Condition 999, and La La Means I Love You, the Delphonics, VG Condition 1299. Striper has a high bid of $54 with Trey Mendenhall, Wicked Lester. We're down to Bill Samus, Fred Carnell, and Brian Thurman. That's where we're at on those. Let me see what's going on here in some of these Kiss records. Wow, we got some promo copies. We got a promo copy of Hotter Than Hell. We have a 1974 Terre Haute pressing. Uh, Smoking Man labels does not contain the track Kissing Time. Does not contain... Boy, that's a grail for some fans. That's going to be going up for auction later tonight. We have Wicked Lester out. Fred Carnell, let me know. It's back to you. Bill Samus has it 150. Uh, Slicker Van Slyck wants the identified. That is so to Slicker Van Slyck. Also, Foreigner 4, EX Condition, $17.99 for Foreigner 4. Original on sleeve, that is $17.99. And Frank Zappa, Chunga's Revenge, VG Condition, $24.99. I still got some other striper to auction. But first, we need to do a final call. Craig Proper has it for $55.00. Final call on that. David Allen Cole, is everybody paying attention? $119.99 EX Condition, a 1969 white label promo. David Allen Cole, Penitentiary Blues, DAC, a white label promo in EX Condition, $119.99. Did I say $150? I did. It's at $150. $150. Final call to Bill Samus. If you want to bid, you've got to outbid him. Striper, I'm going to grab a new KISS record. If this doesn't have a bid by the time I come back, Craig Proper has it for $55. I'm selling it to Craig Proper for $55. If it does not have a new bid. Wow, we got some cool stuff tonight. We have so many of these rare... I, I, for some people, they're rare. If you're a serious KISS collector, I, it depends on what level of rare you're talking about. But we got some of these KISS records that people ask for all the time. Does it have the blue tear? Does it have KISS in time? Does it have this track? All those kind of odd variants, most of them, we have tonight for auction. It is so unusual to have all this. Back up at the top, Derek Zarzaro gets David Allen Coe. Jackson Blaylock gets the Frank Zappa's Chunga's Revenge. Jason Franz put KK. I think that was something already sold. Fred's out on Wicked Lester. This is sold to Bill Samus for $150. That is sold. $150. Wicked Lester is gone. That is sold to Bill Samus. That wasn't even advertised tonight. 
That was a surprise and it was our first auction. And we have striper sold to Craig proper. Craig gets striper for 55. It's time for two new fresh auctions. We're gonna do a kiss auction first here. Let's go ahead and do the rock and roll over. Rock and roll over. So this is KISS Rock and Roll Over. It's a 1977 RCA Record Club edition, and it has the blue tear drop misprint cover. So it's kind of a misprint, kind of like, I think it's something went bad with the ink in here, if you know what I'm talking about. This is the original under sleeve, but there has no sticker. This is gonna be a $45 start. How much is KISS? We're gonna auction it. All the big stuff is 100% gonna be auctioned tonight. So it has this right here. It's kind of, uh, some people call it a misprint. I don't think it's actually misprint. It just has that, what looks like a teardrop coming out of Paul Stanley's eye there. It's a 77 RCA Record Club edition. VG Plus condition, has the original under sleeve, $45 start. $45 star. So there is the vinyl. Not bad at all. Very clean looking VG Plus. There's no sticker with it. It does have the original on her sleeve. That is now up for auction. Boy, incredible. All right, let me grab something out of the other bin. Here's some of those other ones we didn't get to the other night. Lady Killer, Tigers of Pantane, Tokyo Blade, Michael Shanker. I've got about nine ACDC, about five Scorpions. I've got Kicks, Damn Yankees. I have more Striper. I have Dio, Black Sabbath. And let's go ahead and put up a Dio here. And this is called Dream Evil. Dream Evil. So this is Dio, Dream Evil, original inner sleeve. The vinyl is beautiful. The vinyl is absolutely beautiful on this. EX Plus condition, Dio Dream Evil. We're going to put this up for a $35 start. It is an original U.S. press, not a club. Dio Dream Evil, $35 start. That is now going up for bid. Then I'm going to get caught up in all these comments here in just a second. Let me try to get caught up in all these comments that's going on. I will try my best. If I miss something, you'll just have to send it again. If I don't answer it again, you might have to send it again. And then if I'm not answering it, I may not know the answer. Uh, so next comment was Derek Zarzaro on Foreigner. That is sold to Derek Zarzaro. And then Joe Hanson Cruz asked how much price. And then Rock and Roll Over got bids for 45 and 60 and then 70 and then 75. Dio had bids for 35 and 40. And that's where we're auctioning. So we have at the top, the police, every breath you take, VG Plus condition, $29.99. The police, every breath you take, in shrink wrap, VG Plus, $29.99. The Holly, stop, stop, stop. That's in VG condition, $14.99. So the Hollies is an original Liberty U.S. pressing. It's in VG condition, has some writing on the back, $14.99. And the police is obviously like a greatest hits. Amazing. The singles, Can't Stop Losing You, Message in a Bottle, Don't Stand So Close to Me, 86, De Do Da Da, De Dee Da Da, Every Little Thing She Does is Magic. I think y'all know that one. Now, let's see what else I missed here. We have Chad, Winnie the Lita Forbes be on for auction night. No, they will not. Chad, are you going to be auctioning the obscure heavy metal from the Kansas City? No, I will not. Tonight's going to be Kiss and then some of those stuff that I just read off, like the DOs and the Sabbaths and the ACDC. I'm trying to finish up this one crate. All this week, though, is going to be incredible auctions. We got the Kansas City stuff. We got still got stuff from the Houston buy. We got the other KISS memorabilia and collectibles to do. We have endless amounts of records here, literally thousands I've never even touched in the back. I think y'all know that. This is going to be a big week. We, I, I wasn't here for a couple shows last week. I didn't have enough stuff promoted, I don't think. I've got a fully loaded week, six nights in a row in killer stuff. You don't want to miss this week. I'll try to get hot post either the morning of or a few hours before the show for every night, just FYI. Okay, so I left off by saying rock and roll over. Mike Locke had it for $75, and this is the blue teardrop Paul Stanley RCA Music Club variant. And then Dio had got bids for 60. And then J.B. Winstead, J.B. Winstead gets the Hollies. Jason Franz got the Police. Kiss got a new bid for 80. Kiss got a new bid for 80. Dio is at 41. And we have REO Speedwagon, A Decade of Rock and Roll, VG Plus 24.99. That's a 2LP hits compilation from REO Speedwagon. Still available, 24.99, VG Plus 2LP. John Lennon, 
walls and bridges. VG condition, that's a purple capital label pressing, $12.99. Number nine dreams on here, whatever gets you through the night. VG condition, $12.99. John Lennon, you may have heard of him. Cream, Eric Clapton, Ginger Bruce, Jack Baker. Jack Baker? Ginger Baker. Jack Bruce, Eric Clapton, VG Plus, $24.99. I can't believe no one claimed this. OG Rolling Stones, original stereo pressing with lenticular cover, VG Vinyl, the cover has some seam splitting, $34.99. Kiss is at $82. Dio's at $41. Dio's at $41. That's not high enough. Pat Benatar, Precious Time, VG Plus Condition, $9.99. Exposed to a cheap peek at today's provocative new rock, VG Plus, $17.99. Bob Dylan, New Morning, VG Condition, $9.99. And La La Means I Love You, The Dale Phonics, VG Condition, $12.99. That's our first bin of new vintage arrivals. Also tonight, I showed packs of outer sleeves. I've got packs of 100 of outer sleeves. If anybody needs a pack of 100 outer sleeves, let me know. I've got them right here next to me. Dio's getting new bids. Kiss is getting new bids. We got Kiss stuff for auction all night. When it gets a little bit later, what I haven't auctioned, I will state straight price. Derek Zarzaro says he already bid 60 on Dio. Y'all are way behind Derek already. He's already in at 60. Kiss is at $85 with Jackie Ray. Sleeves are $29.99 for a pack of 100. That's our first crate of new vintage stuff. I've got three other crates of new stuff like that to go through. The next, kicks, the next, the next Kiss auction we're going to do, if I could spit this out, is going to be the self-titled. So I will... Announced that in just a second. Are those resellable? Those are not resellable sleeves. No. Let's go through a band of new vinyl very, very quickly here. I'm going to try to go through everything here on the table because this is pretty much our entire new vinyl inventory here on the table on those. So rock and roll over. Kiss has a new bid for 90. Dio is at 60 uh, with uh, Derek Zarzaro. 60. Final call now. And Kiss just got a new bid for 90. Queens Rock Empire 2LP, new and sealed, clear vinyl. Queens Rock is $39.99. Only copy I have in stock. Talking Heads Fear of Music, $33.99. Life During Wartime. Also got Jelly Roll on Red Vinyl. Ballads of the Broken for Jelly Roll. And I have Temple the Dog. Hunger Strike. I'm Going Hungry. Chris Cornell. Members of Pearl Jam. $49.99. Temple the Dog. I've got several of those in stock. That's the Gatefold 2 LP. That's the 2 LP edition. Also, House of Pain, Fine Malt Lyrics with Jump Around on it, and Nirvana Bleach. Nirvana Bleach is $28.99. Remastered Nirvana Bleach. All right, Kiss is at $95. We have Alan Montgomery first on Queens Rock. Matthew Powell wants a Temple of the Dog. We have Derek Zarzaro wants a Temple of the Dog. And I had got to Jelly Roll. This is Witsit Chapel. Jelly Roll's $29.99. And The Notorious. B-I-G. That's called now, now Playing, also his greatest hits. Dio is sold to Derek Zarzaro for $60. That one is done. See ya. Goodbye. That's sold to Derek for $60. Time for a new auction. We have Kiss, Rock and Roll Over, I think also on its final lap. Mike Locke says he's out. Jackie Ray has that for $90. We're about to sell it. We have Sleep Token. This place will become your tomb. Sleep Token is $36.99. Gatefold 2 LP. Sleep Token. This place will become your tomb. And this is $36.99. All right. And then I also want to make a note for anybody that's a regular with us. I made a post in the group earlier. Hope everybody sees that. I want to announce it live here, especially while we have everybody watching. Basically, it says if you have an invoice older than three weeks, it's going to be canceled by Friday and we're going to have to resell it. And it may jeopardize you ever buying from us again if you have an invoice older than three weeks. So we give two weeks to pay. But if you got something from like February and you haven't paid it, you need to con contact us and give some kind of great explanation or let us know exactly when you're paying. Otherwise, we're going to start clearing out all those old invoices. So Friday and Saturday will be a big night to tune in because we're going to be reselling a bunch of auctions that didn't get paid for, a bunch of buy nows that didn't get paid for, a bunch of pre-orders that didn't get paid for, stuff like that. Make sure, since tonight's going to be a high-profile auction night, if you're buying these things, make sure you can pay for them. That's all we ask. Make sure you can pay for them. ACDC, for those about to rock, this is a club copy. 
It is a club copy. It does have Bob Lugwood mastering. It's very clean. It's EX, just some superficial sleeve scuffing, gatefold glossy cover. RL mastering, the famous Bob Lugwood, beautiful jacket. Look how nice this is. ACDC, $25 start. We have a new bid on Kiss for $91 with Scott Williams. Jackie Ray was already at $95. Jackie Ray was already at $95. I got to sell this in like 30 seconds if no one's bid more than $95. Days of the New, the Green Album, that's their second release. 2LP, $49.99 for Days of the New. And Living Color Vivid, Cult of Personality. Living Color Vivid, that's $39.99. Music on vinyl pressing, one copy left. Sleep Token, Sundowning, $36.99. Sleep Token is $36.99. And The Cult, Dreamtime, The Cult, Dark Red Vinyl, $33.99. $33.99, Dark Red Vinyl. Scott Williams is at $97 on Kiss. Boy, I was reaching to sell it. Rock and Roll Over has a new bid with Scott Williams for $97. The previous bidder, you have been outbid. All right, I'm going to start a new auction then, but you can't put KISS if you're bidding on this. We have way too many to auction. This is called Hot in the Shade. If you want to bid on this, put Hot. Do not put KISS. That's the only rule. Otherwise, I won't know what you're bidding on. This is KISS, Hot in the Shade. This is a 1989 Euro pressing. It's in VG condition. VG, VG plus condition. It is going to be... A $35 start. It has the hop sticker, includes a single, hide your heart. It has the original inner sleeve, and it's in VG condition. It's a $35 start. It has a scuff right here on this first track that is uh, pretty visible. Other than that, that's it. Just FYI. That's why it's in VG condition. This is a $35 start. Hot in the shade. That's now a bid. Make sure you put hot. Now, Jackie Ray's backing on KISS at 100. Scott Williams, let me know if you want back in. ACDC had bids of 25, 25, 25, 30. Then, AC, then KISS got a bid for 97. And then Jamie French won't live in color. ACDC 32. KISS at 100. Hot has bids for 35, 35, 45, 46. And we have Beck Odelay, 33.99 for Beck. Odelay, did you pull Queens right for me? I did. Ace Frilly, speaking of KISS, 10,000 volts, $33.99 for Ace Frilly. That's on red vinyl. Ace is on red vinyl, $33.99. Billy Joel, live at the Great American Music Hall, 1975, 2LP, $46.99. Hot in the Shade is with Jimmy LaCroix. This is an 89 euro pressing with hop sticker and original on her sleeve. Trey Mendenhall has it for $46. Trey Mendenhall has it for $46. Billy Joe, 52nd Street. $33.99. That's the 50th anniversary. Elvis is on green vinyl. His debut album has four bonus tracks. Elvis is $29.99. And Pantera, Cowboys from Hell. This is pa Cowboys from Hell. Limited edition white and whiskey brown marble vinyl, $33.99. The new Marcus King album, it's called Mood Swings. That's on the indie exclusive orange vinyl, $39.99. And the essential game music collection. That's a video game soundtrack compilation collection. Scott Williams, uh, David, who was the other bidder? Jackie Ray. Jackie Ray, let me know. It's back up to you now. Scott Williams has this for $103. It is the Paul Stanley Blue Teardrop cover variant, the RCA Music Club with the Paul Stanley Blue Teardrop. That has a high bid of $103, now $105 with Jackie Ray. $105. Hot in the shade has a new bid for 50 but up at the top the most recent claim was trey Mendenhall on elvis let's put don nicole on a waiting list let's put don nicole on a waiting list trey was first don's going to go on a waiting list acdc then we had pantera alex Silo on pantera sean schaefer on pantera sean if you're a first-time buyer thank you and welcome Please confirm that you are, and then I will give some first-time buyer instructions. Jamie French also wants a Pantera. Kiss got that new bid for 105. Hot in the Shade got a new bid for 51. Jared Inc. on Marcus King, the new Marcus King, and the game soundtrack is $39.99. Scott Williams is between you and Jackie Ray. If Scott bids again, he just did for 108. We'll keep it going. Until one of them say out or somebody else new bids, that's up for auction. And then over here is Kiss Hot in the Shade. This is an 89 Euro original with the original inner sleeve. It's in VG condition. It has like a fillable mark on side one. That is the only flaw with it. 
Jamie Diaz has that for $55. This is an original club copy of ACDC for those about the rock with the RL mastering. Bob Lowig, the last bid that came in on ACDC was, I don't know. <laughs> it's been a while. I think it's $35 with, uh, I think it's $35 with uh, Alan Montgomery. It is. Alan Montgomery has this for $35. That is where we are at. Is Rock and Roll Over still available? It is up for auction right now. It's at $110. How much for the video game? That was $39. They're still bidding on all three auctions. Here's what's left in that bin. The game collection compilation. The new Marcus King. Billy Joe 52nd. Billy Joe Live. Ace Frilly. Beck, Colt, Sleep Token, Days of New, Sleep Token, Notorious, Jelly Roll, Nirvana, House of Pain, Temple of the Dog, more Jelly Roll, and Talking Heads. Those are being slid right over there. I have new records to pull. Josh says I missed his Pantera claim. Josh said I missed his Pantera. Alex Celo Pantera. Sean Schaefer Pantera. Jamie French Pantera. Josh, I sold out a Pantera. We'll have to put Joshua Cross on a waiting list for Pantera. I only had three copies. Joshua, if it's okay, I'll have more of those in this week. It's only Monday. It's only Monday. Scott Williams, you're back out on KISS. Jackie Ray has that 110. Make sure if you're bidding on hot in the shade, you actually put hot. If you're bidding on rock and roll over, put R and R and R O R or R and R, something like that. I've got a new crate of vintage pre-owned check condition stuff here that we're about to go through right now. The first bin was an absolute hit. Let's go through some more right now. Let me see what's in here right quick. Make sure this is the actual crate I want to go through. So let's see what else we have in here. Boy, there's some cool looking titles in here though. I'm just going to leave all this stuff in here and see what else we have to offer. All right, let's go through this one. Yeah, new check condition stuff. Very, very cool. Let's keep the show rolling. I think we need to do some final calls. The bidding has slowed down. Just got invoice, had Cowboys from Hell already. Never mind. Let's give this not to Jamie French. Let's give the last Cowboys to, from Hell to Joshua Cross. Let's go across the board and see what happened here. Kiss, Jackie Ray was at $110. We're waiting for Scott Williams. Final call, Jackie Ray for 110. Bob Madine is the high bidder on Hot in the Shade. High bid is 56 with Bob Madine. 89 euro copy with hop sticker, original sleeve. And then for the longest, Alan Montgomery has had this for $35. Nobody else's bid. Beautiful cover, original club copy, RL mastering, final call. For $35. We might end all three of those at the same time. Let's go ahead and start going through new check condition stuff right now. We have Dueling Banjos. That's the soundtrack from Deliverance. VG condition, $9.99. VG, $9.99. The Impossible Dream, the story of the 1967 Boston Red Sox. VG plus condition, $14.99. And Santana Abraxas. Santana is in VG condition. This is $12.99 for Abraxas, VG1299. Scott's out on rock and roll. All right, one of the many highly sought-after KISS records, rock and roll over, is officially sold to Jackie Ray for $110. That is sold to Jackie Ray. That gets asked about all the time. I can have that record, and the first question is, Chad, does it have a teardrop on the cover? It's an immediate question. If it did, it will be put up for auction, I promise. ACDC got a new bid. Sean Drew in bid $36. Alan Montgomery, you have been outbid. And Kiss got a new bid. Terry Watts bid $65. Terry Watts bid $65. That is where we're at. Back up at the top, we have Cole Price on DB. That's Dueling Banjos. That's sold to Cole Price. Hot in the Shade got a new bid for $65. We have new bids on these. We're waiting for the other bidders to say in or out now. James Gang, live in concert. James Gang is in VG condition, $9.99. Frank Zappa and the Mothers of Invention, one size fits all. VG condition, $24.99 on Frank Zappa. VG, $24.99. And Frank Sinatra, Strangers in the Night. VG plus condition, $9.99. Ha is at 66 with Jamie Diaz. Terry said he just got on. He wants to know what condition it is. It's an original 89 euro pressing 
with the original under sleeve. It's in VG condition because it has a couple fillable marks right here on side one. Other than that, it's very clean. That's ACDC. It has a new high bid right now with Jamie Diaz for $66. Alan Montgomery, let me know if you want back in on ACDC. You got outbid by Sean Drew and he has it for $36. It's now a final call. Tony Lewis has Frank Sinatra. He was first of that, then Corey Gaston, then Guy Hobrich. Pete Maselli wants the James Gang live in concert. That is so to Pete Maselli. Continuing with new vintage stuff here is Star Trek. Three exciting new complete stories. That's a children power records story Star Trek record. VG plus condition, 1999. New bids on ACDC, 40 and then 40 again. Two new bidders. And we have Hot in the Shade just got a new bid for 67 Michelle Miller wants Star Trek. Guy Hobrich wants Santana. That is so to Guy Hobrich. Santana. That is so to Guy. Still got a Frank Zappa in there. Curtis Marachi next on Star Trek. I have filled up a bin of records here. Let me go ahead and get a new one started so I don't try to pack that one any tighter than I need to. And... Uh, Okay, so we're still betting on hot. Terry Watts at 67. Diaz, that was Jamie Diaz. Let me know if you want back in. He said, out. We have a final call now for 67, and ACDC is at 40 with Scott Ham. Final call on those. We have so much more, so much more to the auction. Big Mama Thornton, stronger than dirt. VG Plus condition, $34.99. And Deep Purple Machine Head, VG condition, $19.99. With the insert, 1999. Jackson Blaylock wants Zappa. That's so to Jackson Blaylock. And we have Deep Purple. Come taste the band. VG Plus, 1999. Christopher Brusha on BMT. Big Mama Thornton is so to Christopher. I'm doing a five-second countdown on Kiss. Terry Watts has it for $67. VG Condition, hot in the shade, original on her sleeve. This has always been so difficult for us to keep uh, like or for us to get always getting asked about and this is a final call for 67 terry watts five four three two one sold to terry watts 67 dollars okay scott oh man wants deep purple and mac deep purple machine head any kc metal i have kiss auctions and then i have that other crate of metal and hard rock that I didn't finish up the other night. Lady Killer, Tigers of Pantane, Tokyo Blade, Michael Shanker, lots of ACDC, Scorpions. I have Zebra, Damn Yankees, King Cobra, uh, Tempest Storm, Mass, White Snake, Striper, Dio's, and Black Sabbath, and Ozzy albums. That's some of the stuff we have. All right, here's the next Kiss record. Let me explain everything that we have noted on this one. It's a big one. It's an original 1974 Terre Haute pressing. An original, an original 1974 Terre Haute pressing, Smoking Man labels, I'll show that to you in just a second, does not contain the track Kissing Time, listed on labels but not on the outer sleeve, $250 start, $250 start. So this is Kiss. Now, there is normally a track listed on here that says Kissing Time. It's not on this one. VG Plus Condition. $250 start. There is the label. This is a 74 Terre Haute. It's listed on uh, side one track two, but not on the jacket. KISS is a $250 start. 1974 Terre Haute. This is going up for bid. I hope we were done on this. Nobody else bid again. We had Scott Ham at $40. Nobody said anything. That is sold to Scott Ham for $40. And I'm going to put it in a new sleeve for Scott. That's sold to him. There was three other people. Everybody went silent. That's sold to Scott Ham for $40. Kiss is a $250 start. We actually have a sticker that we was going to straight price it for. I've started it for much less than that. $250 start on Kiss. Think long and you'll think wrong is what I say around here. Next auction is, let's see what's up with this King Cobra. Ready to strike. Let's see what it looks like. King Cobra. Whoa, that's two, ki that's two K titles. Let's not do King Cobra if we got a KISS auction. We might not ever get to that tonight if we do that. How about 
Uh, let's see what's going on with this mass. I just glanced at the comments. And I saw lots of people men mentioning this right here. So let's see going on. Let's see what's going on with this right here. So we have back up at the top. Somebody said striper. Somebody said tempest storm. And we have this right here. Mass take you home. Mass take you home. Let's see what kind of condition we're talking about here. I don't see anything wrong with it. it looks very clean to me. That's EX plus. And that's mass take you home. EX plus vinyl. It's in shrink wrap of hop sticker. Let's put that up for a $20 start. Mass. That's up for start for a $20 start. Kiss is a $250 start. It is not a, what somebody somebody say? Is it a white label? It is not a white label. No, it's not a white label. I will show you that label one more time. $250 start. 1974 Terre Haute. No kissing time on the back jacket. $250 start. Going twice, going three times before I make it a buy now. Let's go ahead and go through some new vintage stuff here. Bang, bang, your Terry Reed. VG condition, $12.99. VG condition, $12.99. What is the catalog number on the KISS? The catalog number is NB9001. NB9001. We also have Blind Faith. VG condition, $14.99 for Blind Faith. VG Condition, $14.99, great album. Clapton, Winwood, Ginger Baker, Steve Gretsch. Also, Bob Dylan's Greatest Hits. With the poster on the original label, 1999. Dylan's Greatest Hits with the poster. With the poster. The Milton Glasser poster, VG Condition. That's worth it just for that. What in the world, 1999? It should be $39.99. Because the poster's with it. Jackson Blaylock on Blind Faith. That's so to Jackson Blaylock. And we have the Wild Racers. This is in VG Plus condition, $34.99. It's a 1968 pressing, $34.99. Christopher Brusha, first on Dylan, then Michelle Miller. Guy Hobbert was second. Thomas Baumhart, third. Paul Ogley, fourth. Mass has one bid with Richard Bradshaw for $25, going twice, going three times. And nobody bid on KISS. This is a $250 buy it now. If anybody wants it, it's a $250 buy it now. Didn't expect that, but it's a buy it now for $250 if anybody wants it. KISS is a $250 buy it now. It can be purchased at this moment. I'm going to put it back in its sleeve, and I'm going to put it right over here. That's sold to Thomas Sujar for $250. That is sold to Thomas for $250. All right, he bought it now. Mass is also about to sell. I'm going to put up new auctions. We have Cha 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 with Mr. Fluoride. Is that what that says? Dead Kennedys, 1985 Punk, VG Condition, 1999, and Canned Heat live at the Topicana Corral, VG Plus, 1799. All right, Mass had one bid. Are you a first time buyer, Richard Bradshaw? You get Mass for $25. You get mass for $25. And if you are a first-time buyer, and if there's any other first-time buyers watching, thank you and welcome everybody for tuning in. Make sure you message our page. We need your email address and your mailing address. We need your email address and your mailing address if you're a first-time buyer. All right. So we have this kiss, a U.S. first pressing 1994, limited to 5,000 copies on blue marbled vinyl. This is numbered 3961 out of 5,000 with Obi. This is Kiss Revenge, $125 start. It is a U.S. first pressing from 1994. This is on blue marbled vinyl. It is a Japanese, or not a Japanese pressing, a U.S. pressing, right? It's a U.S. pressing. They came with an Obi. It looks like a Japanese pressing, but these are U.S. pressings, yes. I want to call it a, a Japanese every time I see that just by default. But that is a $125 start. It is absolutely beautiful. There's the blue marble vinyl. It's in a bought first vinyl last week. Okay, welcome back. You get the mass for uh, you get the mass there for the $25 winning bid. There's the original inner sleeve for that one. And there's Kiss Revenge numbered there on the bottom. That has an opening bid for $130. Now Let's go back up to the top here. We had Travis Wade on DK. That was for this record right here. That sold to Travis Wade. And then Josh Tanner, you were second. Kiss Revenge is at 130 with Dan Geller. Also, we have Iron Butterfly Heavy. This is VG Plus 1499. VG Plus 1499. U.S. Pressing H&H &H Records, Ohio. H&H &H Pressing Revenge. Thank you, Kenny Begley, and thank you, Bill Kissel. I think we have some 
very well versed kiss collectors watching tonight. So uh, hopefully lots of wisdom will be shared with us. Some people know these kiss records probably like I do Led Zeppelin records. So if anytime you can share anything with us, it'd be greatly appreciated. Here's our next auction. I'm very curious if this thing is actually on a promo label. I don't see too many promo ACDC records. Either way, it has promo markings on the jacket, has a timing strip, it has the original under sleeve. This is ACDC Powerage. It's in about EX condition. It has some scuffs and a mark right there. We may call it VG Plus slash EX. Has those scuff marks right there and on the uh, side too. They're superficial, they're non-feelers. I looked at them earlier and this is ACDC Powerage. We're gonna put that up for a $25 start. Now it has promo markings on the front of the cover, has a gold stamp promo, has a promo strip, does have some writing on the back, $25 start on ACDC. That is now up for bid. Okay, and then we have Kiss had a bid for 130 and then Joseph Felicetti bid 200. The new high bid on Kiss is $200. We're gonna get back to this crate as soon as I take a drink of water. That was more than a drink of water, but thank you for allowing me to have their time out. Kenny and Bill know their kiss. I figured they did. I think I've sold to both of them. And uh, yes, anytime we have any kiss experts watching on kiss night, it's a great thing. It's a great thing. We have the Mothers of Invention, Freak Out, VG Condition, $26.99. And this is with the Hotspot ad. It does have some scene splits, VG Condition, $26.99. Powerage is not on a white label promo. No, sometimes uh, ACDC, or excuse me, Atlantic didn't have too many white label promos, especially in this era. Uh, this era of vinyl, uh, some of them are a lot older that have uh, white label promos, but it has uh, obviously a promo cover. But uh, usually it can't be classified as a promo copy unless the label is marked promo. So the high bid on Kiss, though, is $200 with Joseph Felicetti. Kiss is at $200 with Joseph Felicetti. And then we have ACDC at $25 and $30 and $32. How much was Canned Heat? Canned Heat live at the top of Canna Corral was VG Plus $17.99. VG Plus $17.99. ACDC has $35, $40, and $41. Pat Benatar, hit me with your best shot. That's from the album Crimes of Passion. Pat Benatar, shrink wrap hop sticker, VG condition, $9.99. VG condition, $9.99. Pat Benatar, Roberta Flack, Chapter 2. VG Plus $14.99 on Roberta Flack and the Marvelettes. On stage live, the Marvelettes, VG Condition, $34.99. A 1963 mono, a 1963 mono on the original Tamla Motown label, VG, $34.99. ACDC had bids for $40, $41.45. Scott Oman had PB for Pat Benatar. Calvin Ward was second. We have ACDC, $46 and $46. Now, nobody else bid on Kiss. It's so to Joseph Felicetti. For $200. Joseph Felicetti has that for $200. And that is actually exactly what we were going to sticker it for. <laughs> some of these I've got stickers on, like where we were going to straight price them, but I'm going to go ahead and I've got some sorted by auction first. And I'm just going to leave that on there. That is exactly, and some of these auctions have been pretty similar, exactly what we were going to sell it for. And that's so to Joseph Felicetti, $200. Uh, I started it at 125 and we have ACDC at 46, 46, 50, and 51. Bl Weezer, if anybody wants Weezer, they are 33.99. New and sealed, Weezer, the blue album. If anybody wants a copy, comment Weezer, 33.99. ACDC's at 50, 51. Eric Clapton, Slowhand, VG Condition, 14.99. Cocaine, Lay Down Sally, Wonderful Tonight. VG Condition, $14.99. Jesse Clark wants a Weezer album. I've got one left if anybody else wants it. High bid on ACDC is with Forrest Appleton at $51. All right, let's pull another kiss. We've got a lot. Hotter Than Hell, Hotter Than Hell, Unplugged, Self-Titled, Creatures of the Night, Destroyer, Self-Titled, Dynasty, Destroyer, Dynasty, Double Platinum, Dynasty, Alive, Love Gun, Destroyer, Asylum, Fraley's Comet, Animalize, Alive 2, Double Platinum, Elder, 
Dress to Kill, Alive 2, Dress to Kill, Self-Titled, Hot in the Shade, Love Gun, Crazy Nights, Lick It Up, Creatures of the Night, Gene Simmons, Ace Frehley, Paul Stanley, Peter Chris, Killers, Animal Lies, Crazy Nights, Mashes, Thrashes, Hits, Asylum, Lick It Up, Japanese, Paul Stanley, Love Gun, Destroyer, Dynasty, Love Gun, Lick It Up, Alive, Ace Frehley, Peter Chris, Gene Simmons, Ace Frehley, Alive, Creatures of the Night. I think y'all get the point. There is a lot to go through. This is the first U.S. pressing, 1974. There is some slight sleeve damage, but nothing that should affect playback. This is the first U.S. pressing. This is Kiss, Hotter Than Hell, OG, first U.S. pressing. Hotter Than Hell. We're going to put this up for, well... I see what we have it stickered here, what Laura has put as a comp based on what uh, this particular record and this grade is selling for. I'm going to start it for less, and this is hotter than hell. I'll get everybody a good look at the label. NBLP 706, manufactured 7006, Casablanca Records, USA, hotter than hell. Dead Wax NBLP 7006 B has uh, like that uh, WCW AZ S4602. Hotter than hell. Oh boy, I don't know. It's a very clean VG Plus. Um, 155 starting bid. ACDC, excuse me. <laughs> That's Powerage. I was reading comments. Forrest has it for $56. Hotter than hell. 155. Kiss hotter than hell. That's now a forbid. Okay. Now, we have over here, ACDC is not a white label promo. It's got a promo strip. It has a gold stamp promo. It's not a white label promo. We have Forrest Appleton at $56. Steve Koch is out. Kiss has a bid for $155. Like I said, I've got all these things stickered as if they were buy it nows. I'm starting most of them for much less than that. I don't have any more glow-in-the-dark misfits, unfortunately not. Kiss has a bid for $155. It's rolling. Fog Hat Live, EX Condition, $17.99. This right here is in about VG Plus slash EX Condition. Just a couple scuffs on it. More than a few, so that's why we, I should say a few scuffs, and that's why we're actually putting it at VG Plus slash EX. Other than that, it's clean. Final call, Forrest Appleton, $56. The Beach Boys, Endless Summer, VG Plus Condition, $17.99. VG Plus Condition, $17.99. The Beach Boys, Endless Summer. Don't Shoot Me, I'm Only the Piano Player, VG Condition, $9.99. Merle Haggard, Ogie from Muskogee, VG Plus Condition, $14.99. Wild-Eyed Southern Boys, 30A Special, VG, $9.99. Hold On Loosely, this has Fantasy Girl on it. VG Condition, $9.99 for 38 Special. The Johnny Van Zant Band, No More Dirty Deals. VG, $9.99. The Stylistics is VG Plus, $14.99. And Marvin Gaye, on stage, recorded live, a 1963 Rockaway Press, VG Condition, $39.99. Marvin Gaye, Matt Shepard, first on Elton John, so to Matt Shepard. Alan Montgomery on The Beach Boys. Pete Maselli, second with Elton John, Jason Franz on Marvin Gaye. All right, let's sell ACDC Powerage. ACDC is sold to Forrest Appleton for $56 and Ace Hotter Than Hell. This is the true OG first pressing. That's it. $155 final call. $155. We're about to sell it. Nobody else's bid. It's a final call. This was sold to Forrest Appleton. It's gone. $56. Jamie French wants Eric. That was Eric Clapton from earlier. Let's go through that crate one more time. When I come back, I'm selling hotter than hell. We've already sold one hot in the shade. There have been a lot of people want me to put up another one. I'll do that. We have an original U.S. pressing to auction next. We've already sold the Euro and VG. We got a near mint U.S., and then I'm also going to put up a Black Sabbath album. Let's do a Black Sabbath album that is not in print, nor has it ever been reissued. Hot in the shade. All right. 
John Markey, right? John Marksy? Am I saying your last name? Mark Marquisi? I know I'm completely butchering that right now, but I'm selling this to you, Mr. John M. It looks like John Marksy for $155. And we had that stickered for $224.99. I'm just going to leave that on there with all that information. VG Plus 224. I'm selling it to him for $155. That's so to John Marksy for $155. I consider that a really good deal on that record. OG First Pressing. Do you know how many of those I have and I look them up and it's not the first pressing? Like every one of them that I get in. That's the OG First Pressing of that one. It's so to John Marksy. 155. John, if you're a first-time buyer, thank you and welcome. Make sure you message our page. Let's put up our next auction. This is a superb copy of Hot in the Shade, a U.S. copy, a U.S. pressing with the original on her sleeve. The vinyl is near mint minus. It is extremely nice. It is EX plus near mint minus. Let's put this up for a $75 start. Kiss, Hot in the Shade, $75 start on that. Hot in the shade. That's now going up. Let's go ahead and put up Black Sabbath as well. Born Again, Black Sabbath. Like I said, never been reissued. Hopefully one day it will be. Born Again, very clean vinyl. Exceptionally nice copy. Exceptionally nice copy. $35 start on this. A rich on her sleeve. A rich on her sleeve and very nice jacket. One little seam crackle on the spine. That's it. $75 start. Let's go through this stuff right here. The Impossible Dream, the story of the 1967 Boston Red Sox, VG Plus $14.99. Deep Purple, Come Taste the Band, VG Plus $19.99. Bang Bang, You're Terry Reed, VG $12.99 on Terry Reed. Also, The Wild Racers, original motion picture soundtrack, 1968, VG Plus $34.99. That's pretty cool. I think we had the movie poster for that the other night. Iron Butterfly, heavy. Iron Butterflies, VG Plus $14.99 for Iron Butterfly Heavy. John Smetzer wants the stylistics. That's so to John Smetzer. Also, we have the Mothers of Invention, Freak Out, VG Condition, $26.99 for Freak Out. Mothers of Invention, Canned Heat, Live, is VG Plus $17.99 for Canned Heat. Roberta Flack, Chapter 2, VG Plus $14.99. And the Marvelettes, recorded live on stage. That's kind of very similar to that Marvin Gaye album. 63 Mono, VG Condition, $34.99. Update on these auctions. KISS has got a high bid of $101. $101 with Jamie Butler. That is an original U.S. pressing. One, zero, one. Going once, going twice to him. Black Sabbath has a high bid of $80 with Dominic. Dominic has Black Sabbath for $80. Going once, going twice. Debbie Winstead wants Roberta Flack. So did Debbie Winstead. We also have Foghat Live. Slow Ride, Take It Easy. EX, $17.99. Merle Haggard, Ogie from Muskogee. VG Plus, $14.99. 38 Specials, VG, $9.99. And the Johnny Van Zant Band, No More Dirty Deals, VG, $9.99. If anybody wants anything else in there, just be sure to let me know. I'm going to condense that with the other new vintage stuff that was left over from the night. Let's go through a new crate. Two great auctions. We're definitely going to have some Kiss Buy Nails. But before we do anything tonight, I got something really special. I have not done anything from this man's collection yet. I'm going to bring this over right now and officially show the very first record from the Jimmy Johnson collection. Yes, Jimmy Johnson, who was one of the original Swampers, from Fame Studios and Muscle Shoals Sound Studio. I've got his original record collection. I have about three or five tubs of it in the back. I really don't know because I hadn't really got to look through it all. But we got some really cool stuff here. I've got a lot of records that were his that's like new old stock, like I'm about to show you. But first, let me go ahead and move around some crates here. Let me go ahead and move around some crates. And I got some original sealed records that I'm going to put up for great prices as I buy it now. Let me move around some crates first, though. I'm going to move this one right here because I think this may be what we go through next. Just FYI. We got some great other new vintage stuff that John has marked over here. And some other auctions he got ready for us as well. So right now, though, we have these two right here. And... What I'm going to do is his wife uh, made the certificate of authenticity, and I don't have enough for all of them. Um, it's just like something she printed and she signed some of them. 
So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to just make a copy of some of this. I mean, it's just a little memento to you can keep with it and say, you know, that way it stays with it and people know it's from his collection. But what this is, is an original sealed copy of Lee Von Helm's album, which is self-titled, Lee Von Helm from the band. It's a sealed copy. It's a cutout. It has a punch hole. But this is from uh, Jimmy Johnson's collection. So I'm going to include the certificate. Some of them have it already in the sleeve, but I'm going to make a copy, make sure all those get that certificate of authenticity. So Lee Von Helm, these are sealed. They're never been opened. And they're $19.99. That's it. Just $19.99. I have an entire stack of them here if anybody wants a Lee Von Helm. And it's from Jimmy Johnson's personal collection. He produced it. Produced by Jimmy Johnson. That's why it was in his collection. Just $19.99. They're all original sealed from his collection. $19.99. Lee Von Helm. Hopefully I have enough for everybody. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that certificate there. I'm going to put them all in sleeves. And then if I have, I think, some of these loose certificates, and then I'll put some of these other ones down in there and uh, until we run out. But, yeah, one of the original Swampers, as mentioned, in Sweet Home Alabama. Pretty cool. That's Lee Von Helm. And uh, I'm going to do that at uh, right now as a bot now on those. And I'm going to count them out, and hopefully I have ever, uh, one. Uh, I have enough for everybody. So first, let's go back to the top and update these auctions. I left off by saying uh, the last thing was Roberta Flack, right? Hot in the Shade got a bid for 105 Jason Franz wanted 38 Special. Great decision. Some great Southern rock there. Speaking of Southern rock, that is so to Jason Franz. Shane Devers wanted MH. MH, Shane Devers. That was for Merle Haggard. I hadn't pulled that yet. This is for Shane Devers, Merle Haggard. Thank you. Hot in the Shade got a bid for 106 how much was Zappa freak out? Give me one second on that one. And then Hot in the Shade. Kiss got a new bid for 111 But I'll tell you what hasn't had a new bid was Black Sabbath, Born Again. Dominic had this for $80. And when I get to the bottom, if nobody else has outbid him, that's sold to Dominic for $80. And Kiss got a bid for 111 Jonathan Feller wanted a Weezer Blue album. What just happened to those? They're right here in front of me. This is sold... The Jonathan Felder. Let me go ahead and tag that. $33.99. Hot in the Shade, $112. I thought somebody already bid. Okay, $106, $111, $112. And now let me count out the Levon Helms. I'm just going to put them in the crate. And Rebecca, Jake, Tanner, make sure they all get a new sleeve. And let's make sure they all get a certificate of authenticity from uh, his wife. From his wife. So this is sold to Candice Lindberry. They're all $19.99. Let me go down the list here. Candice Lindberry gets one. Paul Ogley gets one. And... You can keep it sealed, open it, and enjoy it. Open it and enjoy it is what I say. You can keep it sealed, though. Totally up to you. It's your record now. Candace gets one. Paul Ogley gets one. Corey Gaston gets one. Robert Tomick, you were next. Charlie DeFrank was next. Pete Weisgarber was next. John Stevens was next. Stephen A. Young was next. Felix Solis was next. Tommy Flowers was next. I'm not done. I don't think I'm nowhere near done, but my stack is getting thin. Charles Verano was next. Kenny Heathcock was next. Debbie Winstead was next. Thomas Hujar was next. Dan Sessler was next. Jennifer Schrader was next. Sam Squatch 67 was next. Stacy Metternich was next. Jamie French was next. Dave Serretna was next. Fred Carnell was next. Sandy Mile was next. Robert Phillippe was next. New Page. Jason Franz, no, Jason Kenton was next. Bill Samus was next. Zachary P. gets the last one. There may be more, but that's all I could find in that first tub. Zachary P. was the last person. Zachary Pablubicki. He was the last person. Now, we had a new bid on Kiss for 115 and then Jackie Ray, you were next on Levon Helm. And then Rami Lou, then Tim Turner, and then Jason Franz got 38 special. Yes, make sure Jason Franz got that 38 special from earlier. And Kiss has got new bids for 124. All right, Black Sabbath is sold to Dominic for $80. Dominic, I hope you're still watching. Thank you, Dominic, and welcome. And if y'all notice, some of these may have had a price tag on them where his wife, she began pricing some of this stuff where she was going to try to sell it. And I actually had a contact 
his wife knows my mom's cousin, and my mom is originally from Alabama. So actually, Jimmy Johnson's wife is friends with my mom's cousin. My mom's cousin told Jimmy Johnson's wife about our shop. She gave us a call, and Paul went down and bought this collection. So it's some of his stuff like he got where he was a producer, and then it was some stuff that he actually listened to that was like in his personal collection. But a lot of it is like stuff he got where he was a producer and owned that studio, and it's stuff like he produced or he played on it. So, you know, this one's produced. I'm about to do some uh, Atlanta, some amazing rhythm aces. I've got some amazing rhythm aces that he produced. Those are next. So that's how we got that collection. Pretty cool. Kiss has a new bid for 127 This is an original U.S. pressing of Hot in the Shade. It's nice. EX Plus, original sleeve, OG first pressing. James Bragg has it for 127 And Jason, John Franz got that 38 special. Yes, we got a Jason Franz and a John Franz. The 38 special from earlier went to John Franz. John Franz. Sorry about that. All right. My mom is from Alabama. Yeah, she does that horrible roll tide thing every once in a while. Uh, okay. Next auction. We got a Kiss album up. So let's do Striper. Oh, boy. Let's see what this thing looks like. I tell you, it looks cool right off from the beginning. Striper. I have Alabama, unfortunately, in my blood, yeah. I don't have a problem with Alabama. I actually don't have a problem. They can beat us for the next 20 years. It's okay. I was there, I was there when we broke the streak. I don't, if we lose for the next 20, it's probably going to happen anyway. The yellow and black attack on blue vinyl. Should I say beautiful blue vinyl? Beautiful blue vinyl. Original inner sleeve, striper, $35 start. Striper with the die cut cover that is now up for bid. Kiss is at 127 with James Bragg. I think everybody else is out. Final call to James Bragg. Let's go through this crate very quickly. Smashing Pumpkin, Siamese Dream, $59.99. New and sealed. Van Halen, live. 4LP, right here, right now. $99.99. Ice Cube, lethal injection. Ice Cube is $33.99. Lindsey Buckingham, this is the best of Lindsey Buckingham, a 6LP box set, $114.99, Lindsey Buckingham, the newest Casey Musgraves album, Deeper Well, $39.99 for Casey Musgraves in Boston, their self-titled debut album, we're talking about more than a feeling, foreplay, long time, peace of mind, smoking, hit your ride, $28.99, Jason Anderson wants Ice Cube, that's so to Jason Anderson, Striper has a new bid, of $50 with Becky Young. Kiss is done. It's over. It's so to James Bragg for $127. And Scott Williams, your bid just came in. Scott, I had done a final call on that. I thought we were done. I've got to sell it to James Bragg for $127 because we also have lots, lots more auctions to put up. That is so to James Bragg for $127. Striper has bids for $50. Another bid for $50. Drew Smith gets a Boston. Scott Joachim Staller. I got another Boston for Scott Joachim Staller. Let's put Striper in slot number one. Three people have bid $50, but Becky was first. We need a tiebreaker. All right, let's put up a Japanese pressing. This is always cool. Sometimes we get these from our Japanese dealers. This is Lick It Up, the 1983 original Japanese pressing. It doesn't have a poster, there's no sticker sheet, but it does have the OB cover. So the OB kind of covers the cover. I kind of like that, because I like that better than what they originally chose here. <laughs> I like that a lot better. Uh, Kiss, lick it up, but this is a Japanese pressing. Let's put it up for a $55 star. Speaking of 55, that is uh, got a new high bid, striper at $55. Kiss, lick it up, beautiful Japanese vinyl. Look at that. Can y'all see that? Is that coming through y'all's screen? Beautiful Japanese vinyl. And what I meant by OB cover, there is the LP. So the OB kind of slides in the jacket like that. So it kind of covers the cover. So it comes with that, and it's kind of like an insert slash OB cover. And that is a $55 start. That's now a forbid. Lick it up. So Kiss, $55 start, Stripers at $56. We sold Boston. We sold Boston. Uh, Eric James wants the other ice cube. Eric, if you're a first-time buyer, 
Thank you and welcome. Make sure you message our page, Coletco, $7 unlimited shipping. This starts a new week. This starts a new billing week, Monday. We do this tonight, tomorrow night, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then we invoice you on Mondays, $7 unlimited shipping. I'm going to finish out this bottle of water. I need to. $7 in limited shipping. Some people buy one record. We've got some people where we literally have to use a forklift to move their order every week. We sell a lot of vinyl here. Welcome and thank you. Wings Greatest Hits, $33.99. We're talking about Paul McCartney here. This has Live and Let Die on it, Ban on a Run, Silly Love Songs, Jet, Let Them In, Uncle Albert, Admiral Hosley. It's remastered, $33.99. Nirvana, Unplugged, amazing stuff here. Single LP, which I kind of prefer. You only have to flip it one time. Unplugged is $36.99. About a Girl, Come As You Are. The Man Who Sold the World, the David Bowie. Polly, Plateau's a good one. Something in the Way, of course. All Apologies, $36.99. Alex Silo wants a Nirvana Unplugged. I've got one left. And I have Gregory Isaacs, No Luck, Classic Reggae from Culture Factory, One Pressing Worldwide Orange Vinyl, Translucent Orange, $33.99. Joan Jett, I Love Rock and Roll. New and Sealed, $29.99. Unfortunately, Wings is on black vinyl. That is on black vinyl. Lizzie Borden, Master of Disguise. Lizzie Borden is on Sky Blue Marbled Vinyl. That's actually a 2LP blue marbled vinyl, $33.99. Let's update these auctions. Striper had got to 55 of Alan Montgomery. Hate that sent over a minute ago. You might want to reconnect then. If your comments are coming in a minute late, you might want to swap off the app, make sure you've got everything closed out, and you just have Facebook open. That really helps your connection. Striper had a bid for 55 and then 60, and then Lick It Up got the opening bids, 55 and 60, and then uh, 70, and then 75, then 75, and Striper has a new bid for 57. Also, Lizzie Borden, give him the axe, $33.99, white blue marbled vinyl, and deal with the devil. So three Lizzie Bordens in there. They're all $33.99. If you want them, let me know the exact name of the album. Collective Soul, that's their self-titled album. Collective Soul is $33.99, 25th anniversary, first time ever on vinyl. If you want an OG, it's that one right there. Fleetwood Mac's Greatest Hits, $31.99. Leonard Skinner, speaking of them, that is Street Survivors, $33.99. Cake, Comfort Eagle is $33.99, and Ministry, a music on vinyl pressing of Twitch, $39.99 on Ministry, Maroon 5, Songs About Jane, $36.99, Puddle of Mud, Come Clean, that has their hit song Blurry on it, $39.99, and Lincoln Park, Meteora, $33.99 for Lincoln Park, $33, that has their hit song Numb on it. Jeff Church wants a collective soul. Thank you, Jeff. If you're a first-time buyer, Jeff Church, thank you and welcome. Make sure you follow those instructions so we can get your information. LS is for Leonard Skinner. That's so to Jonathan Feller. Derek Zarzaro wants cake. Michelle Miller wants TVM5. TVM5. TVM5 was... What was TVM5? Uh, Maroon 5, perhaps? Uh, what was TV? Was that something before that? I think Michelle definitely wants Maroon 5. And then Cassie Center wants a Maroon 5. And then what songs are on Maroon 5? Give me one second, but it does have uh, This Love on it. And I think the other big one on here is She Will Be Loved. That is their big album. Uh, we got one left. Richard Johnston, also on a collective soul. Steve Wright on P.O.M. P.O.M. was for Puddle of Mud. That's so to Steve Wright. David Barwick on FM, that's for Fleetwood Mac. Michelle Miller does want the M5. Chad, you getting the Lincoln Park paper hoods. They will be here tomorrow. They will be here tomorrow, actually. Update on these auctions. I didn't know if anybody's back in. Allen, you're out on Striper, 61, with Debbie Winstead. And Kiss, after we sell this one, we got to start moving through the Kiss stuff really fast. Joe Willinger and Steve Koch has this tied. Steve Koch came in first at $75. Final call. Steve Koch has that for $75. Steve, uh, uh, Steve Koch has that for $75. I put up a pre-order for the Lincoln Park, uh, Johnny Williams. It's up in the group if you want to go ahead and claim on there. Uh, Jason Anderson, Craig just shared the track listing, the Maroon 5. One left if you want it. Here's what's left in here. 
Maroon 5, Lincoln Park, Ministry, Lizzie Borden, Lizzie Borden, Joan Jett, Gregory Isaacs, Nirvana, Wings, Casey Musgraves, Lindsey Buckingham, Van Halen, and Smashing Pumpkins. Derek Zarzaro wants Lincoln Park. I had a feeling that wasn't going to stay around. Scott Ham wants the last Maroon 5. Let me make sure Jason Anderson doesn't want it. If Jason wants it, it's his. If not, Scott, it's yours. If Jason takes it, then I'll put you on a waiting list. Nirvana is so to Candace Lindberry. We have some great vinyl. Now that I've cleared out the old stuff and I put it all on sale last week, all the really good new titles are all kind of condensed. I think that's why we're selling a lot of new vinyl tonight out of the old bins because we have really good titles that uh, have been kind of mixed in with some old stuff, and it kind of drags it down. So we don't keep stuff in stock long around here. I clean it out, we sell it, and we move on. We have a whole crate of new vintage pre-owned records, vintage and pre-owned, that I'm about to bring over here right now and put up for auction. And I'm taking a peek at them, and there appears to be some really great titles in here so i hope everybody is ready for the what we are about to put up right now i just took a peek john had two things in there he said i should probably auction so i just pulled those out okay now striper was the only record that didn't get a claim a new bid alan said he's out it's done congratulations debbie winston blue vinyl og striper is sold to one more time, Debbie Winstead for $61. Kiss is at 110 with Joe Willinger. We're still not at what we had it stickered for. I told y'all we got all these stickered. We're almost there, but not quite. Everything I'm auctioning tonight, we're starting below what we had it suggested to be tagged for. Joe Willinger has it for 110. Steve's out. Final call. Holt Slack, Van Halen is $99.99. It's not the record store day edition. It's the regular new record, or I almost called it record store edition. Uh, they, it was only a record store day, and then they have repressed it where we can get it, which is, or it's not a record store day edition, if that makes sense. New and sealed, $99.99, the MSRP on it. Okay, Jason Anderson, if you're still watching, like I said, let me know if you want this. I didn't hear back from him, so I'm going to go ahead and give Maroon 5 to Scott Ham. Jason, if you're watching, let me know, and I'll change that up and give it to you. Okay, all new vintage stuff here. I'm going to go ahead and grab the next Kiss Auction because I think we're done on Lick It Up. And we have a promo copy of Hotter Than Hell. Yes, a promo copy. And uh, there's some other stuff. I'm trying to pull out all the unique stuff first. And like I said, we're probably going to have a bunch of buy it nows at the end. So all these copies we have of Destroyer and Love Gun and all those. But there's somebody... Actually, probably more than one person waiting for that alternate cover of Creatures of the Night. Let me find it. And we also have a copy of Killers. But first, we're going to do this Hotter Than Hell. And I'm going to pull a White Snake album to auction as well. So let's see what we have over here. All right. So we have up at the top, Joe Willinger is at $110 with Kiss. And he gets that. Joe Willinger gets that. for. We had that marked for $125. Joe, so do you for 110. That's so do you for 110. Thank you, Joe, and congratulations. All right, next auction is Kiss Hotter Than Hell. Check this out. This is a promo copy, a 1974 U.S. promo copy. VG condition on the vinyl. VG condition on the vinyl. It's in VG condition, but right there, right above the word stereo, it says promotion, and then over there on side one, it says, not for sale. This is a promo copy of Hotter Than Hell. Probably why it has a clip corner. VG condition, $155 start. Same price we started the US OG retail copy. This is a promo copy, $155 on Hotter Than Hell. We have White Snake slotted in. This appears to be a US... Let me take a look at it. It has a barcode on the back. The vinyl is superb. This is beautiful vinyl. This is why Snake slotted in. No condition notes. EX plus or better. A ritual on her sleeve. I don't have the exact pressing details, but I can tell you this. It has a barcode. The vinyl's nice. 1984. This may be... I don't really know. But it's a very clean copy. Let's put it up for a $25 star. Why Snake is up. Let's go through some new vintage stuff. Before I do that, 
I'm going to welcome everybody one more time to Coletco. I'm going to step over here and get a Monster Energy drink. It's not like I need any more energy right now, but I'm going to go ahead and crack one open because I've already chugged some water and I definitely need some new energy. We do this every night. I got a big sale plan for the rest of the week. Uh, we're probably going to do big uh, auctions tomorrow and we're going to do big auctions again on Wednesday and big auctions again on Thursday and on Friday. Guess what? We're probably going to do it on Saturday as well. Did I mention Friday? Also on Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, and tonight. Make sure you've liked the button. Make sure you've followed. We have all the social medias. We have Facebook, YouTube, X, Instagram, TikTok. Well, there's no Snapchat, but uh, uh, I don't think that's necessary. Did I leave anything else out? Welcome. Let's go through some new vintage arrivals. We have the Association's Greatest Hits, No Condition Notes, Classic 60s Music here, $14.99. Cherish, Windy, Never My Love, $14.99 on that. Deep Purple, the very best of Deep Purple, No Condition Notes, $29.99. Beautiful Vinyl, the very best of Deep Purple, Deepest Purple, $29.99. And Captain Beyond, Dawn Explosion, Captain Beyond is $34.99. $34.99 for Captain Beyond. Back over here, I left off and I said that White Snake was going up for auction. We had bids for 25, 25, 26, 35, 30, 40, 40, 45, and Kiss is at 155. We have a bid from Renee Mendoza. Renee has a new bid in for 155. It's a promo copy. It says promotion, not for sale. The vinyl's in VG condition. Above the word stereo, it says promotion, and over there, over side one, it says not for sale. Let me show you side two there. VG condition, hotter than hell, 1974. 1974. Has a clip corner, probably because it's a promo, and then just this generic white inner sleeve there. And Mike Miles says he bid 175 on Kiss. I may have missed that, Mike. Mike, I don't think that actually came in. It didn't. That's not on my feed, but it is now. Mike Miles said he bid 175 on Kiss. Mike has that for 175. Also, Friday and Saturday, you may want to tune in because we are cleaning house on old invoices. We got some people that have kind of lagged behind paying, and we give two weeks to pay. That's at the most, and we have kind of decided we're about to clean house, and we have made a post. I'm going to do it on the main page tomorrow. If you have an invoice older than, if you have an invoice older than. Uh, March, or if you have an invoice March or older and it hasn't been paid, you might want to do that immediately or send us a message on why or why not. Tell us why you can't pay it and when you can, just FYI. So we have new bids on KISS. Why Snakes at $46. We do have a claim in here. Travis Wade gets the association. Uh, we also show Deep Purple and we got Captain Beyond. I told y'all, great titles in this crate. JoJo Gunn. This is $9.99 for JoJo Gunn, self-titled, $9.99. Wild Things, The Ventures, The Ventures on Dalton Records, no condition notes, that's clean, $9.99. Kiss has a new bid for $185. White Snakes at $46 with Brian Thurman. Who was at $45? Candice Lindberry, you're out on White Snake. Let me know if you want back in. Elvis is a 1970 original Hollywood press, $26.99. Green RCA label, $26.99 on Elvis. Michelle Miller on The Ventures. That is sold to Michelle Miller. The Ventures is sold to Michelle Miller. That is sold. And we have Love and Happiness, $14.99. This is a Warner Brothers compilation. It's called Love and Happiness. It's a 2LP, $14.99. $14.99. The Police Synchronicity on translucent purple vinyl. I know it looks black. you got to hold it up to the light, but that's a high-quality mixture on the vinyl. It's essentially an audio file pressing of the police. Their classic album, $29.99. And the Babies, Union Jack, $19.99 on the Babies, Union Jack. Don Nicole, first on The King. That's Elvis Presley. Before I actually put that in there, let me start a new crate. That one has got quite full. Also, late tonight, we're going to be doing some movie posters. That's something else we deal in here at Coletco. Well, that's usually a late night deal. you got to be able to stay up late. We went um, Saturday night till after 2 a.m. Uh, we do this every night. And we usually go to at least 11 or midnight. Sometimes we're here till 2 a.m. live streaming and selling records, posters, and other collectibles. 
Elvis was the next claim. That's so to Don Nicole. Dave Serretna wants the police synchronicity. Christopher Nagy is second. Price and condition on Captain Beyond, George Scherer. Captain Beyond, everything in here is EX Plus or better. $34.99, clean copy, VG Plus jacket, $34.99. Steve Koch, you were third on the police. Scotty Hopps, fourth. Michael Lynn, fifth. Chad, I left a message of Pink Floyd 50th anniversary. Clear, prism copy that was due out April 4th. What is the status on that? Those will be here tomorrow. I would actually be showing them tonight, but the UPS man didn't deliver any of our boxes. The Pink Floyds are due out this week. They push back, they push back the due date. It's due out this Friday. They were supposed to be delivered today. Lots of new releases coming out this week. We should start showing those tomorrow. Big night for new vinyl. We have George Scherer said sold on Captain Beyond. That is sold to George Scherer. And we have 38 Special, a clean copy. Now, we've done two crates of new vintage stuff. This is non-check condition. These records are extremely nice. Vinyl is all EX plus or near mint minus $24.99. All right. Did that other person ever bid on White Snake? Candace is out. Brian Thurman, this is sold to you for $46. We got to keep auctions rolling. That is sold to Brian Thurman for $46. Thank you, Brian Thurman. If anybody else, if anybody else wants to bid on Kiss Hotter Than Hell, you've got to outbid Mike Miles at $200. Mike has that for $200. If anybody else wants to bid, please do. If you're done bidding, Mr. or Mrs. Uh, Mendoza, we had a new bidder. You can bid again, or if you say out, that means you're done and you can't bid again, but that means we can go ahead and sell it. Next LP, Tommy Shaw from Sticks. Girls with Gun, nice looking copy here. OG inner sleeve, hop sticker, and near mint minus vinyl, $19.99. Kiss has a new bid for $210. When this Kiss record sells, we'll put up another one. First, though, let's put up this Dio record. Sacred Heart. Boy, this looks nice. I hope the vinyl is as nice as the cover because this cover is in shrink wrap with the original retail price tag on it of just $6.28. It's going to cost a lot more than that right now. This is Dio. The vinyl is also fantastic. We're talking OG Sacred Heart, original under sleeve, $35 start. Dio, Sacred Heart, King of Rock and Roll, Rock and Roll Children, Hungry for Heaven, Like the Beat of the Heart, $35 star, great Dio album, an OG in shrink wrap and original inner sleeve. Kiss has a new bid for $225. How much was for the babies? Union Jack was $19.99, Michelle. Joe Willinger wants Tommy Shaw, and Dio has a bid for $35.40 and another bid for $40. Continuing. We have The Hoods, Four Songs to Kill For, a 1992 Grease album. That's a garage group, The Hoods, $26.99 on The Hoods. Kiss is at $255. Dio's at $45. The Nomads, $14.99 for The Nomads, $14.99 for The Nomads, a 1987 Belgium record. We also have Jimmy Rogers, Chicago Bound, a 1982 Italian pressing. Jimmy Rogers, Chicago Band, $24.99. The Beach Boys, Surfing USA. This is a vintage 70s, or actually, I think that's an 80s capital reissue. It's an 80s capital reissue of one of their early albums, Surfing USA. $19.99 on that. So Kiss was at $255. Dio had bids for $40, $45, $50, $55. JoJo Gun price. JoJo Gun is $9.99. Dio has bids for $50 and then $65. And then George Scherer first on JR. That was for Jimmy Rogers. That's so to George Scherer. Allen also bid 60 on Dio. Pete had already bid 65. Tony Lewis first on the Beach Boys. Sean Reed second. Paul Ogley said he will take JoJo Gunn. Dio's now at 70. And Kiss, hotter than hell, is at 255 with Mendoza. I'm just going to say Mendoza. That first name is Berserker Dad Mendoza. <laughs> so that's at 255. And we have who was else bidding? Mike Miles. Mike Miles balls in your court on Hot, Hotter Than Hell. I like that album. That might be one of my favorites by Kiss. Let me shake up this monster right quick. I'm going to mute my mic for 10 seconds to take a drink of this. So excuse me for one second, please. I'm going to need this to get to 2 a.m. tonight.
Great turnout tonight. I hope to see this again tomorrow. We got 385 people still watching. We're only at 9 o'clock. Thanks, everybody, for spending your Monday night with us. Hope you're having fun. Hopefully, we have lots of record collectors here on the edge of their seat. This is $29.99. This is Tommy Two-Tone. $29.99 has the original on the sleeve. That's 8675309. Jenny Crow. What's this? Curved Air. Curved Air is $19.99. Curved Air is $19.99. And we also have Johnny Cash. This is a Time Life. I've never seen this before. It's a box set. There's some damage to the bottom. But what do we have here? A Johnny Cash Time Life box set, $26.99. $26.99. Johnny Cash. It is a box set. Never seen that before. Johnny Cash. That's $26.99. Back up at the top. Uh, Dio, let's introduce Dio one more time as we move it to a final, or excuse me, Kiss. Uh, Kiss is at $275. This is hotter than hell. It's a promo copy. It's a VG promo copy. There's the label. Promotion, not for sale. Hotter than hell, 1974, their second album, a promo copy. A promo copy. This has a high bid with K-Star for $275. $275. Now, I just want to let everybody know, if you're a first-time buyer and some of these high-profile auctions, we may ask for you to go ahead and pay for them tonight. Well, that's kind of a new rule we've been doing in the last six or eight months. Some of these very high-profile records, if you're a new buyer and you purchase some of these, we may go ahead and ask you to pay for some of them tonight because we've had some people buy some very expensive auctions in the past and we never hear from them again. So we do send invoices out on Monday, but some of these we may ask you to go ahead and pay for tonight, just FYI, new buyers. So one thing is we definitely try to get your information immediately, and we may go ahead and invoice you for it, just FYI. So if you're placing a bid, make sure you're available to pay for it if we send out the invoice tonight. The last thing we were at was Dio, and Darren Wallace had bid $75. It's a near mint OG and shrink wrap of original sleep. $75. Hotter than hell is a promo. Yes. Paul Ogley gets curved air. Shane Devers gets the Johnny Cash box. Never had seen that before. Robert Tomic was second. Fred Carnell second to curve air. K Star bid $275 on Kiss. Deidre was third on Johnny Cash. And we have The Illusion together is $14.99. The Illusion together as a way of life. The Illusion on the Steed label, that's $14.99. Dio has a high bid and a final call now of $75 with Darren Wallace. Phil Elliott's at $280 on Kiss, Hotter Than Hell. We're talking about a rare promo copy here. Blondie, Parallel Lines, $49.99 for Blondie, Parallel Lines. Very clean copy. An original with the original on her sleeve, $49.99. Phil Elliott's at four, excuse me, $280 on Kiss. We're about to sell Dio. We're going through new vintage arrivals here. David Bowie changes, $39.99. This is a David Bowie hits compilation on the original tan label. An amazing lineup of music here, $39.99. If TT is $14.99 or less, I'll take it. Pam, it is actually twice that much. Little River Band, Backstage Pass is $16.99. Zachary P. first on David Bowie. That's so to Zachary P. And Boston, Don't Look Back, $29.99 on Boston. That's on the second label, the Blue and Black Epic, $29.99. K-Star, let me know if you want back in on Hotter Than Hell. I'm selling the Dio, though. Darren Wallace, that's going to you. Nice, beautiful copy, $75. Dio. What an amazing voice. Perfect for metal. He was born for metal, right? He was born for metal. That is so to Darren Wallace. We have Cosmo Z01 on Tommy Two-Tone. Now, if we have a first-time buyer on YouTube, thank you and welcome. We're going to share the link to our website where you can fill out a first-time buyer form, which is Shop Coleco. These are for the people just watching over on YouTube uh, or X who may uh, not have a Facebook account. That's why we started streaming to YouTube. There's millions of people who have YouTube accounts that obviously do not have Facebook that probably want to buy records. So we started streaming on YouTube a couple years ago. Uh, so thank you and welcome for those uh, viewers over there, especially if you're new tonight. Welcome. I've got a Kiss record on deck. We're going to do Killers. That's next. But I'm doing a final call. A new buyer and a new bidder, Phil Elliott. He has Hotter Than Hell for 280 it looks like he's a KISS fan. I see Paul Stanley or something in his profile pic, it looks like. 
welcome. I'm also going to get a new auction started, which is going to be this record here. I don't know a lot about Tempest, a coming storm. It was in the metal auction box, so let's put it up for bid. I really don't know what I have here, but we're about to find out if I don't drop it. This has the original under sleeve with it. Tempest, a coming storm. Tempest, a coming storm. The vinyl appears to be very nice. It does have two needle drop scuff marks right here. Two needle drop scuff marks that run completely across this side right here, side one. They're non feeler so let's bump it down to an EX copy. Other than that, it's nice. An original under sleeve. I don't know a lot about this, but let's go ahead and put it up for auction. Tempest, a coming storm. 1987 Pure Metal. Pure Metal is a Christian heavy metal label. There we go. Thank you, John Miss Moyer. John Miss Moyer is our in-house metal expert, one of many we have here. $25 start. Hotter Than Hell has a new bid for $285. We're not done yet. K-Star is back in at $285. If you're a first-time buyer, please make sure you fill out that form immediately. Cosmo Z01, please go ahead and fill out that form immediately. I try to keep track of it if we have a first-time buyer because sometimes we have people hop on, they make purchases, and we never hear back from them again. Yes, you do have to pay for these records. I'm not here just showing them for the fun of it. This is, we're here to sell them <laughs> and then get paid for them. Kenny Rogers, share your love, $9.99. The name of the artist is Tempest. Tempest is the name of the artist. Wow, the Batman soundtrack, music by Prince, $64.99. And OG, $64.99. This has a gold stamp promo and a hop sticker on it. $64.99, $64.99, and Spyro Gyra free time. Spyro Gyra is $9.99. I don't know if I recall seeing that one too much. Spyro Gyra, $9.99. Phil Elliott back in on Hotter Than Hell at $2.90. Going twice, going three times. If you're done bidding, please let me know. Alan Montgomery wants Batman. K-Star back in at $2.95. Tempest has a bid for $25. Rami Lou gets Spy. Rojara, Jared Inc. was second. The Bengals, different light, $34.99. Manic Monday. These records that's in these MoFi inner sleeves, these were already cleaned, beautiful condition. I think some of this is from that Kansas City collection. As y'all know, that uh, some of it had like 3,500 albums. I don't know that for certain, but everything he had was ultrasonically cleaned. I hadn't actually got to go through them myself. I'm going to start digging back there tonight, trust me. I haven't got to look at any of this new stuff Paul's bought in like two weeks. It's all back there tubbed up, and the only time I get to see it is like right now. But these, some of these are beautiful. We've got them priced accordingly for like top copies because they're nice. This guy kept ultra nice stuff. As you see, it's been stored probably for a while in a MoFi inner sleeve. It's been ultrasonically cleaned. Bangles, different light. That has Walk Like an Egyptian and Manic Monday on it. An original, $34.99. Bad Company, $19.99. Whoa. Bad Company, self-titled, $19.99. Another beautiful clean copy. Bad Company's $19.99. And we have Roberta Flack, first take. Roberta Flack is $19.99. Roberta Flack is $19.99. Okay. So back up at the top, Hotter Than Hell. K-Stars at $2.95. Phil Elliott, would you like back in? K-Star has it for $2.95. Tempest got one bid for $25. It's a final call. $25, final call. Uh, Cosmo's not a first-time buyer. Thank you and welcome back. My bad. Christopher Nagy, first on Bad Company. David Barkwick was second. Neil Regler wants Roberta Flack. That is done. We have Frank Sinatra, Old Blue Eyes is back, $14.99. And the Temptations reunion, sealed, 1999. Also, shout out to Craig Sweden. Craig is a volunteer watching out in California right now. We're located in Middle Tennessee. Craig watches for a couple hours every night, sometimes three hours. And all he does for us, volunteer basis, is answer people's questions. He posts his track listing. And even this week, I asked him for a simple favor, and he performed just like that. I said, Craig... Can you get me together a list of very popular pre-orders coming out in the next month or two? It was at no time. He had like a PDF file sent to my Facebook Messenger of new upcoming pre-orders, and he does all this for free. Every once in a while, when he finds a record he wants, when he claims it, we'll send it to him for free. 
no charge because he works uh, equivalent of like a part-time job for us for free. Thank you, Craig. So, Craig, thank you for doing that. I just said, Craig, can you give me some pre-orders coming up? And just like, boom. He could have opened my message and not even replied like I do to people every day because I have no time. Craig made time and he did that. Plus, he's on here every night. He doesn't miss a beat, folks. I wish he was on here till 2 a.m., but he has to stop at some point, I understand. <laughs> we live stream like 40 hours a week. That would literally be a full-time job. I'll tell people, I was like, I have a lot to do because I'm on here for 30 to 40 hours a week live streaming, plus I have to do other stuff. So Craig's on here for at least half that time. But these pre-orders I've been posting in the last 48 hours, I didn't know about any of them until Craig sent me that list. So thank you, Craig. All right, back up at the top. The last thing we had was Roberta Flack. Roberta Flack is go to Neil Ragler. Also, I see people asking Craig stuff all the time, like, when does my order ship and when does... Uh, when do I get tracking, and can you fix my invoice? Craig's out in California, folks. He, he's a long ways from Coletco. He's a long ways. He, he doesn't do anything with shipping. He just helps with track listing and, and other questions. Hotter Than Hell got a new bid for $300. Tempest got a new bid for $27. Jason Franz got the temptation. Tony Lewis, Sinatra. Sinatra was $14.99. Sinatra is $14.99. Hotter Than Hell's at $320. Hotter Than Hell is at 320 And we have Tammy Cleveland gets the Bengals. I think she meant the Bengals. That's so to Tammy Cleveland. Also, Tempest got new bids for 28 and 28 And Tony Lewis wants Frank Sinatra. So let's update the Hotter Than Hell. The last bid I said on Hotter Than Hell, but in between all those thank you Craig comments, was K-Star $320. K stars at $320. Scott Klima second on Frank Sinatra. And we have Hank Ballard and the Midnighters. Those lazy, lazy days. Hank Ballard is a 1964 mono, $34.99. That's on the original King label, $34.99. How do you see bids from other formats? Right here are my hands going up and down. This is where the master feed is shown. That's from YouTube, X, and Facebook. Most people don't comment over on X. They just watch but uh, we also stream to YouTube. Hotter Than Hell's now at $325 with Phil Elliott. Tempest has a high bid of $28 with Luke Rosenberger. He's the high bid. That's called Tempest, A Coming Storm. And this is on a Christian metal label. I don't know a lot about it, but it's Tempest, A Coming Storm. And Darren Wartman has it for $29. That's a new bid that just came in. We're going through a crate of new vintage Arrivals here. There's great titles as y'all can see. We have so much more to go through. The best of Delaney and Bonnie, 1999. Clapton probably plays on several of these tracks. That is a very clean original yellow Atco label, 1999. Hotter than hell, 330. Tempest is at 30. And Femme Fatale, Hotta Brooks or Hatta Brooks, a 1957 mono, 1999. I don't know about y'all, but there's an awesome song on Tool's Fury and Auckland album called. Tempest, however they write that, it's like with a seven. That's an amazing song on that album. So I've been saying this Tempest, and all I can hear is that song playing in my head, which is an incredible masterpiece. It is an amazing song. We have Woodstock 2, $39.99. Woodstock 2, this is a 2LP. This is live from Woodstock. Excuse the child nudity there. Butterfield Blues Band, Crosby, Steals, and Ash, Jimi Hendrix, Jefferson Airplane, $39.99 on Woodstock 2. That's a 2LP gatefold. I think it's actually a trifold. I think it's on the cotillion. It should trifold. Yep, there's the aftermath of Woodstock. <laughs> there's the before and the after, just a barren wasteland. That is an original on the cotillion, $39.99. Okay, continuing. We have Rainbow, Andy Kim, Sealed. $24.99. Debbie Winston wants Woodstock. That's so to Debbie Winston and Randy Newman, Little Criminals, $14.99. Uh, Phil Elliott, let me know if you want back in on Hotter Than Hell. K Star has that for $330. Tempest has a high bid of $31. Debbie Winston got that. Is the one striper album have left is against the law? I don't think I have a striper album left. When will King Cobra go up? Uh, here in just a second. I didn't want to put it up and confuse. Um, Kiss with King Cobra, because it's both K. I don't see another. Uh, Trey, I think we've sold them all, but there's more in these other collections, just FYI. 
We have on stage the Loggins of Messina, fourteen ninety nine. Winner of more metal records from Kansas City going to for sale tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. We have Jethro Tull, thick as a brick, green Christmas label with the newspaper cover, thirty six ninety nine. That has the very cool newspaper cover. And James Taylor, dad loves his work, twelve ninety nine. Darren Wartman is the high bidder on Tempest. Final call for thirty one dollars. And we have Hotter Than Hell. That's a final call. K Star has that for three thirty. 3.30, 3.30. Okay, uh, I was waiting for Phil Elliott. If he says out, I'm immediately selling it to K-Star. We got to get K-Star's information, new buyer, and I'm going to go ahead and start introducing. Uh, it's so hard to keep two artists by the, two auctions by the same artist going because of the K's and the name of the album. It gets very complicated. So, uh, yeah, I'm about to end both of these, though. We have to. Steve Warner, Greatest Hits. That is $14.99. Feels back in on Hotter Than Hell for $3.35. Tony Farr plays the far out of it. Plays the fire out of it, and then they scratched out fire and put far. That's a very cool cover of that old classic fire truck there. $19.99. Phil Elliott's back in, and we have a new bit on Tempest. And we have Sammy Hagar, Standing Hampton, $24.99. K-Star's not a new buyer, just on YouTube tonight. Okay, my bad. So Phil Elliott is back in at three thirty-five. dollars K-Star, you're out. Tempest has a new bid for $32. Tempest has a new bid for $32. Darren Warman, you're out. And Present Hint Shoes, that's $14.99. Matt Shepard wants Sammy Hagar. There should be several claims for that. Uh, let me get a new Kiss album rolling. I'll have to do something. Let's do... I had... <coughs> Excuse me. I couldn't get to my mic button fast enough. Let's do Creatures. If you want to bid on this, please put Creatures, okay? That's the only way I can take your bid because they're still not done on Hotter Than Hell, and it may be a while before we sell that one. This is Creatures of the Night. It is the second cover, obviously. VG Plus Condition, $45 start, a 1985 PRC Richmond pressing with the original under sleeve. If you want to bid, put Creatures or Cree. Just abbreviate it so I know you're bidding on this. Of course, I can definitely tell by the price. One auction's almost at $350. This one just got a bid for $60. VG Plus condition. It's on, it's obviously an original. Uh, well, sort of. You know what I mean. It's a 1985. The original would be obviously the first cover. That is now up for bid. That's over there off to the side. Hotter than hell, $345. Darren's out on Tempest. Final call to Debbie Winston for $32. Creatures got bid for 50, 60, 50, 45, 100, and 70. High bids 100. That escalated quickly. Another Sammy Hagar, VOA, $24.99. The first Sammy Hagar went to Matt. David Barwick, you were second. Jeff Church wants Jeff uh, James Taylor. Jeff gets James. That's so to Jeff Church. And uh, Phil Elliott. Let's see. Who has Phil? You're out on Hotter Than Hell. K Star has that for $345. Edwin Blom wants details on shoes. Shoes is a 1979, no condition notes, EX Plus, New Wave Power Pop album, $14.99. Matt Shepard gets this Sammy Hagar as well. Brian C., you were second. Sop with Camel with Hop Sticker, remember, Hello, Hello, also with a stereo sticker. It's a 1967 original MGM Press, $34.99. $34.99. If you're just joining in on the action, Hotter Than Hell is a promo copy. It is an original promo copy. It has promotion, not for sale. This is a promo copy of Hotter Than Hell. VG condition, Phil Elliott has it for $350. New high bidder is K-Star at $360. Tempest is done. Tempest is sold. Let's go back before I lose that bid. Debbie Winston for $32. Debbie gets that for $32. Thank you, Debbie Winston. That is so to Debbie for $32. All righty. Now, we got two KISS auctions. I'm probably going to start a third one in just a second, but we got Creatures and we got Hot Dirt Van Hale. If you want to bid on Creatures, you've got to go through Joseph Felicetti. He pushed all of his chips in early. Maybe not all of them. Who knows? He's at $100. He's at $100. Christopher Brusha gets Camel. Hotter Than Hell's at $360. And Michael Obrick wants uh, Hada, Hedda Info, please. Hedda Info, please. Uh, Hada, Hada Brooks or Hedda Brooks. Femme Fatale is on the Crown label. And that is a 1957. 
That is a 1957 mono, 1999, 1999, 57 mono. The Beach Boys, Beach Boys 69, 1999. And we have the Oak Ridge Boys, Try a Little Kindness. I don't know if I've seen that one before. That's a sealed copy, $12.99. Speaking of, let's take a break for that for just a second. And let's go over here to some more records I had set aside from that Jimmy Johnson collection. And I think these are all sealed. Let me check that. Sealed, too sealed. What do I do with the rest of them? I thought I had a pile of them. Give me one second. Sealed, sealed, sealed. Should be more than just these two, I think, unless I did something else with them. Oh, here they are. Okay, let's do these first. All right. So here is another record from Jimmy Johnson's collection. This is uh, sealed, and what would he do on this? Produce it? I think he produced it. Let's see here. I think so. I think it says on the back. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he produced it because he produced their other stuff. This is the amazing... Rhythm Aces. This is sealed. And she had it marked for $34. i am going to do these for $24.99. This is all that I have. They're sealed. They're going to come with this certificate. This is from Jimmy Johnson, one of the original Swampers. I think y'all saw when I made that post. We got his collection. Here's one of these here that she actually numbered and signed. But this is a sealed copy of Amazing Rhythm Aces from Jimmy Johnson's collection. It looks like I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're gonna be $24.99. They're all sealed. They've never been opened. He had a lot of like new old stock in his collection, stuff he produced or possibly even played on. He probably played on it and produced it, knowing him. And uh, I've got these. They'll all be first come, first serve. If, we, if it doesn't have a certificate with it that she actually made and signed, I will make a copy of it. So I'll make sure they all get in a new sleeve, and even if it's not one of her certificates, we'll make a copy of one, and we'll make sure they all go in there. But I have, 20, these are $24.99, and I've got one, two, how many do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight sealed copies, and I'm going to go down the line in just a second and give those out for $24.99 each. That was Jimmy Johnson. Sorry for my allergies. I was on the golf course today, so I've been like battling uh, the, I've been battling the, ponel, uh, the pollen. Uh, uh, Hotter Than Hell was at $360. Creatures got a new bid for $110. John Smetzer first on the Steve Warner. Let's go ahead and give that to John Smetzer. That was Steve Warner's greatest hits. And then the Amazing Rhythm Aces are $24.99. These are $24.99. Let's give one to Robert Tomic. Let's give one to Rami Lucy. Let's give one to Robert Phillippe. Let's give one to Jennifer Schrader. Let's give one to Rob Scheffler. Let's give one to Candace Lindberry. Let's give one to Jim Sadal. And I definitely don't have enough this time for everybody. Let's give one to Deidre Schultz. Deidre Schultz. Now, Dave Serretna, Harry Morris, and Tim Turner. I think I may have a couple of opened ones that are nice. Actually, one's a gold stamp promo and one's in shrink wrap. I'll do those for $19.99 for the next two people. The next two people was uh, Dave Serretna and Henry Morris. If you want one that's open, uh, let me know. $19.99, same thing from his collection. If you want to pass, that's fine. Tim Turner, you're next. So Dave Serretna and Harry Morris next on that. And I definitely don't have enough for everybody. Uh, let's go back up to the top here. Hotter Than Hell, 365 and 370. So somebody wants to know how much Creatures of the Night is and can they see the label. Lazarus has this for $110. Lazarus has this for $110. Creatures of the Night Kiss. There's the label. Creatures of the Night. Lazarus has it for $110. Hotter Than Hell has been up for auction for about 40 minutes. K-Star and Phil Elliott have been going back and forth. It's now at $370 with K-Star. Phil Elliott's back out bid. Creatures is at $110. And that was the, I've got the details right here, a 1985 PRC Richmond pressing. A 1985 PRC Richmond pressing with the original inner sleeve. And the high bid on that is $110 with Lazarus. That is a final call. It's a 1985 PRC Richmond press. It says 72 on the label. It says 72 on the label. It's a 1975, excuse me, a 1985 PRC Richmond Press. Scott Williams is back in at 114. 
Okay, now pass and uh, so who was next? Uh, they passed on this, the open copy. Uh, Tim Turner and Larry Drish, do y'all want these for $19.99? Tim Turner and Larry Drish, y'all let me know. Tim Turner says he'll take one. Okay, I'll give you this one right here. That's so to Tim Turner. Larry, make sure his goes in, Tim Turner's for $19.99, $19.99. And then make sure that um, Larry Drish, if he wants one, also $19.99. I'm actually going to put a sticky on it. So we know we also got to make sure all these get uh, sleeved and with those COAs put in them. Larry Drish, you're next. Larry, let me take a look at it right quick. Shrink wrap, original inner sleeve, and it is very nice, as I would expect. I hadn't even looked at it yet, so. And uh, I'll make sure you get a certificate. He passed. How about this? I'll just, if anybody wants it, just say Amazing Rhythm Aces, and I'm about to do another batch in just a second. All right, let's keep going through this bin. We have Rockin' Rockin'. That is a 1981 Holland Rockabilly album. Rockabilly, $14.99. Charlie DeFrank gets it. Sell that to Charlie DeFrank for $19.99. $19.99. He gets the other one. That's a lot easier than me going back to that list. Pop History, Volume 20. The Blues Project. The Blues Project featuring Al Cooper and Steve Katz. A German pressing, 2LP compilation, $24.99. A German pressing, 2LP compilation. On a red Polydor, that's a German pressing. And that is, let me show you that. Exceptionally nice. $24.99, The Blues Project, a German pressing. That's a Pop History Volume 20, which was a series of artists and compilations they did. Gatefold, $24.99. All right, so I beat Charlie on Amazing Rhythm Aces. Actually, you were second. Charlie, Phil, Robert, Scott, and Edwin Riviera. You're probably looking at your Facebook chat. Facebook chat doesn't count. You got to uh, see what's on the screen right here, which is where my my index finger is moving. Charlie and then Phil. You got to look at that because there's also people watching on YouTube and X, but mostly YouTube. Also, Phil, you're out bet on hotter than hell. K Star has it for 400. Lazarus came back in on creatures at 120. If you're done bidding, let me know. Scott Williams and Joseph Felicetti. Lazarus outbid you. He's at. He's at 120. He's watching over on YouTube. Sammy Hagar, three lock box, $24.99. Also, Billy Joe, Songs from the Attic, $14.99 for Billy Joe. That's an original. And Tommy Bolin, Private Eyes, $19.99. Kiss Buyers, FYI, we're not going to get to all this stuff tonight. I'm trying my best to auction as much as possible. I figured these auctions would take forever. We hadn't even made a dent yet. I figured some of these people would be bidding on for a half hour which we have been, it's taken a long time because people keep bidding and bidding and nobody wants to say out and we just keep going and going, and, but we sell it when everybody's done. So some of these are taking a very long time. When we run out of time here in about probably an hour, I'm just, I've got everything priced, we're just gonna go through the bins and we're gonna sell all of them. We probably have 60 more Kiss albums, okay? Just FYI. Some of these, I don't think, we, we might be bidding on some of these I still have over here for another half hour. Who knows? We have Matt Shepard first on Sammy Hagar. That is so to Matt Shepard. Scott says he's out on that. We have Steve Koch second on Sammy Hagar. Debbie Winston first on Billy Joe. Richard Johnston wants Tommy Bolin. Joseph Felicetti's also out on Kiss. Scott Williams said he's out on Kiss. Phil Elliott is back in on Kiss, Hotter Than Hell, at 405. We had two people out on Creatures. I hope everybody was done bidding. Lazarus gets that for 120. Lazarus gets that for 120 dollars. Lazarus, that is so to you. Creatures of the night. K Star is out on Hotter Than Hell. Phil Elliott, this is so to you for 405 dollars. Phil, if you're a first-time buyer, make sure you message our page. I need your email and your mailing address. Are you a first-time buyer? If you are, thank you. I may have to go ahead and invoice you for that record because it's your first time purchase on a very pricey record. So make sure to be prepared for that. I will let you know if I'm sending you an invoice. I got to get Tanner up here first. Edwin Blom says he'll take Rainbow Ride by Andy Kim, which was sealed. That is sold to Edwin Blom. Let's put up two new Kiss records. The next I have is Kiss Killers. This is a 1982 Netherlands pressing. This is Kiss Killers. $25 start. It has a hop sticker on it that says special price, high quality pressing, Kiss Killers. 
This is a $25 start. Beautiful, beautiful vinyl, $25 start. Phil S says I'm a first timer and I filled out the lake. Okay, thank you. Like I said, thank you. And uh, here in a minute, I may have to send you an invoice for that. If uh, just be on standby, I'll let you know if we send it. I'll let you know if we send it. Killers is now up for auction. Let me do another one so I can keep two side by side. Let's go ahead and do, um, is this an OG Unplugged? I think we have an OG Unplugged. Let me see what else we have in here. I really hadn't got to look at everything yet. Let me scroll through here and see what's in here. Uh, any request? I'm trying to see what the most unusual thing we have left or just something different we don't get very often. Uh, let me see. Oh, yeah, Smashes Thrashes. Yeah, let's do that. Smashes Thrashes. All right, so there's Killers. I'm trying to do the stuff that's obscure, we don't see very often, desirable, out of print. I'm trying to do all those first. The next auction, if you want to bid on Killers, make sure you put Killers. If you want to bid on Smashes, be sure and put Smashes, okay? Make sure you put Smashes. This is a 1988 U.S. pressing with the original inner sleeve. This is now going up for an $85 start. Kiss, smashes, thrashes, and hits. It's nice. It's got the original inner sleeve. The vinyl has been cleaned. It's exceptionally nice. Very, very nice. Wow, very. Let me hold that up to the light. That almost looks like it's like brown translucent. No, it's not, but it's really, really clean looking for sure. All right. That's up for bid. That smashes $85 start. I think that will save us some time. Some of these I may start a little higher than I was going to just because they're probably going to get there anyway and we'll save a lot of time. I could start all these at a dollar. It would take even longer to sell them. I can go ahead and just bump them up and we'll get to the end price faster. All right, so when I left off, let me make sure I didn't miss anything else. We sold Rainbow. Uh, we had a first time buyer feel. Thank you. Killers got bid for 25, 25, 35, 30, 50, another 35, a 52, a $70 bid, a $100 bid, and the high bid is $100 on Kiss Killers. $100 on Kiss Killers. And let me show that right here. There it is. 82 Netherlands pressing. It's superb. Like the vinyl looks unplayed. This is a beautiful copy. This is a stunner. Let me get it where you can see the label correctly. 82 Netherlands pressing. Kiss Killers. High bid right now is $100. If you want to bid on smashes, it's an $85 start. Scott Williams is in at $85. Let's run through this bin very, very quickly. Pay attention. Great stuff in here. Everything is priced as marked. The best of Deep Purple. No condition notes, $29.99. We're talking Black Knight. Strange Kind of Woman, Highway Star, Burn, Smoke on the Water, Gold Stamp Promo, $29.99, $29.99. Also, this is Love and Happiness, album number one. This is $14.99, $14.99. Smashes has a high bid for $90. Final Call on Killers for $100. I'm about to sell it to Richard Morgan. I'm about to sell it. 38 Special, Special Forces, $24.99 for 38 Special. The Babies, Union Jack. 1999. Candace Lindbury wants Deep Purple. So did Candace. The Hoods, four songs to kill for. The Hoods is $26.99. The Nomads, $14.99. An 87 Belgian pressing. And The Illusion is $14.99. Let's sell. A lot of people's been asking for this tonight. This would definitely be hot post worthy. Let's put up for sale, I believe, what is an original U.S. pressing. A original Korean pressing. I don't know what it is. Let me see. Damn Yankees. This is Damn Yankees. A Korean press, I believe. Let's put this up for a $75 start. Let me take a look at it first. Okay, it is nice. It is a South Korean pressing. Very nice vinyl. Extremely nice vinyl. This is Damn Yankees. It has an insert and an original inner sleeve with it. This is going up for auction. $75 start. I, don't, I think we're done on Killers, too. As soon as I can get this inner sleeve out, nobody else's bid, I'm about to sell it for $100. But this is Damn Yankees. I wonder if Stacy Metternich is watching. Very nice. It has the original uh, Warner South Korean inner sleeve. It has a lyric insert, South Korean insert. Has their hit song, High Enough. I don't want to hear about it anymore. It's a shame. That's now up for bid. It. 
Very desirable album. We get asked about this all the time. It's now got a bid for $100. Killers is done. We're finished. Richard Morgan, $100. It's sold to you. Killers, a beautiful top copy sold to Richard Morgan for $100. Now, we got Smashes that just got a bid also for $100, and Damn Yankees is at $100. Let's keep going through this bin very quickly. Blondie, $49.99, Parallel Lines, Little River Band, Backstage Pass, $16.99. Boston, Don't Look Back, $29.99. Kenny Rogers, Share Your Love, $9.99. Hank Ballard is $34.99, a 1965 mono. The Best of Delaney and Bonnie, $19.99. Randy Newman, Little Criminals, $14.99. On stage with Loggins and Messina. That's a 2LP Live, $14.99. And Jethro Tull, Thick as a Brick, $26.99. Smashes, I'm about to sell it. Jeff Church, $100. Final call. Not quite what we had it priced for. Final call. Also, damn Yankees. Daniel Buzide was the first to bend 110. Final call. Tony Farr plays the far out of it, $19.99. Present Tense, Shoes, $14.99. Hada Brooks, $19.99. $19.57, Mono. The Beach Boys, $19.99. The Oak Ridge Boys, $129.99. Sealed. Rockin' Rockin', $14.99. And The Blues Project, Al Cooper, Steve Katz, a German pressing, $24.99. Nick Bargeron is at $111 on Damn Yankees. Debbie Winstead is uh, first on HB. HB was for Hotta Brooks. That's so to Davey Winston. Damn Yankees at 115. Jeff Church, you get Kiss for $100. That's so to you, Jeff Church. Smashes, thrashes. We had that marked for $129.99. Jeff gets it for one zero zero decimal zero zero. That's so to him. We got a battle going on for Damn Yankees. Daniel Buzadin has it for $115. All right, let's get another Kiss. I think I still got some... Uh, let me just check prices here. Terre Haute, 1974, third pressing. So I've got a self-titled. i got lots of different versions of self-titled. I'm trying to see what I have here with Love Gun. Love Gun, original and sleeve. No Love Gun, record club edition. Uh, no Gun. I have a Dress to Kill, a 1975 U.S. pressing. That sounds like something somebody would be interested in. With the, uh, with the hop sticker. This is a Dress to Kill, a 1975 U.S. pressing, VG Plus condition. If you want to bid on this, please put DTK, DTK on Dress to Kill. Do not put Kiss, please. DTK, DTK, 1975, with hop sticker. Contains the hit single, Rock and Roll All Night, Come On and Love Me, Ladies in Waiting, VG Plus condition on the vinyl. A very solid VG Plus, though, very solid. $45 start on DTK. DTK, $45 start, and that is a 1975 U.S. 1975 U.S. That's the year of release on that one. Up at the top, we pulled uh, HB, Damn Yankees 115. Scott O'Man wants the 38 Special. Yes, waiting for somebody to claim that. 38 Special, so does Scott. Damn Yankees, 116, 120, 125. Dress the kills at $45. I'm going to condense this with the other new stuff from tonight. We've been selling a lot of vintage. We still have a whole crate of new vintage stuff to go through that has not been shown. However, we have been chipping away at some of these full bins of uh, new vinyl. But I've got one more Jimmy Johnson deal to do uh, for you. These are... Uh, Amazing Rhythm Aces from Jimmy Johnson's personal collection. They're all opened, but I think they're all promo copies or they're gold stamp promos. Let me check the label. Let me check the label on these. They're all promo copies, and I don't think possibly they ever came sealed. There's a good chance these probably didn't come sealed. Yeah, they look. this one looks unplayed. They're not promo labels, but they have gold stamps. Probably that's why they're from Jimmy Johnson. Down there, produced by Jimmy Johnson. Let's do these for $19.99. They're all promo marked copies from Jimmy Johnson's, and I will include one of those COAs with them. $19.99 on these. Amazing Rhythm Aces. $19.99. We have just these right here. I've just got these right here. 
and let's give them to the first people. First, though, damn Yankees, 125. Forrest, I'll put a double platinum on deck. Dress to Kill, 45. Uh, the Babies is Union Jack. Billy Joel's already sold, and these are 1999. Let's give one to Omic. Let's give one to Jennifer Schrader. Let's give one to Robert Phillippe. And let's give one to uh, Scott Williams, JJ for Jimmy Johnson. Let's give one to Larry Drish. Let's give one to Rob Scheffler. And Phil Elliott is last. We'll give the last one to Phil Elliott. Then Paul Ogley. Then Todd Tipton. Then Romy Lou. Then Dave Serretna. Dress to Kill has a new bid for 50. Then Freya. Then Charlie. Dress to Kill, another bid for 50. And Dress to Kill for 50. And Damn Yankees is now a final call. Daniel Buzidin is still top dog at 125. Final call. Tom Settles has dressed the kill for $52. Did the Atlanta acoustic come in? No, I hadn't even ordered those yet. Uh, a lot of the waiting list uh, will be in by Wednesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, I'm pretty far behind ordering new vinyl, but we're expecting some big deliveries tomorrow and Wednesday. So uh, just be on standby for some of that. I'll find a double platinum. But first, let me move around some auctions here. We're about to sell the damn Yankees, which is a high bid of 125, but I've got to move some stuff around here. I'm going to go through this back crate here. we got a lot of new people watching, and we still got so many great new vinyl titles. And plus, I've got, uh, I've got a whole other crate of new vintage stuff to go through. So I'll do that in one second. But let's go through this one right quick, and let's update these auctions. Dress to Kill is at $55 with Brian Thurman. Brian? You're the high bidder. And Daniel Buzidin had this for $125. I don't see any other new bids. I'm counting it down. Let me go back up to the top. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything else. I'm grabbing the sleeve to put it in. Five, four, three, two, one. Buzzer sold. If you were bidding, you was too slow. That sold to Daniel Buzidin for $125. So there's Dress to Kill. We got three people who just bid $60, and he pushed that back there, and I'm about to lay a copy of Double Platinum up for auction now. Let me figure out which one we want to do. I think there was a couple. Let me see if I can figure out maybe which one is in here. So many great... Uh, we still got Creatures of the Night. Yeah, we still, we'll still. we do the other Creatures of the Night. There is one Double Platinum. Let me see what the other one looks like. I think this one may be slightly better. 70 hole. I don't know if it has an insert with it, but we're about to find out. As you all know, they came with that insert. Let me see if it's in here. Uh, probably Laura would have made a note if it was. I don't think either one has the insert. Let's put it up for auction. Uh, Mike is crackling. Okay, I'll change that in one second. Double Platinum is going to be a $35 start. Just a generic wide inner sleeve with that. And let me make sure there's not an insert down in here. I don't think there is. Laura probably would have put if there was. Laura is doing a great job, by the way, tagging these records. She has everything so detailed. She's helping us get auctions ready so we have stuff every night and new records priced. This is a 1978 Terre Haute pressing. $35 start. 78 Terra Hope pressing of double platinum, $35 start. Dress to Kill is at $62 with Tom Settles. $62 of Tom Settles. I'm going to change up my mic. Everybody says I'm, I'm uh, crackling, so my battery's probably getting low. Let me change this out. All right, and I took a drink of Monster while I was at it. Thirty-five on double platinum. I think that's the best one we have tonight. No insert with it. I think it's the best one I have. Dress the kills at sixty-five with Brian Thurman. All right, Funkadelic Maggot Brain Gatefold, a classic. These are new and sealed. Twenty-nine ninety-nine. Twenty-nine ninety-nine. Tom Petty's greatest hits. Forty-six ninety-nine. Essential. Tom Petty, American Girl, even the losers. Don't do me like that. 
free fallen. You got luggy, refugee. Don't come around here no more into the great wide open. $46.99 on Tom Petty. That is sold to Eric James. Thank you, Eric. Funkadelic, Megadeth, Euthanasia, $39.99 for Megadeth. We also have Husker Du, Flip Your Wig. Husker Du is $33.99. The Black Keys, Thick Freakness. Black Keys, $36.99. Pearl Jam, Riot Act, mastered by Bob Ludwig, $39.99. Megadeth, sold to Alex Celo. That's sold to Alex. I have The Great Cat, Worship Me or Die. That is $38.99. That's a new music on vinyl release. First time ever on vinyl, The Great Cat, Worship Me or Die. That's a classically... Uh, a classically trained guitarist metal album, $38.99. Tammy Cleveland on Pearl Jam. That is sold to Tammy Cleveland. By the way, Kiss is at 35 of Alan Montgomery. Final call. Final call. No poster of double platinum. It came with an insert that looked like a platinum certificate where you could write your name on it. That's what originally came with this. I'm not seeing it in there. Final call. Also, no one has been on Dress to Kill in a bit. Tom Settles has it for $66. Brian Thurman's out. Phil Elliott's out. Richard Morgan's out. We're about to sell it to Tom Settles for $66. Stay with us. We're probably going to go through this crate, the crate of new stuff. We're going to be running new KISS auctions, and then we're going to go through probably a crate of KISS stuff for buy it nows, and that stuff will go fast. Neil Young Harvest, $36.99, remastered. Old Man, Heart of Gold, Neil Young, $36.99. Jim Croce, I Got a Name. That's a 50th anniversary on Bone Vinyl, $33.99. And Queens Rock, Promised Land, $38.99 for Queens Rock, Promised Land. Also, Phantom of the Paradise is $38.99. 50th anniversary edition. There's more copies of Jelly Roll, Ballads of the Broken, Red Vinyl, Jelly Roll, $29.99. Rush. This is a live concert, 1980, Missouri. It's on blue vinyl. Rush. It is an unofficial, $39.99. Brian Thurman wants Queens. Queens Rock is sold to Brian Thurman. We also have how much on Funkadelic? Funkadelic is $29.99. All right. Well, these were final calls, but since then, five people have asked what's up for auction. This is an original pressing of double platinum. It's a 2LP. Overall, it's in VG Plus condition. It has a foil, slightly embossed cover. This is a final, final call. It has one bid for $35 of Alan Montgomery. I'm about to sell it. Dress to Kill is an original 1975 pressing embossed cover with hop sticker. It's also in VG Plus condition. It has a new high bid with Phil Elliott for $70. That is a final call. Brian Thurman got Queens Rock. Eric James wants Funkadelic. Double Platinum's at 38. Dress to Kill is at 70. And yes, this is the condensed new vinyl, kind of what's left, some of the best titles we have in stock. That is correct. All of a sudden, we got new bids on both auctions. We also have Ex Hoarder, Defectum Omium. Ex Hoarder is on black and white marble vinyl, limited to 3,200, 32. Uh, 3,200 pressings, $36.99. Pearl Jam, Lightning Bolt, $39.99 for Pearl Jam Lightning Bolt. If you didn't get greatest hits, here's one of his classic studio albums. Full Moon Fever, Tom Petty, $36.99. Also Creator, Endless Pain, 2LP, $49.99. Remastered with bonus tracks, Creator, $49.99. Funkadelic's Greatest Hits. This is $29.99. Funkadelic's Greatest Hits. Also, Autopsy, School Grinder, $33.99 for Autopsy, School Grinder. Creed, My Own Prison, $33.99 for Creed, My Own Prison, $33.99. And Smashing Pumpkins, Pisces Iscariot, $34.99. 2LP Remastered, $34.99. Dress to Kill is now at $75. This is Dress to Kill. It's a 1975 pressing of Dress to Kill. Brett wants to see the labels. Kiss, Dress to Kill. High bid is $75. Dress to Kill. There's the label. Manufactured and distributed by Casablanca Records, Inc. Made in USA. NBLP 7016. Matrix is NBLP 7016-A. WCW-A. S-4577. Casablanca. 
Brett Hamilton's at $80. It has a hop sticker on the cover. New bid at $80 on KISS, Dress to Kill. That is now up for bid. Also, double platinum. We got new bids. Everybody stopped. Alan's still the high bidder at 40. I'm about to sell it to him if somebody doesn't bid extremely quickly. Alan Montgomery has it at $40. Steve Koch wants Creator, Endless Pain. That is sold to Steve Koch. Eric James, it's Creed, My Own Prison. First time ever on vinyl. Tom Byrne wants X Hoarder, sold to Tom Byrne. Next, Dress to Kill was at 80. Queen's Rock Empire is sold. I'm sold out. If I sell out of anything, Creed, X Hoarder, X Queen's Rock. If you want on a waiting list, let me know. I'll order you a copy and they'll be back in this week if they're in stock. Sonic Youth, Dirty, $39.99 for Sonic Youth. One copy left. ABBA, 10 LP box set, the complete studio collection of ABBA, $184.99. 10 LPs, $184.99. ABBA, the vinyl album box set. More Jelly Roll. I've got a bunch of those laying around now. $29.99 for Jelly Roll. Alice in Chains, Rainer Fog. This is a fifth anniversary edition on colored vinyl. Alice in Chains is $39.99. Scorpions, Love at First Thing, $33.99. Rock You Like a Hurricane, $33.99. Double Platinum got new bids, $41, $41, $45. Alan's still the high bidder. Scott, you're back out. Leslie, you're back out. And Brett, no one's outbid you on Dress to Kill. If somebody doesn't outbid him pretty soon, he's going to get it. Everybody's went quiet. Dress to Kill's at $80. Final call. Richard Johnston wants Husker Do. So do Richard Johnston. Susie Breedlove wants the Scorpions. So does Susie Breedlove. Anybody else on anything in this bin? We have Alice in Chains, Sonic Youth, Smashing Pumpkins, Autopsy, Funkadelic's Greatest Hits, Tom Petty, Full Moon Fever. Full Moon Fever, excuse my slip. Pearl Jam Lightning Bolt, Rush, Spirit of the Airwaves, Jelly Roll, Phantom of the Paradise. Jim Croce, I got a name. Neil Young Harvest, Great Cat, Worship Me or Die, The Black Keys, Thick Freakness, and the ABBA box set. 10 LPs. I can't believe no one's picked that up yet. The Complete Works of ABBA, $184.99. Double Platinum's at $47. Dress the Kills at $82. That's where we're at. That's where we're at. All right, we've sold a lot of new vinyl tonight just out of these other bins. Let's grab the other crate of new vintage stuff. We've got a whole crate of new vintage stuff to go through, and then, like I said, we'll probably run through one more crate like that of new vinyl. We've went through all six crates here on the table. Dress to Kill is now at 82. Uh, who was the other bidder? The other bidder was Brett Hamilton. Brett, please let me know if you want back in. If not, I've got to sell it to Phil Elliott. And let's go ahead and go through new vintage arrivals, new vintage arrivals. I hope this was the right bin. I think it is. I don't know what's in here either. I didn't take a peek in this one. There's no telling what might be in here. Oh, well, let's go through it. Let's go through it and see what's in here. Non-check condition. Dress to kill 90. Deep purples at 50. We have the Beatles. Songs and pictures of the fabulous Beatles. This is 1999. 1999. That is a pretty much like an unofficial pressing. It's not an original. It would be very much more than that. 1999. Foreigner, self titled Foreigner is 1999. We have head pins, turn it out loud or turn it loud, head pins. The cover looks like a Marshall amplifier. 1499. Mike Torrey's on the Beatles. Rami Lou was second. Next is Barry Gordo. That's the guitars for Boston. Barry Gordo is 1499. Link Ray, yesterday and today. Wow, sealed. $274.99. A sealed copy from 1969, Link Ray, yesterday and today, and it does have the song Rumble on it. Wow. $274.99 sealed. Christopher Brusha wants HP for head pins. That's so to Christopher Brusha. Uh, Ten seconds left on Dress to Kill, literally, and double platinums at 48 with Scott Williams. I've got to sell these very, very, very quickly if anybody wants in on these. You've got to, I'm going to show two more records then I'm ending them. We have three beat on the Krauts. Star Club Hamburg, sealed, 1999. That's a garage record, 24.99. And talking about milkshakes, that is the milkshakes talking about a garage album from 1981, 49.99. 49.99 for the milkshakes. Henry Choice is on BG. That's Barry Gordeaux. That's sold 
I'm selling Dress to Kill to Brett Hamilton for $90, and I'm selling Double Platinum to Alan Montgomery for $50. Those are sold and sold. So that is sold for $90 to Brett Hamilton, and uh, Double Platinum is sold to Alan Montgomery for $50. If you were still bidding, I apologize. We have to put up new auctions. Those are sold and sold. I also need to grab a new crate. Let me show two new records and then two new auctions. 38 Special, Tour de Force is $24.99. And Lost Shakers, Grande Extatos. Lost Shakers is a 1986 Argentina Press, $19.99. All right, we're going to do Ace, as in Ace Freely, and we have a Kiss self-titled. The jacket condition on this is beautiful. We've already sold the original with killing time, but we're about to put this up right now. This is Ace Freely. Freely's Comet. Ace Freely's going for Ed. This is in VG Plus condition. It's a 1987 specialty press with the original on her sleeve, and this is going up the bid for a $35 start. Ace Freely, original on her sleeve, VG Plus condition, $35 start. Now check this out. Well, earlier we had the original, which sold for $250. This is the third pressing, still from 1974. It is a third pressing from 1974, but look how nice the jacket is. I think that's what really stands out on this one. This is going to be a $45 start, VG Plus condition on Kiss by Kiss. Third pressing, $45 start. Ace Freely has bids. They're self-titled. If you want to bid on that, put Kiss. If you want to bid on Ace, put Ace. Let's keep going here. We have... A uh, gam, uh, what's that say? Uh, a gam inon, a psych record, 2005 Spain, 1999, 1999, and we have John Lennon double fantasy, 1999. John Lennon double fantasy, 1999. Ace Freely's a final call to Tim Turner for $35. No bid on Kiss, 45 before I sell it. Bobby Barf, two hearts beat, two hearts one beat, 1986 Rock. $9.99. The Mar... The what? The Mar... The Marsupials. The Marsupials is $19.99. That is a 1986 Raj album, $19.99. Mike Torres has a high bid on Kiss for $45. David Campbell's in on Ace at $40. All right, there we go. The Rain Parade, a 1983 alternate rock album, $64.99. The Rain Parade, $64.99 on the Rain Parade. And Puff... Living in the Party Zone, Puff is a 2016 post-punk album, $14.99. Kiss, this is their self-titled debut album. This was pressed in 1974. So like I've said before on these, don't let like third pressing discourage you. Because if you do want that first pressing, they're expensive. We sold one earlier tonight. This is a third pressing. It was manufactured in 1974. And this is a final call Kiss is at $50 with Jeff Church. Scott Williams bid first. Jeff Church is back in at $60. And then Ace Freely, if you want to bid on Ace, put Ace. Tim Turner has this for $42. Tim Turner has this for $42. All right, back up to the top. This is the Primitives. This is 1999, a 1988 indie label. That's the third pressing of Kiss self-titled. Raven, Mad. Raven is a 1986 specialty press. $29.99. Raven Mad. $29.99 on Raven. $29.99. Travis Wade first on the primitives. That's so to Travis Wade. Joe Zanelli was second. Actually, this bin over here has become completely full. Let me swap out right quick. Let me put that there. Let me put that there. And oh, let me put this here. All right. Now. Primitives. That's sold to Travis Wade. Joe Zanelli second. Jeff Church is at 70 on Kiss. And we have uh, Final Call on Ace Freely. I'm about to sell the Tim Turner for $42. Reckless. This is a 1987 pressing. Reckless. 1999. Ravens in the bot now, Ben. That's unusual. Uh, Nasty Rockabilly, of course. This is a very dirty cover. Nasty Rockabilly. $49.99 for Nasty Rockabilly. Javi Soto wants Raven. Kiss has bids for $75 and $75. Supergroups featuring the Platters, Coasters, Chiffons, and the Crystals. That is $9.99. Supergroups. Link Ray stuck in gear. Another Link Ray. A 1975 UK. $29.99. Fred Carnell wants Nasty. 
That's so to Fred Carnell. Nasty. Kiss has a new bid for 76. Susie Breedlove first on the supergroups. Travis Wade second. Rachel Crosta on third on supergroups. Kiss has a new bid for 77. David Campbell's a new bidder. He has that for $45. David Campbell's at $45. We also have Cessius 328, the Rob Hoke R&B group, a 1968 Holland blues rock album, $29.99. It's Foreigner and Original Pressing. I will try my best to figure that out. It certainly looks like one. Yes, it is. Foreigner is OG. Super clean copy, Larry. 1999. Bruce Springsteen. This is the promo sampler for Born in the USA. Demonstration, not for sale. $34.99. Larry Driss said sold on Foreigner. Kiss has a new bid for $78 with Andre Vancho. Andre Vancho. Also, we have Ace Frilly, a high bid. David Campbell, $45. Who was the other bidder? Mm, Tim Turner. Waiting to see if Tim Turner wants back in now before I sell it to a new bidder and new buyer. Um, Matt Shepard, first on Bruce Springsteen. Billy, we have, uh, Billy Shears, we have not sold Elder yet. Uh, Dave, you were second on Foreigner. Cosmo, you were third. Kiss has a new bid for 80. Eric James, fifth on Springsteen. Next is the Rockin' Razorbacks. That's a 1983 Cycle Billy record sealed. 1999. Spirit, 12 Dreams of Dr. Sardonicus. 1999. And George Jones, sign on, 999. Tim Turner says he's out. That is sold to David Campbell, $45. David, thank you. Make sure you message our page. We need your email address and your mailing address. First time buyer, thank you and welcome. That is sold to you. Make sure you message Coletco, first time buyer, Thank you and welcome. Now, they're still bidding on this. Let's take one more good look at it. This is KISS, their self-titled first album. It is a third pressing, manufactured and distributed by Casablanca Records, made in USA. It's the third label, or I should say third pressing. It does have KISS up there at the top, manufactured and distributed by Casablanca Records, and that is a high bid right now of $80 on that. $80 on that with Scott Williams. Scott Williams. All right. Scott also said Ace Detail. Scott, I've already sold it. Brian Arrigo wants Rock and Razorbacks. Shane Devers on George Jones. Matt Shepard was second. We have Kiss and now at 81. The Raiders Greatest Hits Volume 2, 999. And Narvel Feltz. Narvel Feltz is 1999. For Narvel Feltz. All right, let's get a new Kiss record going. Actually, somebody just hopped on and asked for Elder. That's a great one to put up because we could easily distinguish between them in the back. And then we're going to do another copy of Creatures. Great Kiss records. And then a little bit later tonight, if you stick around late, what hadn't auctioned and what I don't pull out to auction, uh, there's some I probably still will have to pull out. But there's a lot in here. We're just going to do buy it now, if you know what I'm saying. There's going to be so many in here we hadn't got to yet that are just going to be buy it nows. Um, but we do have plenty more to auction, so just stick around. We're not going anywhere. We're going to be here for a while. This is KISS, Music from the Elder. Let's put this up for auction. It's a 1981 U.S. pressing. VG Plus condition, $25 start. I also have new sealed KISS vinyl. I have new and sealed KISS vinyl that there may be some people interested in. I've got whole bins full of it now. We just did a big restock, actually. Music from the Elder. Yes, it does have the original plastic printed in her sleeve. It is a 1981 U.S. There's the label. $25 start. If you want to bid on this, well, that's a very clean-looking VG+. Plus. Let me take a look at that. It's got just some minor sleeves. Boy, that's a very nice copy. I wouldn't put VG+, Plus on this, actually. This looks, man, I don't know. That just looks like a really nice copy to me. Uh, Laura may have seen something I didn't know. She's been inspecting and cleaning all these. So let's call it VG+, Plus, but it looks nice to me. Uh, Elder's at $25. Kiss is at 83 with Scott Williams. Uh, that's this one over here. If you're bidding on self-title, put Kiss. 
If you're bidding on Elder, put Elder. If you want to outbid Scott on self-titled Kiss, you've got to bid higher than 83. Third pressing, final call. Let's keep going through these new vintage arrivals. Live time, the Ben uh, the Bentangs, 1983 Holland, 1999. Also, the Highliners, the Benny Hill Boogie, a Cycle Billy album, $9.99. These are records from that New Orleans collection. If you're relatively new, we bought 15 or 13,000 albums now and in New Orleans, and it was just obscure garage, psych, comp, fusion, jazz, just really great titles. That's what we're going through right here, right now. Crude PA, Volume 2, Virtue Recordings. Is the feed working? Test 1, 2. Is everybody awake out there? Everything has stopped all of a sudden. This is a garage album, $29.99, Crude PA, and Heaven, Where Angels Feared to Tread, 1983-1999. Is this thing working? Test one, two. Can anybody comment right now? Everything has went dead solid. I'm about to sell these auctions. Is everybody just being quiet or is the feed working? Test one, two. Ground Control to Major Tom. Test one, two. We have Elder, 25, now 28. Somebody wants to see the back cover of Elder. Please show the back cover of Elder. There is the back cover of Elder. Test one, two. I guess everybody's just getting sleepy. I'm about to blow the air horn and wake everybody up. We're nowhere near done, okay? There's Kiss. All right, let's go back over here to the top. I don't think anybody else is bidding on self-titled, though. Scott had it for 85. When I get to the bottom, I'm selling it. Neil Rigler gets crude. That's crude PA. That's so to Neil Rigler. We have test, test, test. Dots, okay, I'm here. Yes, it's working. Hello, test, still here. Dots, present. Test, test, elder. Elder, $30. Elder, $40. Kiss is at 86 of Andre Vancho. New bid on Kiss, 86, $86 of Andre Vancho. Sorry, I've chugged Monster too fast. We have a new bid on self-title for $86. I got to the bottom and there was a new bid. Also, somebody said, can you show the Highliners? The Highliners, the Benny Hill Boogie. That is a Psychobilly album from the UK, 1989. It's got uh, three tracks on it, $9.99. New bid on self-title for $88. Honeymoon Suite, the big prize. Honeymoon Suite is $14.99. Also, Lionheart. Lionheart is 1999. This is the Green Rayu, the what? The Arc, the Archers, the Green Ray, excuse me, the Archers, the Green Ray, a 1993 UK rock album, 1999. Scott's back in. He's the high bidder on both auctions. 88 on Kiss, 44 on Elder. New high bids. Andre, let me know extremely quickly if you want back in. We have the Barracudas, a 1983 French pressing, $34.99. That's a garage album. We have Wipeout, that is $39.99. A 1983 UK mod record, $39.99. Who asked for the highlighters? Highliners, Jim Sadal. Jim, let me know if you want that. If not, the highliners. If you don't want it, it looks like uh, Phil Elliott was next and then Brian Arrigo. Elder and Self Titled has new bids. 45, 45, and 55. Scott's back in on Kiss for 90. Andre Vancho, you've been outbid. We have Phantom Surfers, a 1996 surf album, $29.99. Susie said she wants Raiders. I may have missed that earlier. I remember that popping up, Susie. Let me go back to that comment. Make sure I didn't miss anything else around that area. Susie got the Raiders. I see that now. Susie got the Raiders. I've got it pulled for you now. New bid on Kiss for $91. Billy Shears has Elder for $55. Billy Shears. The Belgian Garage Mania. The Belgian Garage Mania. A 1991 Belgian pressing with a bonus 7-inch. $19.99. Self-titled's at $95. Final call on Elder. I'm about to sell this very quickly to Mr. Billy Shears. He has it for $55. Fred Carnell wants the Phantom Surfers. That's so to Fred Carnell. We have 10 Angel. 10 Angel is $14.99. Van Morrison, a white label promo, $74.99. A white label promo, $74.99 on Van Morrison. Scott Williams is back in on Elder at $57. Scott, you're out on self-titled. Andre has it for $96.
Jennifer Schrader wants Van Morrison. Brian Arrigo wants the Belgian Garage Mania. Elder has a new bid for 60. We also have Golden Earring Moontan. Golden Earring Moontan with the original cover and the insert, $39.99. A little bit of discoloration on the cover, but that is OG $39.99. Elder got a new bid for 60. Self Title got a new bid for 99. Elder got a new bid for 63. Let me put up a third auction that's not a KISS record. I still have some other stuff over here I hadn't got to, like Best of Scorpions. Yes, Best of Scorpions. This is going to be a third auction. If you want to bid on this, put Score or Scorpions or something to let me know you're bidding on Best of Scorpions. Yes, we still got a whole crate of other hard rock and metal stuff as well. Best of Scorpions is a $25 start. Extremely nice vinyl. Scorpions is a $25 start. Yes, he passed on the Highliners. That's so to Phil Elliott. The Highliners is so to Phil Elliott. Thank you. Next is Abbey Road, a 1969 UK first press. Apple, Apple logo misaligned. No, no Her Majesty. Wow. No condition notes. OG first. Abbey Road, $149.99. That should have been auctioned. That should have been auctioned. That's an OG first pressing of Abbey Road, $149.99. If you look over here, this apple is misaligned. It's misaligned to this font uh, kind of break right here, and there's no Her Majesty mentioned. That is $149.99 on that. Lionheart was $19.99. I can't believe no one claimed it, Javi. Yep, Gold Stamp Promo Near Mint, 1999. Beverly Hills Cop Soundtrack, 1999. Bon Jovi, whoa, that's not supposed to be in there. 7,800 degrees Fahrenheit, 34.99. Javi Soto wants Lionheart, and we have Elvis Golden Records, 24.99. Orange RCA, Hound Dog, All Shook Up, Jailhouse Rock, 24.99. Kiss, self-titled. We had bids for 99, Elder 63, Elder 64, self-titled 100, Scorpions 25, Scorpions 30, Scorpions 25, self-titled Scott Williams 103, Javi got Lionheart, Scorpions 35, James Bragg picks up the Abbey Road. Nice grab there. That thing should have been auctioned. Matt Shepard on Bon Jovi. Finding one non-check condition is rare in itself. Matt Shepard gets Bon Jovi, Sean Holford second, Chris Gardner third, Craig Proper fourth, Robert Phillippe on Beverly Hills Cop, Eric James first on Elvis, then Tom Moran, self-titled 104, Elder 71, and Scorpions has a high bid with Alan Montgomery for $35. That's where we're at. I'm going to read the titles that's left in there one more time. All three auctions are still getting bids, as I would expect. This KISS stuff is crazy. Kiss nights are crazy. It's amazing the demand in 2024, not only for vinyl, but for Kiss records and Kiss collectibles. Same thing happens if we were to get a Led Zeppelin collection, a Pink Floyd collection, uh, a metal collection, a Metallica collection. Kiss, though, is a little bit different level of collectors. Pretty serious people. Let's see what we have left in here. If you want a price, let me know. Link Ray, Star Club, that's a compilation. Talking About Milkshakes, 38 Special, Lost Shakers. This one was called Agamemnon, Todos Red to Me. Brent Ridley, you may want to know the price first on Link Ray. Link Ray is sealed, it's never been opened, $274.99. Sealed, $274.99, $274.99. Not Beverly, that was supposed to be the Beatles. Robert Phillippe did not want Beverly Hills Cop. Let's put that back in there. That is the original soundtrack to Beverly Hills Cop. Great movie. I watched it a few months ago. $19.99 on that. Susie Breedlove wants Golden Earring. Let's go ahead and sell this to Susie Breedlove. Original nude cover. Fred wants the Amagamanon. The Amagamanon. <laughs> That's so to Fred Carnell. Uh, it is Record Factory LP 1929. Uh, Record Factory is the label LP 1929. Link Ray. Link Ray. All right. Self titled. 
Scott Williams, 105. Andre Vancho, 105. 105. 105. 105. Scott Williams. Music from the Elder. Music from the Elder. Billy Shear, 71. Final call. Final call. Scorpions. Alan Montgomery. Final call. Final call. <laughs> oh, y'all heard half my sneeze. I almost muted my mic fast enough. Andre's back in at 106. Beverly Hills Cop, 1999. John Lennon, Double Fantasy, 1999. Bobby Barth, Two Hearts, One Beat. The Marsupials. The Rain Parade. Puff. Reckless. Link Ray. Link Ray Stuck in Gear. 1975 UK. 29.99. The what was this? This was a weird one here. This looks pretty good. A blues rock album from 1968. Celsius 323 over eight. The Rob Hoke R&B group. Scott Smith pinks up this Link Ray. That's so to Scott Smith. Uh, Scott Williams, you're out on this kiss. Nobody else bid on Link Ray. Or excuse me, nobody else bid on Elder. I'm selling it to Billy Shears for 71. If you were gonna bid, it's too late. It sold to Billy Shears for $71. Kiss is at $110 with Scott Williams. Andre and Scott are, we're gonna go ahead and call that a steel cage death match. Curtis, I was about to sell it to Alan Montgomery. It's at $35. You can bid more than $35. If not, I'm going to sell it. we got to put up more KISS stuff. Uh, Craig, you were second on Link. Price on the Marsupials. The Marsupials was $19.99, Pam. Andre, you're out on KISS. Price on 323. That was the Celsius, the 232. $29.99, George Scherer. Price on Rain Parade. The Rain Parade. Rachel Crosta, $64.99. $64.99. Brant said sold on the Link Ray. Nice pickup there. $274.99. So to Brent Robley. New bid on self-titled, $111. We also have George Scherer said sold. That's on Celsius 232. That's sold to George Scherer. I was making sure Curtis Marachi didn't want to bid on this. Five, four, three, two, one, sold to. Alan Montgomery for $35. That sold to Alan Montgomery for $35. They're still bidding on Kiss self-titled. Scott Williams has it for $113. Andre Vancho's out. That's now been up for bid for about a half an hour. We started it, I think, at $35. We're at $113. Here's our next auction. Boy, this looks nice. A 1983 Hot Pog Press with original inner sleeve. It is no condition notes. It looks extremely nice. It has a barcode back here attached to the cover. It has a barcode attached to the cover. An 83 Hot Pog Press, crisp, original on her sleeve, $30 start for Creatures in the Night. Wow, that is nice. Creatures. If you want to bid on this, please put Creatures. Do not put K for Kiss. Put Creatures. $30 start. A very nice copy. It has a barcode attached to the cover. We got bids for $40, now $50. They're at $115 on KISS. Scott and Andre, do y'all think we can start doing $5 and $10 increments? I think that would really speed it up if we can stay away from the $1 bids on self-titled. Otherwise, we might be here to $11 at $1 increments. Spirit, 12 Dreams of Dr. Sardonicus. 1999 on Spirit, 12 Dreams of Dr. Sardonicus. Narvel Feltz is 1999. Narvel Feltz is 1999. Live Time, the Bentax, that's 1999. We also have Heaven, Where Angels Fear to Tread, a 1983 pressing, 1999. Heaven, Where Angels Fear to Tread, 1999 on Heaven. Also, Honeymoon Suite, Honeymoon Suite is 1499. We also have, uh, this is the Archers, the Green Ray, $19.99 on the Archers. Also, the Barracudas is 
and Wipeout. Wipeout's $39.99. We also have 10 Angel, $14.99. All right, back up the top. Scott had Kiss for $115. Creatures of the Night was at $40, $50, $75, $80. Pam Murray wants the marsupials. Pam Murray wants the marsupials. We have Creatures at 100. Brian Thurman wants Honeymoon Suite. I was waiting for some of these sold. Lazarus wants Heaven. I was like, why have some of these been claimed? We have an out on Kiss Self-Titled from Andre. Thank you for letting me know you're out. The high bid is Scott Williams at 115. I don't have any rules set on bidding increments, but usually after something gets over like $50, definitely 100 I don't have it set in stone, but it would really speed it up if we do like five and ten dollar jumps. I mean, it's already over a hundred. It's gonna get there anyway. It would save a lot of time. You'll get the bid on a lot more records. Five second countdown. If you hadn't bid already, you're late to begin with. Scott has this for 115. Five, four, three, two, one. Sold to Scott Williams. $115. But my $1 bid increment rule will always stay in place. But it is nice and speeds things up if we can start getting $5 and $10 jumps after $100. It really speeds things up. Lauren Famel, I think, is the new high bidder on creatures at $100. And just FYI, not to pick on new customers, because we love new customers. I spend a lot of money advertising on Facebook. If you're new and you start buying some high-end records, just be prepared to pay for them, possibly tonight or within the first 24 hours after we get all this thing, all this keyed in and sorted. Uh, <clears throat> the reason is, is we want to make sure you're good for it and you have the funds prepared to pay for these. Just FYI. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a frog stuck in my throat. All right, let's do some more OG Kiss stuff, some vintage OG Kiss stuff. Uh, just FYI. And uh, let's go ahead and get started here with a Destroyer. So, we have Kiss Destroyer. Kiss Destroyer is an original 1976 Terre Haute pressing. It has the original on her sleeve. It's OG, Terre Haute. This is Kiss Destroyer. Has the original on her sleeve. Overall, VG Plus. A very clean VG Plus, I would say. As in, very nice. I think Laura's a pretty strict grader from what I'm seeing. This thing looks extremely nice to me. Uh, so let's put that up for a $35 start. $35 start on Destroyer. That is OG 76 Terre Haute Destroyer. $35 start. Uh, Lauren, you have the high bid. Lauren, you have the high bid on Creatures for $100. Final call to Lauren. That's Lauren, uh, Lauren Female, and that's a high bid, or that's a final call. All right. Do you know what's good for a frog in your throat? I hate to even find out. Creatures has a high bid of $105. All right. Let me go ahead and put this stuff away. <clears throat> Let's go through. Uh, I've done a lot of talking. I've almost done a lot of yelling tonight. I've been going so fast and so loud. The air conditioner is running in here. I'm glad it is, though, because I was sweating the first two hours of the auction. And uh, <clears throat> I'm out of breath. I'm, I'm out of records. Um, I'll never be out of records. If I run out of records, we have a serious problem. We have a serious problem. All right, let me move some crates around because I have went through Officially, five out of the six bins of records on this table. And we're about to do a little bit more here because we have sold a lot of new vinyl because some people have seen some stuff that probably they hadn't seen in quite some time. So let me continue to shift some stuff around here. I'm going to put most of them. And then here in a minute, I'm going to do some condensing. But we'll get our auctions back up. And uh, we've uh, not too far away from doing uh, probably some Kiss Bite Nows, just FYI. About to do some Kiss Bite Nows. Let me get all these back organized and get my auction platforms built back here. Got to have our auction platforms. We will probably do a Bite Now Best Offer of all the new stuff tonight. We'll probably go back through it one more time later tonight and take offers on that stuff. But right now, very quickly, some new vinyl we have in stock. 
and we make sure I didn't miss any questions there. First, we put up this OG Destroyer. It got bids for 45. Make sure you put Destroyer if you're bidding on this. 45, 40, 40, 40, 42, 45, 50, 55, and 65, 65, and 65. A-Rod was first at $65, and we have Creatures of the Night. Creatures of the Night, the new high bid is with Lauren Female at $110. Lauren Female, new bidder and new customer tonight, $110. That is a final call. Destroyer is at 65 of A-Rod. New and sealed, U2, the Joshua Tree, $46.99. Remastered on two LPs, the Joshua Tree, $46.99. Kicks, blow my fuse. Kicks is $46.99. That should be on red or blue vinyl. I've got two left. We had them the other night. Blue vinyl, Kicks, blow my fuse, $46.99. Roger Waters, here in the flesh, New Jersey, $19.99. That's volume two. That's a part two of a Roger Waters concert, 1999. He's doing Pink Floyd. There's Dark Side of the Moon. There's some tracks from The Wall. That is $39.99. If you want to get that one and go on a waiting list for Volume 1, we'll eventually get Volume 1. David Campbell wants kicks. That's so to David Campbell. David's a new buyer tonight as well. Thank you, David. Creatures has a new bid for $115. Destroyer is at $75 with Scott Williams. Scott Williams is at $75 on Destroyer. This is yes. The band, their debut album, self-titled, and I believe this is a Bernie Grunman cut. They sound great. I kept one myself. I'm a major Yes fan. I love the music on there. It's also on blue vinyl, $33.99. The Lost soundtrack, that's the original television Lost, $49.99. Lauren's back in on Creatures at $120. Lauren's back in on Creatures at $120. Autopsy, Severed Survival. Autopsy is $33.99, and Autopsy Mental Funeral, $33.99. Exciter, Violence and Force, Exciter is $33.99, and The Descendants, Summary, or Summary, one of the two, $39.99. All right, Scott has a story for $75. I hope everybody's done bidding because it's a final call. Brian's out on Creatures. It looks like Lauren's going to get that for $120. Final call, I do have another Kiss self-titled. I do have another Kiss Creatures, but this one is nice. I'm talking top copy. I also have a Japanese love gun to auction. I have a sealed club, Crazy Nights. I have a Lick It Up. Got some great stuff in here. I have a, uh, I'll see what else is it left in the unusual pile or the stuff we don't get as often. Tom Byrne, first on Exciter. That's so to Tom Byrne. I've got two copies of Johnny Cash. This is American Recordings Volume 5, 100 Highways. 100 highways, $33.99, $33.99, Johnny Cash, $33.99, Tammy Cleveland's in on Destroyer at $80, Scott, you've been outbid, Tammy's at $80, and this is Incursion, this is Incursion, self-titled, $29.99, excuse me, Blinding Force, it's Blinding Force, why did I think that was self-titled, this is Incursion, Blinding Force, this is new and sealed, this is a metal LP, as you can tell from the cover, $29.99, and the Pink Panther, Henry Mancini, is $28.99. We've already sold the self-titled Kiss. Uh, we sold that one earlier tonight for $250. Scott Williams is at $85 on Destroyer. He's not done. Gorgira, Gorgira, excuse me, <laughs> LaFont Sauvage. Also, From Mars to Cirrus. And Terra Incognita. Those first two were $49.99. Terra Incognita is $54.99. And The Way of All Flesh is $54.99. Oasis is $38.99. Let's go ahead and sell Creatures to Lauren Female for $120. Lauren, make sure you message our Facebook page right now, please. I need a message with your email address and your mailing address. Kiss is sold to you for $120. Please make sure you send a message immediately to our page. Destroys at $85. David Schroeder wants Incursion. That's sold to David Schroeder. Also, if y'all are familiar with our uh, customer, George Somers, he's also <clears throat> uh, he's a great customer. I've also bought records from him, and we've consigned records for him. He plays guitar on this album, so it's really good. I, it was so good I had to buy a T-shirt, $29.99, Incursion. I've got three copies left. I've been selling those for him. I actually found a box of them in the office, our storage building. I forgot I had them, so I brought them out. And I've got the new Black Keys album that is on red vinyl, $33.99. That's the Black Keys indie exclusive red vinyl, 
$33.99. Shout, shout out Mr. George Somers. He's also got an insane record collection. <laughs> That's so to Tom Byrne. Tom Byrne gets incursion. All right, uh, Tammy, let me know if you want back in on Destroyer. I need to see a bid immediately if you want back in on that. Now, Creatures was very popular. Guess what? We have another. This is a 1982. This is a 1982 PRC Richmond press. VG condition, this is an 82, 82 PRC Richmond press with the original on the sleeve, $35 start, $35 start on Creatures of the Night, VG condition, $35 start on this. It has the original on her sleeve, this is Creatures, VG condition, a very clean VG, like I think, I think Laura, it's a pretty strict grader, because some of these VGs and VG Plus, I would bump up a grade from what she's saying, so, but uh, we'll get... We'll get her trained well. She's doing a great job so far getting all these records tagged and priced for us. If she didn't come in on Sunday and do this, we wouldn't be having Kiss Night right now because I have not. This is very time consuming. This is like it took her probably the entire shift to research all these and get them tagged so we could put this show together. Uh, that has an open bid of 35 Tammy's out on Destroyer. This is sold to Scott Williams for $85. Scott, thank you again. Scott has racked up on some amazing Kiss records tonight. That's sold to him for $85. Andre has Creature of the Night for 35 Fred Carnell, Black Keys is 33 Did I give everybody an incursion? I think we sold two, right? Yeah, we got two, and there's three left. All right, and then the new Black Keys album on red vinyl is $33.99. I'm just going to read what's left in there one more time. I think I'm going to sort through these Kiss records and see what is uh, left in here, and we may do... Uh, I may do some buy it nows. There's so many in here, though, that still was supposed to be auctioned. So we may have to have Kiss Night Part 2. I mean, we're going to keep going. We've got a long time to go, but uh, let me see what else I have in here. Oh, yes, let's do this one right here. I forgot about this. Oh, man. This is a 1975 Mexico pressing. If you like unusual Kiss stuff, eyes and ears open. A 1975 Mexico pressing of their self-titled album. Wow. Pressed in Mexico for the Mexican market. Check out this label. $45 start. Boy, it's nice, too. It's a very nice copy. Check that out. 1975 Mexico pressing. $45 start. Incredible. Don't see that too often. If you want to bid on this, put K for Kiss, because that's the only way to distinguish on this one. A 1975, look how nice the vinyl is, too, for a Mexico pressing. Wow. I like this unusual stuff. I like foreign copies. I've got to the point in collecting, obviously, where I get these amazing collections and dibs on stuff. Sorry, but it's true. But I haven't kept much in a long time because if I'm collecting a record by this point in my record collecting journey, it either has to be mint and pristine with a hot sticker and shrink wrap, or it has to be some kind of foreign, unusual, or promo copy. Uh, and this fits all the details of something. Boy, I like the colors on the back, too. Check out. This is a much better jacket than the U.S. copies. Look at that. The colors are bright and shiny. The font is very legible. It is written in Spanish, though. They're not singing in Spanish, but all that's in Spanish on the back. That's a very cool copy there. Glossy. Yeah, you should see the back of another jacket, the U.S. copy. They don't look anything like that. All right. So we left off by saying Creatures had bids for 35 and 40. Creatures 50, Creatures 50. Fred Carnell on black keys. Fred Carnell will take a black keys. I will, uh, we've already sold Killers. I'll do a Dynasty here in just a second. Kiss, the self-titled album, has bids for 45, 60, 60. Are we done on Creatures? Wow, Brian Thurman has this for 50. The last one brought 120. And this is the OG. This is uh, got a high bid of $50 with Brian Thurman. Brian Thurman's the high bidder, $50 on Creatures. And then self titled, Sean has that for 60. You two, the Joshua Tree. Kicks, blow my fuse. Roger Waters, yes, self titled. Lost, Autopsy, Autopsy, Descendants, Cash. Incursion, Pink Panther, Gorgira, 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 Oasis, Black Keys, 
Black Keys, Black Keys, Black Keys. Creatures has a new bid for 55. Kiss has a new bid for 61. And now, 65. That's where we're at, folks. That's where we're at. All right, let's see what else we have in here. I was just seeing what was left in here. With some of these, boy. I, oh my gosh, there's so much great stuff in here. Wow. Tattoos. We got a Kiss Alive 2 with tattoos. Uh, I did promise buy nows, but this is going to be tough to figure out what not to auction right now. Oh, uh, boy. Uh, well, there is a record in here. I I'll do this as a buy now, right now. Okay? I'm going to tell you the price first. It's, 200, it's $249.99. The best stuff, the best stuff to do... Uh, Buy it now is probably going to be some of the higher end stuff that's left. Because some of the higher end stuff has only got one bid. This is $249.99. I hope everybody heard that loud and clear. 249.99. $250 minus a penny. This is an original pressing. 1996 with the poster. Kiss Unplugged. Kiss Unplugged. $249.99. VG Plus Condition. A 1996 U.S. pressing with the poster, Kiss Unplugged, $249.99. That's an original 1996 pressing. Not a reissue, not a 2014 remaster, $249.99. By the way, self-titled Kiss, the Mexican pressing, $70 with Sean Holford. Creatures is at $60 with Brian Thurman. Unplugged is $250. $250. All right, this next record, I'll go ahead and do this as a buy it now. $124.99. This will probably be a pretty good deal because I've auctioned these for more than this. I know I have. Love Gun, a Japanese pressing. Love Gun, $124.99, a 1977 Japanese pressing. If you want it, say Love Gun, $124.99, $124.99. That's a 77 Japanese pressing sold to Tom Byrne. That's sold to Tom Byrne. So Unplugged is still available. I've got one more bin here of a new vinyl I'm going to slide over and go through very quickly. And then we're going to start doing some Buy It Now Best Offer. I'm going to try to move these KISS auctions into high gear so we can get some more stuff going. And we've sold a lot. There's not much left. I've, I'm going to try to do a few more Buy It Nows. And then the rest, like I said, I'll try to put over here. If not... What's wrong with having another kiss night, right? Nothing wrong with having another kiss night. There's a couple buy it nows for you. And uh, let me see what else I have over here. We may run this thing right here because it's sealed. I may do that as a buy it now. So, Love Gun was so to Tom. Scott, you were second. Uh, the Mexican Kiss is at 75 and 75. Creatures is at 65 of Robert Phillippe. I have Neil Young, Doom. This is Zuma Expanded. Seven unreleased songs, $39.99, the Zuma Sessions, $39.99 for Neil Young Zuma. Live, throwing copper, live with bonus tracks, 25th Anniversary Edition. I have so no telling how many of those. Live is $39.99. Jake E. Lee, boy, I forgot I had these. Jake E. Lee, running with the devil, purple vinyl. I may have to take a waiting list after I show this. Jake E. Lee is $29.99. Rami Lucy wants Neil Young. Kiss self-titled is at $76. Creatures is at $70. We also have Widespread Panic, Ain't Life Grand. Widespread Panic is $36.99. And Saxon, Forever Free. Saxon is limited to $1,000 on blue vinyl, $38.99. Brian Thurman wants a Jake E. Lee. I've sold a bunch of these. If anybody else wants one, let me know. I will put you on a waiting list. I can get more, and they will be in this week. I promise unless they've sold out so don't take that promise seriously so J dave cavanaugh i'll put you on a waiting list robert tomic wants widespread panic and does kiss and plug to have the inserts yes well i have a note that says with poster let's take a look at it let's take a look at it kiss unplugged and i guarantee vg plus by what laura's put on here yeah it's nice I think she's doing some pretty strict grading for these auctions and higher-end records because that thing is pretty nice by what I consider EX+. 
There's both LPs. It has the poster with it. Now, I don't know about inserts, but it has a poster with it. And let's fold that open and take a look at it. Yep, I've had that before, just loose, and I've auctioned it. That's just a generic original wide inner sleeves that came with it. All right, some came with a merch insert. Really? I've never seen that before. These KISS records, you never know. Are these? Well, we were talking about merch inform inserts the other night. Uh, David Campbell, also on the Jake E. Lee waiting list. Creatures is at 75. Who still has the high bid on self-titled? Sean does on the 75 Mexico pressing. Sean Holford has that for 80. Final call. Creatures at 75. I've got Sadus. Sadus is a vision of misery. Limited to 750 on Go Vinyl. $38.99. Casino Royale. James Bond. $44.99. Casino Royale. James Bond soundtrack. Numbered gold vinyl. $44.99. Days of the New. So we had the blue, the green album. Here's the third one, the most recent release, the red album. $49.99 on Days of the New. Soul Asylum. Soul Asylum is $38.99. Soul Asylum is $38.99. And Neil Young, this is still available. Russ Never Sleeps, $33.99. Hey, hey, my, my, Into the Black, $33.99. New and sealed. I got the Cars, a MoFi pressing of their debut self-titled album, The Cars, $49.99. We got new bids on Kiss. Andre is now at $81. Final call with Andre Vancho because Sean Holford's out. David Schroeder wants Neil Young. This Cars, by the way, we've sold a bunch of them. High reviews. Sounds fantastic. Did anybody else bid on Creatures? Robert had it for 75. I hadn't seen a bid. I'd already done a final call. Four, three, two, one. Sold to Robert Phillippe for $75. Don't go anywhere. We've got Kiss Auctions all night. Brian, I'd already done a final call on that. Sorry, it is sold. And then self-titled, Andre has it for 81 if anybody wants to outbid him, I'm going to give it like 30 seconds, and I've got to call that one sold too. We have Doors, L.A. Woman, 2LP, 45 RPM. That is $69.99. L.A. Woman, 100% Analog Masters from Analog Productions. Crosby, Stills, and Nash, also from Analog Productions, pressed at QRP, $69.99. That's the 45 RPM. The Piano Guys is $38.99. Music on Vinyl. 1,000, Blue Vinyl, The Piano Guys, Candlebox Acoustic, Candlebox Unplugged, $38.99, and Death Leopard, Hysteria, Hysteria. All right, so we're still bidding on Kiss Self-Titled. I got another Self-Titled to run. Let's see what else I have over here in this bin. Somebody said, could you do a Dynasty? Let me see if I have one available over here. We have with original inner sleeve and two posters. Whoa! Let's definitely put this up. This thing has two posters with it. Kiss Dynasty. A 1975 Santa Maria pressing with original inner sleeve and two posters? $45 start. Let's see if it's just two duplicates or there's like a bonus poster because it's only supposed to come with one. There may just be two of the same poster. $45 start. Let's open the first one. Yep, that's the one I'm used to seeing there. But does it seem bigger? Let's see what's going on here. Okay, there's one poster. All right. $45 start. And I, I, like I said, these grades tonight, I think VG Plus have been extremely conservative on some of these. I think it's just two of the same poster, it looks like. Two of the same poster. This one has a little bit of a rip there in the seam, just FYI. How was this thing folded? Oh boy, I fold a lot of posters every night. This thing may give me trouble, though. Give me one second. Y'all see what I'm talking about? It has a tear there on the rip, on the seams. Oh boy, how was this folded? I think this flap was in... I might have to call Tanner. <laughs> Tanner. This is very thin paper. Got to be careful with it. All right. So there's both posts. The first one is really nice. It's in shrink wrap. It has the original inner sleeve. And I think by VG Plus, 
It is extremely nice. Oh, yeah. I think Laura was being ultra, ultra conservative on these. 25 below the stereo. This thing is nice. In shrink wrap, OG. It does have a, I don't know if that's supposed to be a clip corner and they botched it or if it has a nod corner. I don't really know, but there is the dynasty that got requested. All right, I left off by saying self-titled was at $85 with Manny Ray. $85 for the Mexican pressing. Jared Def Leppard is $46.99. Brian C. wants an L.A. woman from Analog Productions. Thank you. Daniel, uh, excuse me, James Bragg on Candlebox. Dynasty has bids for 45, 50, 50, 60. Self-titled's at 86. Kanye West, 39.99, late registration. All problematic, 28.99. Coldplay's 44.99. And the other doors is Morrison Hotel. Morrison Hotel is 69.99, 2 LP, 45 RPM. So we got Morrison Hotel, Coldplay, All, Kanye, Def Leppard, Piano Guys, Crosby, Stills and Nash, The Doors, The Cars, Soul Asylum, Days of the New, Casino Royale, Sadis, Saxon, and Throwing Copper by Live. Self-titles at $90. If you miss this earlier, this isn't just any self-title. This is 19. 75 Mexico pressing. Extremely nice. Kiss self-titled. Just got a new bid with Manny Ray. I love the jacket on this one. Look how bright. I think that's how they intended the colors on that thing to look originally. And the U.S. copies just did not cut it. That's very cool. And that has a high bid of 90 with Manny Ray. Scott Williams is at 70 on Dynasty. This is an OG pressing in shrink wrap. It has two posters, the original on the sleeve and the vinyl is nice. Piano Guys is $38.99. $38.99. I'll take a car's mofi and I was trying to cut back. That is a terrible decision in record collecting. Don't ever cut back in record collecting. That is so to Brian Arrigo. All right. Thank you, Brian. Let me see if I can throw another kiss sealed or a kiss bite now. Nobody claimed unplugged. I'm going to do this for a $75 bot now. I feel like that's what it would bring at auction. It is a sealed copy of Crazy Nights, a 1987 club sealed Kiss Crazy Nights, $75 bot now. Crazy Nights sealed, sold Sean Holford, $75. That's sold to Sean Holford. It probably would have brought more than that, but I'm trying to chip away at some of these at bot nows. That's sold to Sean Robert was second, Mike Torrey's third, David Campbell fourth. That's so to Sean for 75. All right, I'm about to sell this. Uh, Andre Vancho, I need to know extremely quickly if you're back in on KISS. That's at $90. And then Dynasty, I'm about to sell to Scott Williams for 70. If you're not Scott Williams and you want back in on that, you've got like seconds left. Seconds. Why I find the next bin to go through, buy it now, best offer. Let me figure out what bin we want to go through. Uh, we've covered a lot of new vinyl tonight. I have almost went through every new LP we have in stock here. Actually, I think we only have like one crate left. Uh, and we may go, actually, you know what? This one, I think, has a couple KISS titles, which means I might bring over some other new and sealed KISS. I mean, it is KISS night, so let me go through this bin. And this is some of the condensed stuff. Uh like after I pulled out the on sale. We got a lot of KISS buyers. Let me show some of these and then I'll bring over some other KISS new and sealed buy it nows. And then I gotta do more bins and buy it now best offer. Okay, nobody else bid on these. We're done. Manny Ray, Manny, have you bought from us before? You get the Mexican 1975 KISS self-titled. That's sold you for $90. Thank you and let me know if you're a new buyer or if you're a repeat and nobody else bid on uh, Dynasty. And that is sold officially to Scott Williams for $70. Manny is a new buyer. Thank you. Please go ahead and send our Facebook page a message with your email address and your mailing address. We're going to keep KISS auctions going all night. I'm going to go through another new crate here. Then we're going to do some vintage buy it nows, et cetera, et cetera. All right. There's not going to be any KISS left over by tonight unless it's just something we didn't get to. I promise you. There's not going to be hardly anything left over. Let's go ahead and get some new great auctions rolling. It seems like there is an incredible demand for KISS self-titled albums. 
Let's go ahead and run this one. Kiss self-titled. A sixth U.S. pressing from 1977. A sixth U.S. pressing from 1977. Manny is a stand-up guy for the record. Thank you, Kenny. Welcome, Manny. Just send our page a message. Well, the Kiss merchandise, most of it will be sold right here first. Most of it will be sold right here first. This is not VG. This is better than VG. There's the label. Let's get it rolling for a $25 start. There seems to be an incredible demand for Kiss by Kiss. VG condition. There's the sleeve. Isn't that a destroyer inner sleeve? I don't know if that's right or not, but there it is. NBLP7057. Is that the right inner sleeve? I don't think that's the right inner sleeve. I don't know, unless they just used it. Unless they used it for that pressing. I don't really know. I mean, it is from 1977, so that would be right. Interesting. There is that. This is not the $250 version you're looking for, Andre. We sold that one earlier. This is a 1977. That's a love gun sleeve. Well, from which came out in 77, right? I wonder if they just used those for the 77. That's interesting, isn't it? A love gun. Yes, a love gun. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I just wonder if they slipped those in there because it's from 77. All right. Let's see what else I have. I have some, uh, I had uh, right here. I have a, a Live 2. This is highly desirable because it has the original inner sleeves and the tattoos. And like I said, if you want to bid on this, put a Live 2. Put a Live 2. This is going to be a $55 start. Extremely nice vinyl. VG Plus tonight has been more like EX Plus. This is a 77 specialty Columbia Record Club with original inner sleeves and tattoos. Original inner sleeves and tattoos. $55 start. Tonight's VG Plus has been like EX. We're just grading these things extremely conservative. Check that out, though. Both original inner sleeves. And it has something that very few of these have when I look inside of one. This thing right here. Let's take a look at it. And it's in nice condition. I've seen some of them pretty tattered or already like, like wet looking. That doesn't look too bad. There's the tattoos. And that's all that's included right now. That's all that I see down in here. So that's now up for bid. $55 start. We already got two bids, $55 and $60. And this has one bid for $25 with Jim Davis. Final call. One bid for $25. A sixth pressing from 1977, $25 start. Let's very quickly go through this bin. Nirvana is $59.99. That's a 2LP, 45 RPM. 45 RPM, that's a 2LP, $59.99 for Nirvana Incesticide. Rush, Grace Under Pressure. Rush is $36.99 for Grace Under Pressure. Also, by the way, if you want to bid on a live, make sure you put a live or a live two. The high bid is $65. If you want to bid on this one over here on the right, you can put KISS. That's okay for this one because the name of the album is actually KISS. We have Nine Inch Nails, the Downward Spiral. Nine Inch Nails is $46.99. KISS is a gatefold, yes. KISS Alive 2 is a gatefold. Wow, look at that. Front row. All right, Alex Celo gets Nine Inch Nails. We have Beastie Boys L Communication Price. This is the newest remaster. This is the newest remaster. 2LP, faithfully restored, it says. $46.99, Jared Inc. Also, Songs from the Wood. I love this. Steven Wilson remix, $33.99. Roger Waters, The Dark Side of the Moon redo. That is $46.99, and that is on blue vinyl. Dark Side of the Moon, Roger Waters, that is $46.99. Collective Soul, Seventh Year Itch. Seven Year Inch is Seven Year Itch is a greatest hits from Collective Soul. Collective Soul's greatest hits, $33.99. Black Flag, Loose Nut, $33.99 for Black Flag. Black Flag Damaged is $33.99. Black Flag Damaged and Black Flag Everything Went Black. Three Black Flag albums there. That one is $49.99. The other two are 33. By the way, new bidder on Alive. Clint Howard's back in at 80. James Bragg bids 75. Self-title is at 30 with Brian Thurman. That means that the original bidder, Jim Davis, you're outbid. 
That also means Luke Rosenberger's outbid. Brian Thurman has it for $30. That's where we're at. Kiss Alive 3. There we go. $44.99. That's why I wanted to go through this bin. Kiss Alive 3. That's the 2014 remaster. $44.99. Let's see if I have one over here. $44.99. I have three more copies if we need them. I've got three more copies if we need them of Alive 3. Just FYI. Three more Alive 3s. New and sealed gatefold, $44.99. That's a new 2014 remaster. I'm going to mute my mic for one second. Alive 2 is at 95. We have uh, Alive 3, so to David Campbell. Jeff Church also wants a copy. Let me just go over here and get the other ones. Uh, like I said, we'll definitely do some Kiss Bot nows. I got some new and sealed stuff over here that people love. Some people like playing the new remasters and they don't want to touch their OGs. Some people play the OGs and they don't touch the new remasters. They keep them sealed. I don't know which kind of collector you are, but I've seen people do both. Let's go ahead and sell another one to Jeff Church and I got two more left in stock. Alive 3, $44.99. I'm actually going to keep those right over here. Kiss Alive 3. I got another Black Flag. Slip it in. It's $36.99. So now there's four Black Flag albums in there. The Rankin Tours, Broken Boy Soldiers, $36.99 for that. And Chris Stapleton, Starting Over. That is his, I keep wanting to say his newest album, but I forget he has one out since then. But that's $46.99. I don't think anybody else bid on self-titled, right? Brian Thurman, you get that for $30. That's one of the few records tonight that have sold for about what we had it priced for. Some have brought a lot less, or some have brought a lot more. And that sold on the number for $30 to Brian Thurman. That was that sixth pressing, that 1975. That sold. James Bragg has a live two at 95. Clint Howard, you got to go through James Bragg. He has it for 95. Forrest Rush, Grace Under Pressure, is $36.99. Sounds incredible. Sounds incredible. Sorry, I had to sneeze. Uh, I love... Uh, Let's see here. The Body Electric, 100100. Stevie Ray Vaughan, Martin Scorsese presents the Blues, limited and numbered to 2,500 on blue vinyl. First time ever on vinyl, 64.99. That's the OG release of that. All right, somebody wants me to sell the solo collection. These are 2006 Russian imports. These are 2006 Russian imports on these. 2006 Russian imports. We have an out. James Bragg has a live for 95. Final call. So these are 2006 Russian imports. Are they actually official? 180 gram? I guess so. 2006 Russian import. We're going to put all four of them together. They're picture disc. They're picture disc. There's Gene Simmons. There's Ace Frehley. See the Russian on the top sticker? These are officials. Thank you, Jason. Wow. Usually if you see something from Russia, it's a boot. My allergies are kicking my butt right now. Uh, okay. So I've got them stickered. We're going to sell all four of them together. Uh, let me see what Laura put on these. Okay. We'll knock off... Let's do them for a even $100 start. A $100 start, all four of those. And they appear to be, are they sealed? They probably come in loose baggies like the other ones. They do. They come in loose baggies like the other ones, like the new copies do. Okay, so yeah, those are uh, pretty much new. I'll call them new because you really can't tell if they've been put out right. The only official Russia Kiss Records pressing ever. Wow. Great to know there. All right, and let's go ahead and sell this to James Bragg. He has this for $95. All right, I have a feeling that's going to go nowhere but up. That's now for bid. We got bids for 100, 101, 100, 100, and 150. Thank you, Jason Herdron. This is sold to James Bragg. James Bragg gets this for, let me say that bid one more time, for Rebecca, who will be watching this sale again in the morning. That is sold to James Bragg for 95 Thank you, Jason Hendren. Love to have our KISS experts on here. It is very, very helpful. Thanks for sharing any knowledge on anything I'm putting up for auction. 
it's always extremely helpful. All right, so I'm going to put those over here in slot number one. Let's put up a new KISS auction to go along with that. And let's put up uh, something else from this other kind of metal bin that I have not touched tonight. And let's see what else. Let's do an album we haven't done. So uh, let's do an album we haven't done. We did a buy it now on Love Gun. But I think I have one here. I don't think I have a gun on any of them. Columbia Record Club edition. Let me check this other crate. We haven't done an Animalize with original inner sleeve. Does this one have a gun? Has the love gun. Perfect, but it's a 1985 pressing. I'll take it, though. This is a 1985 pressing of love gun. We have this as a 1985 reissue with original sleeve and inserts, has the love gun. All right, $35 start. I didn't know they were still putting them in 1985 pressings. Okay, I like this. I like what I'm seeing here. The gun has a little bit of damage to it, though. It does have some damage. I'm pretty sure that's all supposed to be connected, and there's a stain on the inside of it. So not a perfect gun. So there is no gun in the 85 pressing. So this was just put in something else. Did it come with an insert here? I think this was probably Frankenstein then. Yeah, that's not supposed to be in there either, is it? I think this has been something. How about... There is a barcode printed on the jacket. Why don't we put this... Is this the right insert for it? Yeah, that's the right insert for it. I have a another... This one's been Frankenstein. Yep. I think this one... Let me step away from the monitor right quick. Let me see what other one I have. We might could put this... I was going to see if there was an OG copy in here. We could put this stuff... 77 U.S. Pressing, Columbia Record Club Edition with original under sleeve, no love... We have another one here, but I don't know if I have one that matches up with this. Here we go. Let's see what this one is. This is a 77 Terre Haute with original sleeve and merch insert. Okay, here's what I'll do. Here, I've got a, I'll auction this one later. Or actually, yeah, here is a 77 with merch. Let's see what it looks like. There's that. There's no gun. Okay. Does it have the merch insert with this one? Okay. So here's what I'll do. That's an OG. I'm just going to set this one aside, and we're going to put this one up for auction. Let me do some. Let me match that up with that. I think this will make this one kind of complete now. All right. So now we have a 77 Terre Haute with original inner sleeve and merch complete. This one is now right. There is that. And then here is this, which that appears to be in a little bit better condition. has one little crease right there. Okay, now let's see what Laura's looks like as a VG, which will, yes, this is very nice. This is it's very clean. This is probably closer to no condition notes on this one. I think there's a little bit of acidic, a little bit of an acidic mark there, and there's like a superficial scuff. This is like EX. This is like EX. So this is nice. 1977 Terre Haute. Glossy cover. It has some of these like stress creases on the cover. It has some stress creases on the cover. It has the original under sleeve. It has the merch. And then y'all saw the gun earlier. There's the gun with the damage on the inside of it. $35 start. So now we have a correct love gun up for auction. $35 start. VG 77 Terre Haute. That's now up for auction. Okay, sorry for the lay there. That, when I started pulling all that out, I knew there was a problem. The Russian picture disc are at $181 with James Bragg. $181 with James Bragg. Love Gun has a bid for $50. We've already sold smashes and thrashes. Back to the bin. The Breeders, Last Splash, 30th Anniversary Edition, Half Speed Master, $66.99. There's another Allison Chains, Rainer Fog. That is the indie exclusive, also $39.99.
We have Dwight Yoakam, Population Me, $33.99. Circle Jerks is $36.99. Group Sex, Cinderella Long Code Winner, Cinderella Long, or excuse me, Night Songs. Both Cinderella albums, or two Cinderella albums, the music on vinyl pressings, $38.38. Final Call on the Russian Picture Disc, James Bragg has those for $181. We're about to sell them. Scott's The Long Bitter on Love Gun for $50. Final Call. Black Flag, the first four years, $33.99, and Black Flag, Jealous Again, $33.99. I'll put those back here with the other Black Flags. We've got a bunch of them. Whiskey Myers, Early Morning Shakes, $33.99. Nine Inch Nails Hesitation Marks, $39.99. Dave Matthews Band, Before These Crowded Streets, $49.99. Journey's Greatest Hits is $46.99. Pink Floyd Relics is $33.99. The Best of Crocus, Stayed Away All Night, The Best of Crocus, $39.99. Crazy Nights, that is the 2014 remaster, $33.99, new and sealed, and Def Leppard High and Dry is also $33.99. We have a claim for Cinderella, Long Cold Winter. Going through some old stuff here, just to recap, we put some new vinyl on sale Saturday night, and this is just kind of what I've condensed and have left. We've pretty much went through our entire inventory tonight of new stuff, but I'm about to go through a bin of some half-off vintage stuff or buy it now best off or something as we wrap up these auctions all right there's only been one bid on love good and i find that very surprising james bragg gets the picture disc for 181 those are so and i'm gonna put all the sleeves in there i'll resleeve them later or rebecca or jake or tanner somebody please resleeve those and let's go ahead and sell love gun scott williams he is racked up tonight he's gonna get this for 50 dollars, and i have combined that scott so that is all original it's got the correct inserts with it. That's good to go. That's so to Scott. I think it's time for some new auctions. We have David Campbell wanting a Crazy Nights. I do need to go through our new Sealed Kiss stuff. And Nick Bargeron wants a Dwight Yoakam. And that was back here, Population Me. Now, Kiss Alive 3, that was the, another one that was left in there. Those are $39.99. I've got two left. I'll put that front center of the crate. Those are available. I pulled those. We had one. We sold one. I brought those back over here. All right, let's do... Um, let's see what I have here. I was going to see if any of these other solo albums had inserts with original inner sleeve and inserts. So it must not be a poster of Paul Stanley, but let's put it up for auction. And, uh, what's another one we hadn't done? I don't think we've done an animalize yet. And I think both of these, uh, Laura didn't put any condition notes on this, so it has to be nice. Paul Stanley does have a clip corner, a 78 elliptic. A lymphant pressing? I don't know if I've ever said that before. A 78 a lymphant pressing with original inner sleeve and inserts. Let's see what original inner sleeve and inserts entail. $25 start on Paul Stanley. There is the original inner sleeve. $25 start on Paul Stanley. Could it have the poster? Ah, oh, okay, it does have the poster. That's what she means by inserts. So there's the original inner sleeve. There's the Paul Merch insert. And let's see how nice the poster is. Very crisp and uh, really no rips or tears. Speaking of posters, a little bit later tonight, we'll, we'll be, we will be doing movie posters again. Uh, if everybody stays awake, we may go pretty late tonight. There's Paul Stanley. It has a clip corner. That has bids for 25 Now, there was no conditional on this, so the vinyl on this must be... Oh, wow. Yeah, this is exceptionally nice. Exceptionally nice. She didn't put any condition notes on this one. So this is probably like EX Plus, near, truly near mint minus EX Plus. Extremely nice. So Paul Stanley, that has bids for 25 30 and 35 Let's check out Animalize here. This is going to be very nice if it's VG Plus. An 84 Richmond press with original inner sleeve, shrink wrap and hop sticker, $25 start. We have not sold a copy of Animalize tonight. Shrink wrap, original inner sleeve, hop sticker, and original JR's Music Shop price tag. That's all ex also extremely nice. If you want to bid on this, put Animalize. If you want to bid on Paul, put Paul. Paul is complete. Inner sleeve, merch insert, and poster. Now, I'm pretty sure just the Peter Chris had the... It almost looks like a Japanese top insert with like liner notes. I think only the Peter Chris had that. We'll find out sure enough in the comments, I'm sure. Animalize has an opening bid of $40. Paul's at $50. Um, how about we go through, um, 
Let's see, what can we go through? We can go through tonight's new stuff, Buy It Now Best Offer, because there's great titles, and I'm sure somebody wants to throw some offers out there. We can do that. I'm trying to go find some new vintage stuff. And let's go ahead and get a third auction started. Not a KISS record, but we do have some other great albums over here in this metal bin that have not been put up tonight, such as The Best of, the best of Scorpions, Volume 2. Best of Scorpions, Volume 2. We did Best of Scorpions, Volume 1 earlier. This one is extremely nice, just like the other one. EX Plus, Near Mint Minus, $25 star. Best of Scorpions, Volume 2, $25 start. So we got Animal Eyes, we got Paul Stanley, and we got Best of Scorpions, Volume 2. Those are now up for auction. I think it's time we go through tonight's vintage stuff and do Buy It Now Best Offer, because like I said, there was great titles... And uh, there, there's this great stuff that was left in there. So uh, let's just do a recap. Uh, I didn't get any new new vinyl tonight because uh, the UPS man didn't uh, drop off. And I had some great new stuff that was due out, like that, TN, there was that TNT music on vinyl record. Uh, is due out. Lots of people have been asking where that is. And it will be here tomorrow. So, All right, let's see what else is going on here. So when I walked away... Uh, Animal Eyes got an opening bid of 40 Paul Stanley was at 50 Another $50 Paul Stanley bid. Another $50 Paul Stanley bid. Do you still have the frame po poster? Actually, I took it out of the frame. I was supposed to give somebody a price. They're still folded up behind the counter, and I've got a price to them. And Rami Lou C wants a Cars Mo5, $49.99. I've got one extra copy. Paul Stanley's at 55 Scorpion's at 25 And Paul Stanley's at 65 which TNT? Bob, it will be here tomorrow. It's a new music on vinyl pressing. It will be here tomorrow. Uh, the pre-order's up in the group, uh, but man, there's been two or three people asking about it, waiting for it to come in. Uh, Animal Eyes, I think we're a final call now. David Campbell, $40. David has that for $40, final call. Paul Stanley's at 65 and Michael Peevler, is all of our Scorpions fans awake? This is rare. One bid, final call. Best of Scorpions, Volume 2. $25. We're about to sell it. Animal Eyes has a new bid for $45. So let's go through tonight's vintage stuff. Buy it now, best offer. You can go ahead and buy it. You can make a best offer. There might be some stuff in here you didn't see earlier. And then I'm also going to bring over some KISS stuff. Let me go ahead and bring a couple handfuls of the new sealed remasters we have in stock. Uh, first, we'll start with this one because there is a lot of bids for it. And then we'll do this one right here because um, I don't know if I've ever seen an OG of this. But uh, I've sold a bunch of them. So let me do these first two right here. I've got new and sealed 2014 remasters of Dynasty. These are $33.99. Dynasty is $33.99. And I have Carnival of Souls, the final session. I guess there are OGs of that album, but I don't know if I've ever had one. Is there on vinyl? I don't know if I've ever seen one of those. And then there's Dynasty for $33.99. So Carnival of Souls and Dynasty, those are all new and sealed, and they're both... 2014 remasters. I've got plenty of dynasties. Okay. Now, Animal Eyes, 45. Scorpions, 27. Animal Eyes, another 45. Scorpions, 30. Scorpions, 27. Now, Paul Stanley hasn't had a bid in a while. Tony Wade has it for 65. Poster, merchandise insert, etc. All right. Now, this is the best of REO Speedwagon, A Decade of Rock and Roll, 1970-1980, VG Plus $24.99, VG Plus $24.99, John Lennon, Walls and Bridges, VG Condition $12.99, we have Cream, Live Cream, VG Plus $24.99, and I can't believe no one bought this the first time around, OG Stones, their Satanic Majesty's Request, with the lenticular cover, VG Condition $34.99, $34.99, so... Uh, first of all, thanks for joining us. We have 244 people both on Facebook, YouTube, and X watching right now. Thanks for joining us. It's Monday night. We got that many people watching. I definitely could tell it's Kiss Night. We've had great auctions. We're not going to get to everything, but I'm going to keep trying probably until midnight to chip away at these. It looks like we're going to have a Kiss Night Part 2 for sure. And uh, we're going through this bin, buy it now, best offer. There's three auctions going on. 
and I have some bot nails for Scorpions. Brian G. Owens wants a, or for Dynasty. Brian G. Owens wants a Dynasty. Bob Madon gets a Dynasty. We have an out on Scorpions. Greg Pegg put 50 on Kiss. Now, I'm assuming that's for Animalize. So Greg Pegg bid 50 on Animalize. Uh, Bursker Dad Mendoza wants a Carnival of Souls. And just a reminder, if you're a first-time buyer, make sure you've messaged our page. That's so to Berserker's Dad. And then we have David Campbell on Dynasty. And let me fill up a new, oh, let me get a new bin started here. This one has filled up very quickly since I started tagging these. Put that right there. Also, invoices went out. We had thousands. I mean, I don't know how many invoices. Uh, Ed's been sending out invoices all day. He was here to like right before the show started sending out invoices. So it's been wild how many invoices went out. David Campbell wants Dynasty. They're going to have a huge backlog in shipping, so just bear with us. We got basically five people back there shipping orders every day now, off and on, and a couple at night, and they have a lot to do. John Cassidy gets to John Lennon. Paul Ogley, I will sell you the Rolling Stones for $34.99. I'll tell you why. Because Eddie, we have Eddie Lazal or Luzu. He says he'll take the Stones at full price, so let me know if you want that. Nobody else bid on Paul Stanley. Let's call it sold. Sorry that took a while, but nobody else really said out, and I was making sure everybody was done bidding. So let's sell Paul Stanley for $65 to Tony Wade. Let's put this away very carefully to Tony Wade. Thank you, Tony. That's sold to you for $65. Inner sleeve poster and the merchandise insert. Inner sleeve merchandise insert and poster. Now, Scorpions had new bids for $41 and $45, and we have Animalize. That's now at $50 of Greg Peck, and that's a final call. Paul Ogley says he's going to pass on the stones. So I think we got a first-time buyer there with Mitty, Mr. Eddie. I don't know how to say your last name too accurately there. Luzal Lozu, Mr. Eddie L. Thank you, and if that is your first purchase, you just got a great one there. Make sure you message us with your email address and your mailing address. I still got Ario Speedwagon. I still got Live Cream. Pat Benatar, Precious Time. VG Plus, $9.99. VG Plus, $9.99 for Pat Benatar. Cheap peek at today's provocative new rock. That is a compilation. VG Plus, $17.99. That has Orchestra Movers in the Dark is on there. So is the Psychedelic Furs and Tommy Two-Tone. That's VG Plus, $17.99. John Heron gets Pat Benatar. Eddie says he's not a first-timer. Welcome back. Sorry. My brain has got only so much data I can store, and I lose track of some of these customers sometimes. Sorry about that. Scorpions is called Best of Scorpions Volume 2. The vinyl is extremely clean, black RCA label. Alan Montgomery has that for $50. And then Animalize. Animalize, Animalize. I'm about to sell it because we got to put up some new stuff. It's getting late. Got to try to move through these a little bit faster. I'm about to sell that to Greg Peck. I think he's had it for quite some time. Let me find that one more time. Greg Peck, 50. I don't see anything else except bids on Scorpions. I'm going to put away the Dynasties. Final call, $33.99 for Dynasty and $33.99 for Carnival Souls. If anybody wants those, 2014 remasters. Bob Dylan, New Morning, VG Condition, $9.99. La La Means I Love You, the Delphonics, with a hop sticker. This album contains I'm Sorry, VG Condition, $12.99. The Impossible Dream, the story of the 67 wet Red Sox, VG Plus, $14.99 on that. And Deep Purple, Come Taste the Band, VG Plus, $9.99. VG, $12.99. Bang Bang, Your Terry Reed, Live Cream Details. Cream, Live Cream is in VG Plus Condition, $24.99. Yellow Atco Label, that is an original Monarch pressing, $24.99. All right, Jeff... Not Jeff Beck. Uh, what's his name? Beck, Beck, Beck. Greg, Greg Peck. Greg Peck. You get the Scorpions. Or excuse me. Huh. I need another energy drink. Greg Peck, you get Animal Lies for $50. Now, we have Scorpions. Alan Montgomery's at $53. Nick Bargeron, you've been outbid. Christopher Brush has said he'd give uh, 10 on the Red Sox. Sold to Chris Brush at $10. Leslie on seven on Bob Dylan. Sold to Leslie for $7. Dale Phonics details. Dale Phonics, John Moreno, is in VG condition, $12.99. That's on the Philly Groove Records. That's an original label. Shrink wrap and hop sticker, $12.99. Scorpions is sold to Alan Montgomery for $53. That's sold to Alan Montgomery. Let's put up two new Kiss records. 
All right, let me find something I haven't put up yet. I bet Ace is complete. I bet all these are complete. I mean, if these came from that Kansas City bunch, I think these were all complete because I think we got a Gene complete, an Ace complete, and a Peter complete. We just did Paul. I think a live is a 76 pressing. Uh, a 75 alive, VG. Sorry, I'm taking a look. I hadn't really... I'm just now getting to look at these. We hadn't done a Asylum. Here we go. I'm trying to do some we hadn't done before. Here's an Asylum. One we hadn't put up at all tonight. A Kiss Asylum. An 85 Hot Pog pressing with original on her sleeve. No condition notes whatsoever. No, no condition notes whatsoever. Nice cover and vinyl. This is going to be a $25 start. Take a look at the label. Yes, beautiful copy here. If you want to bid on this, put Asylum, please. Put Asylum here. And it has the rich on her sleeve. All right, we have not put up a copy of Asylum tonight. So there's that. ASY, if you want to bid on that. That will be a great abbreviation. And let's go ahead and knock out another one of those solo albums, especially if they're complete. Uh, we'll do my personal favorite, Ace Frehley. I'm in need of love. All right, let's see if it actually is complete. 78 Pittman Press. $25 start. And I think it's nice if she's put VG Plus on it. This one is graded VG Plus. It actually looks like it's about EX, based on what I would normally say. Let's see what's inside. I'm liking the way I, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Oh yeah. So the cover, just a little bit of wear on the front. You can see a little bit of ring wear happening there. And on the back, has a crease running right there. A little bit of a corner ding on the spine. So probably a VG, maybe VG plus cover. There's the ace insert. Very cool. Boy, isn't that cool. And we have a poster here. The puzzle piece poster. It also looks like it's nice. Sweet. If you want to bet on ace, put ace. If you want to bet on a solemn, put a solemn. I didn't realize I put two A titles up. That might be confusing, but just make sure you spell it out, please. This will just go up from there. That's now for bid. Ace and a solemn. Okay, then we had a claim for the Delphonics. That's with Phil Elliott. John Moreno, let me make sure you don't want it, John. John, you've got dibs if not Phil Elliott wants it. Let me put that back here in pending. And then... Rob Show is watching over in the Netherlands, and he says it's seven degrees there. Wow. Okay, we have the Wild Racers, original motion picture soundtrack, a 1968 pressing. The bottom seam has some splitting. Very cool, though. The Wild Racers, VG Plus, $34.99. Will you be some auctions, some Motley Crew records? Probably tomorrow or Wednesday or Thursday or Friday or Saturday. VG Plus, $34.99. Iron Butterfly Heavy. VG Plus $34.99 for Iron Butterfly Heavy. Also, the Mothers of Invention Freak Out. With the Hotspot ad, the cover has some scene splitting. VG $26.99. Keep in mind, everything in here is buy it now best offer. Buy it now best offer on everything in here. We have the Delphonics. John says he passes, so this is sold to Phil Elliott. I just want to wake everybody up, let everybody know these are all buy it now best offer. Update on these auctions. Asylum is at $50. Asylum is at $50 with Greg Peck. Very nice OG pressing. And Ace Frilly is just at $35. $40 with Mike Torres. I say just because it's nice. It has the poster. It has the merch insert. It has the original on her sleeve. Now we have some new bids. James Bragg gets Iron Butterfly. That's sold to James Bragg. Continuing. Canned Heat, live at the Topagana, Topagana Corral. I think you got to say that fast for it to sound good. $17.99. And the Marvelettes on stage, an original 63 mono. An original 63 mono, that's $34.99. All right, I'm going to go put these other Kiss albums, Dynasty and Carnival of Souls. Let me go grab maybe something else I have in stock. I'm going to try to grab something I have several copies of. 
Uh, we got new and sealed. What's the? I got three of these, and I got five of these. Let me bring this and this over. So these are also 2014 remasters, new and sealed. If you want crazy nights, put crazy. If you want dress to kill, put DTK. So I got dress to kill 2014 remaster, beautiful embossed cover. There's a song on here called Rock and Roll All Night. You may have heard of that before. And we have Crazy Nights. This is $33.99. Crazy Nights, $33.99. And those are available. Uh, can I get a Carnival Souls, Campbell? I just put them up, but I'll go get them again. Carnival Souls. I think I had three copies left. And now I've got one copy left. Let me also bring over Black Sabbath self-titled. These are new and sealed. I mean, we got to at least sell one of these tonight. I don't know why, but surely somebody needs Black Sabbath's debut album. Also a remaster, this time from 2012, $33.99. Gatefold, I love the hop stickers on these. They're doing all these kind of color-coordinated hop stickers. There's Black Sabbath self-titled, new and sealed, 2012 remaster, an epic... Listen, from beginning to end, $33.99. All right, so Crazy Nights, Dress to Kill, and Carnival of Souls. All right, let's go put those right there in the corner. Let me figure out where I, where I left off. I left off by saying Asylum was at $50 with Greg Peck, and that was the final call. James Bragg got Iron Butterfly. Robert Phillippe bid 50 on Ace. Mike Torrey's bid 60 Christopher Brusher was first to Canned Heat. He offered 12 Go ahead and sell it to him. Thomas, you were second. David Campbell wants a Carnival of Souls. Sell that to David Campbell. Jeffrey Boynson wants a Carnival of Souls. Sell that to Jeffrey Boynson. Uh, Susie said, did I get Expo? Expo. Susie Exposed. Yes, I pulled that for you, Susie. And then we have Larry Drish wants CH13. CH13. That must be an offer. Oh, that was Canned Heat. Uh, sorry, Christopher. I already, already tagged it with Christopher. And then we've sold three Black Sabbaths, the Brian G. Owens, David Campbell, and Kenny Case Jr. Those three are sold. So we sold three Black Sabbaths, but we still got Crazy Nights and Dress to Kill remasters. Ace has a new bid for 65, but I'll tell you what did not get a new bid was Asylum. Let me go down to the bottom. Nope. Greg Peck gets it for uh, Greg Peck gets that for $50. That's done. All right, before we do anything else. We still got plenty of stuff to auction, but let me put this away first. I got uh, two Black Sabbath 2012 remasters, if anybody wants that. Jeff Church wants a Dynasty and Dress to Kill. Let me go give you a Dress to Kill right now, and let me pull a Dynasty off the shelf. And while I'm over here, I'll grab another one. We'll probably go through this entire Kiss discography I have over here. I'm all of a sudden down to two copies of Dynasty. And I'll do some that I only have one copy of. I only have one copy of this, and I only have one copy of this, and one copy of this. So make sure you claim by name of album, by the way. Otherwise, you may miss, miss out. But Jeff Church already put you address to kill. Here is your copy of Dynasty. And then Ace Freely has a new bid for 70. Details on Ario Speedwagon. That is a VG Plus condition, $24.99. VG Plus Condition, $24.99. That's called A Decade of Rock and Roll, $24.99. Did I miss anything else? I don't think I did. I've only got one copies of these. They're sealed, 2014 remasters. Rock and Roll Over, $33.99. Elder is the Euro version. That's not the U.S., that's the Euro, $36.99. And Cycle Circus, U.S. remaster, $33.99. Cycle Circus, Rock and Roll Over, Elder. I've only got one copies of those, but... We can take a waiting list, which means I can order them, restock them, and have them here by the end of the week. Let's keep going. Foghat, live, EX Condition, $17.99. The Johnny Van Zant Man, the Johnny Van Zant Band, no more dirty deals, VG999. Love and Happiness, album number one. And I think we determined that was some kind of compilation from uh, Gospel Favorites, Fat Domino, OB McClinton, or is that some kind of offer? I don't know if I don't know if I've really figured this one out yet. It's some kind of compilation. I'm not for sure though. $14.99. And the babies, Union Jack, $19.99. Back on my feet again is on there. First track, back on my feet again. $19.99. Very clean copy of original sleeve. Brian Thurman on Cycle Circus, 
Scott, do you want to go on a waiting list? I definitely need to order more of these if I can get them. Uh, I ordered like 20, and those got evaporated. And then we have Rock and Roll Over and Elder. I'm going to put those back over here. We got a new slot. Ace is now up to 80 with Mike Torres, but we got a new slot open. Let's see what else we have over here. Uh, I do have another uh, double platinum. And this is a 78 Terra Hope pressing. The fulling is not bad. Of course, y'all know it's impossible. Oh my gosh. I think even if they're in shrink wrap or sealed, they still have wear on the cover. Very tough to find one with just like perfect fulling. I'd say VG condition on this means it's going to be pretty clean. Oh yeah, this is nice. Let's see if it has this. She probably would have put if it had the... Go, uh, oh man, this one actually has it. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can slide it out. This actually has the Platinum Award, and it doesn't have anybody's name on it. And this looks nice for a VG, like exceptionally nice. Yeah, this is like EX. I appreciate Laura being very conservative on these, but also if it's whatever grade it is, I'll tell you that it's in. That's like EX. Foil, gatefold, they're all, well, not all of them are foil. Some of them aren't. Y'all get them on saying. And let me tell you that one one more time. That was a 78 Terra Haute, $25 start. If you want this one, put double or platinum or DP, something to let me know you're bidding on this. It also has the platinum award, $25 start. That's now up for bid. All right, let's put Scott Williams on a Psycho Circus waiting list. Ace has a new bid for 80 and Robert Phillippe's out. Susie Breedlove wants Johnny Van Zant. Let's sell Eric James the Ario Speedwagon for $17. That is sold to uh, Eric James for $17. Deep Purple has bids for $25, $25, $25, $27, $25, $30 with Robert Phillippe. The Hoods, four songs to kill for. That's pressed in Greece in 1992. That's a garage album, $26.99. The Nomads, these are all buy it now best offer. Don't hesitate. The Nomads is $14.99. Scott Williams says no waiting list, please. No waiting list on Cycle Circus for him. The Nomads was $14.99. And The Illusion, together, as a way of life, The Illusion is $14.99. Deep Purple's at $40. Ace Frilly is officially sold to Mike Torres for $80. That is sold. Mike Torres. 8-0. That is sold to Mike Torres. Excellent. That is sold to Mike Torres. All right. Now, we've done Ace. We've done Paul. That leaves two members of Kiss, at least that did solo albums, not including the Eric Carr record store day. <laughs> um, let's do the other one. Let's do Gene. Let's do Gene. Boy, this one looks nice. Wow. All right. Another. This is a 1978 Richmond press with original inner sleeve and inserts. I guarantee it's complete. $25 start. It will probably bring very similar than the other ones. Ace usually brings the most, just FYI. But we'll see what happens here. At least it does here at Coletco. All right, we have the puzzle piece poster. That's what I call it. Very cool concept there. You open up one and you're like, as a kid, oh no, I got to get the others. And then Gene Simmons is somewhere laughing. And then you want to send off and buy all this cool stuff. Heck, I would. I wish I could still buy it. I would say, give me 300 belt buckles. And a very crisp, extremely crisp inner sleeve. And the vinyl is nice. I don't know why there's a sticker on the dead wax, but there is. We'll just leave that on there. Yeah, that's EX, EX Plus. All right, we got a bid on Gene for $25. Uh, double Platinum is at 50 with Robert Phillippe. If you want to bid on Gene, put Gene or GS. If you want to bid on Double Platinum, put DP. All right, 
Continuing, we have Blondie, parallel lines, $49.99. One way or another, I'm going to find you. Is that one on here? Yeah, one way or another. I thought it was. And then Heart of Glass. Whew, that's a good one. This is very clean. This album has always been very popular, demanded pretty good money for OG pressings. And this is OG, complete with the original lyric insert or the original inner sleeve with lyrics. Blondie, Parallel Lines. Double Platinum has a high bid of 54. Gene Simmons has a high bid of 40. Three people are tied at 40. Little River Band, Backstage Pass, $16.99. $16.99. Uh, okay, Blondie Price. Blondie's $49.99. Alan Montgomery wants a dress to kill. Alan, do you want to buy a new sealed dress to kill? Is that what your claim is for? Dress to kill, the new sealed one for $33.99? If so, say sold and I'll tag it for you. Boston, don't look back, $29.99. I'm kind of surprised this is still available. Boston, don't look back. Black Epic label. It's not the first label. The first label for this album would have been an orange Epic label, but that still is extremely clean. This is new stuff from tonight, by the way. Buy it now, best offer. Kenny Rogers, share your love. In shrink wrap of hop sticker, Kenny Rogers is $9.99. Alan Montgomery wants a dress to kill. That is sold to Alan Montgomery. Dress to kill, DTK. Hank Ballard and the Midnighters. Those lazy, crazy days. Those lazy, lazy days. That's an original on the King label. A 65 mono, $34.99. And the best of Delaney and Bonnie. The best of Delaney and Bonnie is $19.99. Great music. Like I said, Eric Clapton probably plays guitar on some, if not most of those tracks. Sorry, I had to mute my mic right quick. I'm sure y'all don't want to hear me sniffling and sneezing over here. Uh, let me go grab some more stuff off the kiss racks. Uh, I'm going to go put these away. And of course, as soon as I do, somebody will claim it. That's okay. I'll walk back and get it. Music from the Elder, $36.99, last copy. Rock and Roll Over, last copy, $33.99. Crazy Nights, last uh, five copies. And then one Dress to Kill. So I'm down to onesies on DTK, Elder, and R and R.O., <laughs> And then I still got Don, uh, Dynasty and Carnival Souls. Let me grab a couple more handfuls. I'm also going to grab a Black Sabbath while I'm over here. I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to grab that one. And I'm going to grab this one. And I'm going to grab a Black Sabbath while I'm over here, like I said. Oh, there's a Rush album over here, too, I forgot about. That's mixed in with the Sabbath. Let me do this one. It's a little bit more expensive, but uh, I'm down to four copies. I checked today out of curiosity, and they were out of stock. And that's the Humanizer. That's Black Sabbath Dehumanizer, which is $49.99. This is $49.99, Dehumanizer. It's a 2LP Expanded Deluxe Edition. 2LP Expanded Deluxe Edition, $49.99 for Dehumanizer. And that's Ronnie James D. It was kind of a comeback album. You know, he did uh, Heaven and Hell, and he did Mob Rules. He came back in 90-something another, 92, and did this album. Of course, originals are not too easy to get. Originals are not too easy to get, and that's Dehumanizer, $49.99. That's a 2LP expanded remaster Dehumanizer, $49.99. I've got those left there. So back up at the top, let's update some auctions here. We had Gene Simmons at $50. We had Double Platinum at $61. We had Gene Simmons at $51. Crazy Nights price, $33.99. Dress to Kill price, $33.99. Did you get me a dress to kill? I did. David Campbell, you got one. Gene has a new bid for 55. Paul Stevens wants Black Sabbath's first album. I'm down to one copy after we give Paul Stevens one. He wants Black Sabbath's first album. 33.99, one left. What is the new Kiss deal? Do you do for the catalog? All new issues? Stop pressing them. I'm not for sure if I understand your question. Black Sabbath's first album to John Heron. Black Sabbath self-titled is sold out. I'm going to order 10 more copies tonight. If I can find a distributor that has them in stock, if anybody wants on a waiting list, let me know. Susie, you'll be first on a waiting list. Also, here's some other stuff I have in stock. Creatures of the Night, that's the Half Speed Master. Half Speed Master, $39.99. Hotter Than Hell, $33.99. And Alive Remaster, 2LP of course, $46.99. So Alive, Hotter Than Hell, and Creatures of the Night. There's three more, and those are all onesies. I've only got onesies. That's a very bold word. 
onesie. There's Gene Simmons. And Gene Simmons' merchandise insert just fell down in here. Let's give Robert Philippi. I could have swore I just heard somebody lock, unlock the door behind me. That must be Tanner. At least I hope it is. That is uh, Robert Philippi on a Black Sabbath waiting list. Double platinum, James Bragg, $61, final call. I've got to sell it very quickly. Jeans at 55, same deal with Robert Philippi, final call. Robert and James, they're about to get those records. Let's keep doing buy it now, best offer. Randy Newman, Little Criminals, $14.99. And on stage with Loggins and Messina, $14.99. And Susie and Robert, I'm assuming y'all wanted Black Sabbath self-titled and not the Dehumanizer album I showed. So I showed a Dehumanizer album. I'm assuming everybody wanted the self-titled album. Gene has a new bid for $56. Robert Phillippe, you're out. D Jethro Tull, Thick as a Brick, $26.99 for Thick as a Brick. Jethro Tull, and we have Tony Farr, and that plays the far out of it, and that is $19.99. And Double Platinum has a new bid, $62, Christopher Onzo. James, Christopher's at $62. Brian Thurman has Gene Simmons for $56. Present Hint Shoes is $14.99. Present Hint Shoes, Beach Boys 69 is $19.99. The Oak Ridge Boys, Try Little Kindness, that is a sealed copy for $12.99. Rockin' Rockin', that is $14.99. And we have Pop History, Volume 20, The Blues Project, featuring Al Cooper and Steve Katz, and that is a German pressing, $24.99. Mike Loomis also wants on the Black Sabbath waiting list first album. So those will probably be in like tomorrow, or no, they won't be in tomorrow. Those will be in like Wednesday or Thursday. And as soon as they come in, when I'm when you see them live, when we're going through new vinyl, I'll tag your name just like you're buying it right then. I'll have I have a spreadsheet over here next to me. James Bragg, you're out on double platinum. Christopher Onzo has that for 62. Final call to him. Brian Thurman has Gene Simmons for 56. Robert Phillippe just came back in at 57. That's where we're at on those. Do you have OG Crazy Nights? I will check. Uh, I'm about to get a third kiss auction started so we can keep knocking some more of these out. I don't think I've put up a Crazy Nights tonight, have I? Have I put up an OG Crazy Nights tonight? Let's see what I have left in here. OG Crazy Nights. I have... I think this is one right here. How about we do it? Let's run it. James Bragg's back in on uh, double platinum at 66. Brian's right back in on Gene at 60. Kiss Crazy Night. So we got Gene. Bid Gene if you want to bid. Double platinum. DP if you want to bid on double platinum. And Crazy Nights if you want to bid on Crazy Nights. This is an 87, an original 87 with the original under sleeve. $45 start on this. $45 start on Crazy Nights. It's now up for bid. $45 start. There's the label. And Olympic pressing. Olympic pressing. Crazy Nights, $45 start. Onzo, Christopher Onzo, back in on deep. I keep wanting to say deep purple. Double platinum for $70. There's the original on the sleeve. There's Gene Simmons looking like he's extremely sleepy. That's how I look all the time. You did a buy it now on Crazy Nights. I did. I did a buy it now on a sealed copy. Yep, for $75. Crazy Nights, James Bragg is in on both of them. He's in on Crazy Nights at 47 and Double Platinum at 72. Susie wants the album with the fire truck on it for $14.99. Sell that to Susie Breedlove for $14.99. Continuing, we have Star Club. I think this is the, you know, the famous Star Club. I don't know what this is, though. I think it's a compilation of artists who played at the Star Club, which that was in Germany. That's where the Beatles played. This is a garage album. It was pressed. Yeah, it's a garage comp of artists who played at the Star Club, uh, $24.99. Uh, Robert Phillips is in on Crazy Nights at $50. Christopher Onzo, you're out on Double Platinum. And Robert's out on Gene, which means Brian Thurman has that for $60. And now a final call on Gene Simmons. We have Talking About the Milkshakes. The Milkshakes is an 81 UK pressing, $49.99. We also have 38 Special Torty Force. $24.99. Lost Shakers, Grande's Exitos, $19.99. Beverly Hills Cop Soundtrack is $19.99. John Lennon, Double Fantasy, $19.99. Bobby Barth, Two Hearts, One Beat, $9.99. Puff, Living on the Party Zone, that was a 2016 post-punk album, $14.99. Reckless, 
That is 1987 pressing, 1999. The Rain Parade was 64.99, and Spirit, 12 Dreams of Dr. Sardonicus, 1999. Crazy Nights, 50. Crazy Nights, 55. Double Platinum, 75. Double Platinum, 81. Gene Simmons is sold to Brian Thurman for $60. Brian Thurman, you get Gene Simmons for $60. All right, that just leaves Peter Chris. We can't stop there. We've done Ace, complete, with all inserts, posters, etc. We've done Paul Stanley. We've done Gene, and that leaves the cat man, the drummer, Mr. Peter Chris. Let's bring him over here. And this should be the one right here from the same collection, a 78 Terre Haute with original inner sleeve and inserts, which should include that actual insert, and it should include the poster. Same thing, $25 start, Peter Chris. There's the original inner sleeve. The vinyl is very nice, just like the other ones. Yep. EX. We'll call it EX. All righty. Cool. I don't know if I've seen many Peter Chris merch inserts. They just don't... That one definitely stands out because of the green, just my memory. I just don't, seem if I've, don't think I've seen too many of them. I like the green. Yep, here's the actual insert here. There's the poster. There's the jacket. Very nice. Okay. There we have it. All right. So, update. Crazy Nights is at 71 with James Bragg. He also bid 81 on double platinum. Christopher says out, so that's a final call for 81. And Peter Chris just got new bids for 35 and now 40. Last few records in this bin was Narvel Feltz. 1999. Lifetime, the Bent Tangs. The Big Tangs is at 83 Holland Press, 1999. Um, there's some in here I had to check the spine on. The Archers, the Green Ray, 1993 UK, 1999. This is that very obscure stuff from New Orleans, very deep cut stuff, or just stuff you don't see too often, like the Barracudas for 34.99. Wipe Out by the No Sweat, or Wipe Out No Sweat, yep. 83 UK mod record for $39.99 and 10 Angel for $14.99. All right, that's all this tonight's. We had five crates of new vintage arrivals. That's all that's left. We've been through them technically three times. The first time, the recap, and now buy it, now best offer. They're all gone. Did I see a Boston? You did. You saw a vintage copy. It's not the original label, but it's super nice of Boston. Don't look back. It is $29.99. Boston, don't look back. Super clean copy, $29.99. Right, double Platinum is sold to James Bragg for $81. And if you want to get Crazy Nights, you got to go through him as well. He has it for $71, and that's also a final call. I'm putting Double Platinum away. We're putting Mr. James Bragg's name on it. And we have Peter Chris at $50. Here's kind of the agenda for the rest of the night. I'm about to find something to go through. Uh, new vinyl. Uh, vintage something. We still got plenty of KISS bidders watching. I'm probably going to go ahead and keep putting up auctions. We've almost went through... Um, we're beyond two-thirds. We may be 70% done. No, we're probably two-thirds. We still got quite a bit. Uh, Boston sold to Craig Proper for $24.99. Uh, let me go grab... I'm putting away Alive for $46. i am putting away Hotter Than Hell for $33. And then Creatures, the Half Speed Master, for $39. i am putting those back over here. I've almost showed all the new sealed uh, KISS stuff, except for just a couple, which I'm going to grab right now. I'm going to grab this one. And we've also been selling a lot of Black Sabbath all of a sudden. But first, let me grab this, this, and what else do I have? This one and this one, okay? And then, boy, an epic one here. Let's show the Sabbath album first. Paranoid. Paranoid, $33.99. Y'all know the drill. These sound incredible, too. War Pigs, The Song Paranoid, Iron Man, Don't Forget About Hand of Doom, Electric Funeral. They're all on here. It's a remaster. I love these hop stickers. $33.99 for Black Sabbath Paranoid. $33.99. Gatefold, Black Sabbath. I hope everybody has a copy of that. 
whether you have a UK Vertigo or the new remaster. We also have Kiss Unmasked, $33.99. I have two copies, 2014 remaster. We've not done Unmasked in any form tonight. I've got Ace Freely as a picture disc, new and sealed. Ace Freely picture disc, $38.99. Ace Freely picture disc, $38.99. And Kiss Alive 2, $56.99. Alive 2 remaster, $56.99. Crazy Nights is officially sold to James Bragg for $71. They are still bidding on Peter Chris. Robert Phillippe has the high bid for $60. And let's put up some more Kiss auctions, probably two more. Probably two more. So there's some more buy now, new vinyl, FYI. Surely somebody needs a copy of Paranoid. I showed the first Kiss album earlier, and we sold out. I had five or seven copies, and boof, boom, poof, they were gone. I have not put up a copy of Lick It Up, at least as a U.S. form. We had a Japanese pressing earlier that sold for over 100. This is Lick It Up. It's an original 83 Netherlands pressing. A Netherlands pressing. I thought the jacket looked slightly different. There's writing on top of it. I don't know if the U.S. ones are like that or not, but there's writing on top of the spine, on top of the seam. It has the original under sleeve, and we're going to get Lick It Up rolling for a $25 star. There's the label. It's a Holland, made in Holland, a Netherlands press. $25 start. $25 start. Tony Wade, let me know if you want back in on Peter Chris. Robert Phillippe has it for $60. There's Lick It Up for a $25 start. I'm going to put away these. Everybody broke my heart. You didn't buy a copy of Paranoid. Everybody just made me extremely sad. Now the show's over, and I just want to go eat and go to bed. Just kidding. All right, we have wore this bin out. Probably won't see those again in a while. That was all the new arrivals from tonight. And we didn't finish the metal records over here, but guess what we'll do tonight or tomorrow? More metal records, but we'll uh, just focus on Kiss the rest of the night. Save the auction block for KISS. What can I go through over here? Well, I can show you what? Uh, maybe some half-off records. Let me see if I want to go through these right here half-off. Let's see what we have over here. Might do some half-off. I mean, we still got over 200 people watching on all three platforms. Pretty incredible, actually. Um, let's see if I can find something I want to show for half-off. If it's not good, I don't want to show it, you know. That batch right there didn't look too bad. Everybody let me know where you're watching from. Let's see where, where we have viewers from. Let's see if we got viewers. I know we got viewers from all over the world watching right now. Different continents, time zones. We'll see where everybody's watching from. I'm going to be figuring out our next move here. Uh, and then, I never did finish the agenda... I, I'm going to finish up this one tub of posters tonight. That one post tub of posters we left off. We're definitely going to finish that up tonight. Let's see what I've got over here. We may go through this bin right here like as a flip crate. But go ahead and share your location. Just don't give your address and, you know, social security number or anything like that. And uh, let me see if I want to go through this bin we may go through like a $9.99 bin. The other day, I just grabbed a bin. Instead of doing like half off, I kind of flipped through it right quick, and I was like, you know what, Tanner? Let's do this bin $9.99. I don't know if I want it. Well, that's okay. I may just bring over a bin, and we're gonna just going to be like, you know what? Everything in here is $9.99, except that. I think I'm just going to pull out one record. There's a couple more I could pull out, but I think I'll just leave those those is to be so right, yeah i'm gonna bring over a crate of vintage stuff and everything is gonna be nine dollars and 99 cents nine dollars and 99 cents Okay, here we go. Ooh, there went my neck. Hope y'all didn't hear that. All right, so up at the top, we had Peter Chris at 40, 45, and 50, 55, and 60, Lick It Up 35, Tony Wade put par for Paranoid, 
thank you, Tony Wade. Paranoid is so to Tony Wade. Sorry, I hadn't got up to the top of the comments. I was walking around trying to find stuff to sell. That is so to Tony Wade. Uh, we have viewers in Australia, New Orleans, Colorado, Grand Rapids, Nebraska. Uh, how much do you have Kiss Alive sealed available? If so, how much? Kiss Alive 1 sealed is $46.99. $46.99. Nebraska, Florida, Colorado, Texas, Minnesota, Indiana, Oregon, Canada, Michigan, Long Island, Indiana, New York, Iowa, Louisiana, Colorado, Texas, Arizona, Detroit, the Netherlands, New York, Columbus, Ohio, Lickets up at 40, Fort, uh, Brooklyn, and Connecticut. All right, so Peter Chris is a final call because we had an out from Tony Wade. Robert Phillippe has the complete Peter Chris for 60. Lick it up, just got a new bid with Greg Peck for 60, and that's an original Holland press, a.k.a. Netherlands, Holland or Netherlands. Whichever. Rob will debate which way it's supposed to go. He actually lives over there. Right, Tanner? All right. Now, somebody said they'll take the new copy of Kiss Alive for $46.99. Sold. Let me bring over another Sabbath album. Somebody bought in on Paranoid. Excellent. Let's do another Stone Cold Classic. Master of Reality. Master of Reality. All right now, I love you. Sweet Leaf. Boy, what a song. Remastered, $33.99. Let's sell this to the record guy. You have bought from us before, correct? You have bought from us before, correct? $46.99. $46.99, that's so to you. There's Master of Reality. All right, everything in this bin is $9.99. $9.99. The Outlaws in the Eye of the Storm. You see, some of them are going to be like half off. $9.99 for the Outlaws in the Eye of the Storm. Has the original on sleeve, no condition notes. Everything is $9.99. Beach Boys, Endless Summer. Beach Boys, 2LP compilation, great comp, $9.99. Warren Zevon, no condition notes. Bad Luck Streak and Dancing School, $9.99. Russ Barenberg, Moving Pictures, Gold Stamp Promo, $9.99. And Dick Destiny and the Highway Kings, Arrogance. $9.99, Dick Destiny. Mary Lou Williams, First Lady of the Piano, EX Condition, $9.99. Let's go ahead and sell the Peter Chris then. Peter Chris is officially sold. It's gone. Goodbye, Robert Phillippe, $60 on Peter Chris. Robert Phillippe gets Peter Chris for $60. That is sold to Robert Phillippe, $60. Thank you, Robert Phillippe. Lick it up. I hope we're done. Everybody was out. If, you sell, if not, it's too late. Greg Peck gets Lick It Up for $60. For $40. $40 to Greg Peck. Okay, we started. This being Anthony Barone gets the Outlaws for $9.99. Corey Gaston gets the Beach Boys for $9.99. Romulu second. Corey Gaston also first on Warren Zevon for $9.99. Then Larry Drish, then Romulu, and then Mary Lou Williams also sold to Romulu. That leaves Dick Destiny and Russ Barnenberg. And Kenny Case Jr. wanted a Master of Reality for $33.99. That's so to Kenny Cates Jr. A sticker price, of course. I'm sure he wishes that was $9.99, but it's $33.99. One copy left of Master of Reality. Let's get some Kiss stuff up. I feel like there's no reason to stop. Let's get some Kiss stuff up. How about another Dynasty? And... I think I got a nice copy here. Let's do Dynasty and... Um, dress to Kill, a 75 PRC Richmond Press, cool. All right, if you want to bid on Dynasty, put Dynasty, Kiss Dynasty, VG Condition, which, like I said, these have been graded strict tonight. This is a 79 Santa Maria. This is better than VG, typically. This would be VG plus the EX, probably. It has the poster and the original on her sleeve, $35 start. It has the poster and the original on her sleeve, $35 start. Dynasty and something else. Uh, okay. Is this supposed to go with it? March insert? Well, I don't know if I've seen this too much.
Man. I got to get one of those. I got to get one of those. The pinball machine. All right, so Dynasty. Uh, nice. Uh, we're talking about OG poster. And I don't see that too much. I mean, not saying it's like the Holy Grail or anything, but y'all get what I'm saying. I, I don't see that too often. I think a lot of kids probably sent that in and enlisted in the KISS Army, right? I'd say a lot of people use that, and they enlisted in the KISS Army. That's probably why you don't see too many. Now what for bid? $35 start. Dress to kill. Dress to kill is a 75 PRC Richmond press. VG condition, $25 start. Dress to kill, 75 PRC Richmond Press, $25 start. $25 start. $35 on Dynasty, $25 on Dress to Kill. Hope everybody's awake. All right, let's keep going through this $9.99 bin. $9.99, we have Street Song by Gassenhauer. That's VG Plus, $9.99. We have Black and White, Tony Joe White. VG Plus condition, $9.99. Poke, salad, Annie. VG Plus, $9.99. Blowfly, wrap dirty. Blowfly, that's a 12-inch single. VG Plus condition, $9.99. Earth, Wind, and Fire, Gratitude, VG Plus. This is kind of like a greatest hits. It says it has shining star, no matter who you are. Celebrate good times, come on. VG Plus, $9.99. It's called Gratitude. It's kind of like a compilation. Tom Moran on Tony Joe White. These are all $9.99. Larry Drish wants Earth, Wind, and Fire. Dynasty has a high bid of $40. Nobody's bid on Dress to Kill. And by the way, the actual grade on this is closer to like VG Plus, by the way, or even better, I would say, especially when you play it back. $25 start on that. Ruben and the Jets, VG minus condition. It is VG minus, just $9.99. Larry needs to pass on Earth, Wind, Fire. He already has it. That's okay. Corey Gaston was second. So give this to Corey Gaston instead of Larry Drish. That's now sold to Corey Gaston. Brother Jack McDuff, the natural thing, also a VG minus condition. That is a 68 Monarch pressing. 68 Monarch pressing, $9.99. Ruben and the Jets is sold to Christopher Smith. That's sold to Christopher Smith. And Lester Roadhog Morin, alive at the Johnny Mac High School, EX condition, $9.99. And we have If. If is in VG condition, $9.99. Mike Torrey says Dynasty for $45. Tony Wade, let me know if you want back in. Mike Torrey's also just did bid $25 on Dress to Kill. So the high bid on Dress to Kill right now is $25. That's going twice going three times. I'm going to show we've done some Sabbath albums. We've obviously done lots of Kiss. Let's do a Pink Floyd. Let's do two different Pink Floyd albums. I've got Animals and Wish You Were Here. These are new and sealed remasters. Wish You Were Here is $33.99. Wish You Were Here is $33.99. Sounds incredible. you got to have a nice, quiet remaster of this if you're going to listen to Shine on Crazy Diamond and Welcome to the Machine and Wish You Were Here, and Shine On You Crazy Diamond Part 6 through 9. And then here's Animals, which this is the definite mix. My favorite, an my favorite album, I promise you, it sounds fantastic. It's a 2008 remix that came out, I think, two years ago. $39.99 for Animals. That is exceptional. So there's two new sealed Pink Floyd albums in stock as remasters. Wish you were here in Animals. Great listening there. Oh my gosh. Just a completely different level. A completely different level of music. Incredible. I think about that stuff sometimes and I'm like, man, just it's just incredible what they did on some of those albums. Just incredible. Exile, the greatest hits medley. EX condition, $9.99. Exile, greatest hits medley, $9.99. Edwin Sharp and the Magnetic Zeros, VG Plus, $15 off, a 2012 pressing, $9.99. By the way, Dynasty's now at $50 and Dress to Kill's at $35. They're warming up back there. We also have Waves, Afraid of Heights. Look at the discount. There's my nightly slip-up. 
Look at the discount on that one. It hadn't been here too long. Now just $9.99. I don't even know what it is, but it's greatly discounted. Dave Mason, VG Plus, $9.99. And the 11th house featuring Larry Coriel. That's an EX condition, $9.99. I tell y'all, I always have a screw up in one of these bins. Don't forget, we're doing the Jack Nicholson movie posters tonight. Yes, The Shining. Hope you're ready. I've got to go over here and turn off this air conditioner again. It has gotten... Not only is my allergies kicking my butt, but uh, the air conditioner is kicking my butt. So I'm fighting my allergies. I'm fighting an air conditioning, and uh, I'm fighting hunger at this point. Yes, don't forget, we're finishing up that tub, that Jack Nicholson packet, the other packets... We're not going to go too late, but it's already midnight, so we'll probably get start posters after this. We'll do a few more kiss, and then we'll uh, see where we're at. Dressed is at 40, uh, Dynasty 52. Uh, Larry Drish first on Waves, then Brent Ribley. That was my nightly screw-up. The Babies, Union Jack. We had a near-mint copy. This has back on my feet again. This one's in VG+, Plus, nine ninety nine. Al Jaro, L is for lover, no condition notes on Al, $9.99. Roy, Roy Clark, I never picked cotton. Roy Clark is $9.99. Also, this is Yorma, Yorma Cal Cohen, prolific guitarist, solo album, also from Jefferson Airplane, that's $9.99. Rami Lou gets AJ for Al Jaro, Forces out on Dynasty. Mike Torres has it for 52, final call. Corey Gaston gets Roy Clark. Now, we have Dress to Kill, final call to Anthony Barone at 40. Who was the other bidder? The other bidder on Dress to Kill was Mike Torres. Mike, let me know if you want back in on Dress to Kill. Christopher B., is that Brusha? Yeah, Christopher Brusha on Yoma Calcoan. That's so to Christopher Brusha. Also, The Fabulous Miracles. You've really got a hold on me. I love she, can't, uh, love she can count on. Wow, that's a pretty good discount, too. It's a sealed pressing. $15 off of the Miracles, $9.99, sealed record. Wow. John Denver, Some Days Are Diamonds. John Denver is a German club edition. German pressing of John Denver, $9.99. Satin Doll by Bobby Humphrey. Bobby Humphrey, that's on Blue Note. Blue Note title for $9.99. And Joe Tex is $9.99. Corey Gaston, first on the Miracles. That's so to Corey Gaston. And Carly Simon, Hotcakes. Carly Simon is $9.99. Two by The Born Rosiger. That's sealed. That's a pretty big discount, too. Sealed for $9.99. And Gray Slick Dreams. Gray Slick is $9.99. All right. Dynasty is sold to Mike Torres. That was complete with the Kiss Army insert and poster and the inner sleeve. Figured that one might do a little bit more, but it's gone now. Mike Torres has it for 52 I can tell it's pretty late, I think, earlier. If we would have sold that, uh, what, four hours ago? We would have sold that four hours ago. Uh, Might have brought twice that much. Consider these some late night auction discounts. That is sold. And so is Dress to Kill. I'm pretty sure this exact same Dress to Kill earlier brought about twice as much as well. Don't hold me to that, but it just seems like it did earlier. $40 on this one, and it's sold to Anthony Barone. Anthony Barone gets that for $40. All right, so... Let's put that away, and let's see what else is going on here. Next is Susie Brelove on CRA. CRA was for Carly Simon and Rami Lou on T for this two album, The Born Risinger. That's so to Rami Lou. David Hoy wants to know the Bobby Humphrey condition. Cover has a clip corner. David, no condition notes. It's definitely EX+. Plus. It looks very nice. $9.99, which is a half-off price. And we have the Classics 4. $9.99 for the Classics 4. All right, let's uh, probably wrap up the KISS auctions tonight with two more. And let me see what I've got in here, and we'll do two more KISS auctions, okay? Let's do one maybe I hadn't put up. I have a, a live in here. We have an OG Alive 75, right? Yep. We haven't done an Alive yet. And... I know we've done a Destroyer and a Dynasty and a Love Gun. And there's another Dynasty. There's another Alive. First press. Okay, this is the first pressing. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's say... Well, I should have done that one earlier. Man, I know we've done Asylum. We've done Animal Lies. Leak it up. Okay. So let's do that. And this copy of Destroyer looks awfully nice. 
and it has an original inner sleeve and insert. I think we're going to end with two nice ones as far as condition and far as the desirability of the pressing, okay? Uh, David Hoy said, take it, and that was for Bobby Humphrey. And Eddie uh, Ale uh, wants E Sharp. Edwin Sharp. Yeah, that was another great deal on that one. These are all $9.99. All right, so uh, we have this one tagged as a Kiss Alive. Obviously, Kiss Alive, not two, just Alive. It's not really Alive one either, right? It's just Alive. A 1975 Richmond pressing, first PRC pressing. Now, isn't there a way, isn't that having something to do with the track listing? I'm going to need some help on this one. My, not always my brain kind of dead at this point. I've been on here for five hours, but I've kind of forgot about what it entails on this one. Either way, it's going to be a $45 start. Laura has it as a first PRC pressing. Gatefold, Kiss Alive. I'm sure there's some kind of clue or something or another on this one to help us know that for sure. But this is Kiss Alive. And VG Plus on this means it's going to be nice. Yes. Very, very nice. Manufactured and distributed by Casablanca Records, made in USA. Kiss Alive, NBLP 7020-798. Dead Wax is NBLP-7020-2-1-1-11. And this is very clean for a VG Plus. Probably closer to EX. $45 start. If you want to bid on that, put a live. That's going to be a $45 start. There's both LPs. And this is marked as a 75 Richmond first PRC pressing. 75 Richmond first press. Okay. We're going to go with it. Everybody still awake out there? That's now up for auction. And then check out this copy of Destroyer. It looks exceptionally nice. Just look at the jacket to begin with. Wow. This is also... A 77, or this is a 77 club. It has the original inner sleeve and insert. An original inner sleeve and insert. An original inner sleeve and insert. Let's see what that exactly looks like. And we're going to put this up for a $35 start. There's the Kiss Army. Shout it out loud. Original inner sleeve. I have a feeling the vinyl on this is going to be beautiful. It is. This is unusual to find them in this condition. I've had a lot of copies. They're usually completely trashed. Completely trashed on this one. So this is Destroyer, $35 start. There's the original sleeve, and I think it includes an insert. It does, and I think this is the... Well, this has nothing to do with it. That's an Ace Freely insert. Actually, I might, I'm going to pull this out, because that, I don't think that was obviously not supposed to go with this, and we may have an Ace record that can go with. So... Uh, I'm just going to leave that right there, okay? I'm going to retract that because we may have an ace record we can match that up with because there's another one here in this crate. We're going to do another night, possibly tonight. I don't, I'm just going to say that is a 77 club with this original on our sleeve. There's the club markings, RCA Music Club. There we have it. That's a very nice copy, though. I mean, look at this jacket. I mean, you can kind of, it looks like their faces are almost shiny. It's got so much gloss on it. All right. Sorry, I'm sniffling. Uh, back to the 999 bin. Billy Vera and the Beaters by request, 999. John Evangelist, private collection, 999. Kid Gloves is 999. John K from Steppenwolf, My Sporting Life. $9.99 on John K. Art Garfunkel, scissors cut. Art Garfunkel was $9.99 from Simon and Garfunkel, of course. There was a mosquito. Don't want that in here, do we? We have the Moody Blues, Seventh Sojourn. The Moody Blues is $9.99. Crosby and Nash, whistling down the wire, $9.99. Donovan, wear your love like heaven. Steve Winwood back in the high life. Ringo's Roto Gravier. Al Jarro, Pat Matheny Group, American Garage, and Pratt McLean. Some big markdowns in there. Let's go back up to the top. We have, here's the bid so far. We put up a live and we put up a destroyer. A live has bids for 45, 45, 50. Destroyer has bids for 35. A live 55, a live 60. Uh, destroyer 61. 
Larry Drish wants MB for Moody Blues. That is so to Larry Drish, Corey Gaston, SW for Mr. Steve Winwood. And if anybody else wants anything in here, they're only $9.99. It's a discount bin. Alive does not have the book. It's a, got a $65 bid with Romilu and Destroyers at 41 with James Bragg. Brent, let me know if you want back in. Uh, James has, he just bid 66. I think he meant on a live, right, James? You put 66 Destroyer. I bet he meant a live because Rami Lou was at 65. Destroyer's still at 41 with James. All right, I'm going to read the titles that's left in here for $9.99. Pratt McLean, Pat Matheny Group, Al Jarreau, Ringo's Roto Gravier, Donovan, Wear Your Love Like Heaven, Crosby and Nash, Art Garfunkel, John Kay, Kid Gloves, John Evangelist, Billy Vera, Classics 4, Grace Slick, Joe Tex, John Denver, The Babies, 11th House, Dave Mason, uh, Exile, If, uh, Lester Roadhog, Morin, Brother Jack McDuff, Blowfly, Street Song, Dick Destiny, and Russ Barnenberg. You said the story was at 61, so I said 60, so otherwise I was at 41. Okay, my bad. Uh... I may have misspoke. Uh, Destroyer 41, James Bragg. Yep. And then somebody's bid 45 and now 50. So now the high bid on Destroyer, just to clarify, is $50. And Alive is at 68 with Rami Lucy. Alive's at 68 with Rami Lucy. And Neil Smith has Destroyer for 50. That's where we're at on those. All right. So there's those two auctions. They're still getting bids. This is a PRC first. Uh, Richmond First Press, and Destroyer is a, a club, an original club copy on that. I'm telling y'all, this looks wild. The full, I mean, it almost looks like it's foil. Can y'all see that? The way it shines. It's very wild looking. How heavy the gloss is on this album jacket. I mean, it looks like, like Ace's uh, shoulder pads and uh, Peter's like collar and stuff are literally shining and jeans boots when you hit just right on the light. I don't know if that comes through on you alls screen, but it's pretty wild how glossy that thing is and shiny. All right, I'm going to step over here and get a bottle of water. I de definitely need one, as y'all can hear. I'll show the only record I pulled out. If anybody wants to make an offer, it'll be Biden, our best offer. And that's Paul McCartney, Egypt Station. It was sealed for $49.99. And that was orange and blue vinyl, the deluxe edition, $49.99. And I'll entertain a fair offer. That's Paul McCartney, Egypt Station. I'm going to look over here for... I'm trying to figure out, when I was at the Masters, I bought a... I wonder if Tanner knows where it is. I bought a whole bottle of Claritin at Walgreens there. We were taking them every day. I bet I left it behind... And there's no telling where it is now. We probably left it at the house we rented or somebody else got it. So I was hoping I had some clarity. I might have to go to Walgreens after this sale. Um, uh, it'd be the next closest option. But I bought like a huge bottle too. And I think I've left it somewhere. Probably left it in Augusta, Georgia, which is unfortunate. That's why I never buy the big bottles because I lose them. You ever happened to y'all? I feel like it's a common occurrence. All right, so here we go. Alive is now at 70, and Destroyer's at 57 with James Bragg, and it's a final call. James Bragg has Destroyer for 57, final call. Alive is at 70, final call. I'm going to start putting away some stuff and doing like a final recap. I'm going to put some stuff back on the racks. If you decide you want anything, let me know. Master of Reality is sealed, 33.99 remaster. I'm putting away the Pink Floyd albums. Nobody... Everybody broke my heart again and didn't bid on these or didn't buy any. Wish You Were Here and Animals, $39.99 for Animals, $33.99 for Wish You Were Here. However, I've probably sold most people a copy already. And if you haven't bought a copy, shame on you because you definitely need one and you just broke my heart. And I'm going to put the other Kiss albums back on the rack. So there's Black Sabbath. That's the same area where the Kiss stuff is. So there's Kiss Alive 2. There's Ace Freely, Picture Disc, Unmask, and then we're down to two copies of Paranoid, and there's Master of Reality. I don't think I have Lick It Up. No, 
I will check, but I've went through all the Kiss stuff. The only stuff I have left are the solo albums. I've kind of shown those. They're only on picture disc, except Peter Chris. I got one Peter Chris on black vinyl and no Lick It Up remaster. I do have other Sabbath albums. I have like some of the other Sabbath catalog if you're looking for any of those. I have those and here's Dehumanizer. All right, let's go ahead and sell Destroyer. It's been up for a while. Destroyer is sold to James Bragg for $57. Nice, James. Thank you. That's sold to Mr. Bragg. And Romilu has a live for $71. Forrest, you're out. Romilu has it for $71. There's Dehumanizer again, $49.99 for Dehumanizer. I'm putting those away over here with the other Black Sabbath records. I know what i got to order tonight. More Black Sabbath, more Rush, more Kiss, more Led Zeppelins. Oh, I hadn't shown one of these. I bet I can sell one of these. Surely somebody needs a jar of flies. A jar of flies. New remaster, $28.99. We still got a whole rack of them. $28.99. Jar of flies. No excuses. I stay away. Nutshell, $28.99. Jar of flies. We have an out on a live. Let's sell that to Rami Lou for $71. Thank you, Rami Lou. That is sold to you. Rami Lou gets that for $71. One doll hairs. James Bragg says, I'll take the Pink Floyd Animals. Thank you, James. Anybody else want a Animals 2018 remix? You know, the other version's a remaster too that they keep in print, but they haven't pressed that in a while. I think they've checked, they take turns and now they're pressing the 2018 remix again. That's why I was able to uh, uh, get this. Do you still have that Rush Power Windows in the sale bin from Saturday? Uh, for $24.99, I don't know. But if you want a copy, I'll sell you a copy for $24.99. I would love to sell you a copy of Power Windows. Let me go check. And then, here is a big ticket item that didn't sell. I'm surprised. It's an original pressing. This is the only Kiss album that did not sell tonight that I officially showed. And this is a 1996, a 96 USOG of unplugged, $249.99. A USOG unplugged with the poster, with the poster, 2LP. And VG Plus means very nice. These Kiss records were graded extremely conservatively for sure. I mean, take a look at that. Very, very nice. And that is Unplugged, $249.99 for Kiss Unplugged. That is the, really the only thing left behind for tonight is that right there. Any Metallica. I have Metallica's, pretty much their entire discography in stock, Brandon. Everything new and sealed remasters. And there's a jar of flies. I'm putting that back on the rack. And let's see what else. Somebody wanted Rush Power Windows. I'll do that. The, mostly because I've had this original massive shipment. I hope I have a copy. Hold on. Oh, no. Oh, yep, there they are. Okay. Yeah, they've been here one year and a month and two weeks. So I've had these for a while. But I'll eventually wish I hadn't sold them all because it's such a great sounding record. That's probably the last one I'm willing to do for $24.99. And that's sold to... Uh, Larry Drish. Now we have uh, my fresh, my first Rush album. Wow! Whoa! Well, congratulations. That's a whoa. I can't say that. There's no telling how many I have. Duplicates, formed copies, Japanese pressings, remasters, box sets. Oh boy! I could probably buy a new truck. John Reed, Jar Flies. John, have you bought from us before? Thank you and welcome. If you are a first-time buyer, if you have bought from us before, welcome back. I don't think I'll say your name too many times. All right. Let's see here. Will you accept $200 for Unplugged? Sell Tammy Unplugged for $200. Sold. I'm making that the last record in that bin. All right, unplugged, it's sold to Tammy for $200. Thank you, Tammy. Nice pickup. All right, let me slide this down. And 
Boy, sorry for the sniffling. <laughs> that there. And let me move this here. All right. Do you purchase? I have a bunch of Aussie original pressings. Brandon, we purchase more records than anybody in the United States. We buy collections that have their own collections. Yes, just send us a message and I will greatly be interested. Uh, okay, I think we're caught up. We sold Unplugged. The rest of the KISS stuff, which isn't much, will be sold at a later date. also have these other metal auctions, which will be sold at a later date. Uh, tomorrow. <laughs> Some of the KISS stuff will probably be finished tomorrow as well. So, uh, we're not done. We're about to start selling some movie posters. And if you're new to our sales, you might want to stick around because you're about to see some really cool stuff. But that pretty much concludes uh, records for tonight. I'm going to start selling some movie posters. I don't have much to go through, so it's not going to be one of these 2 a.m. nights. But however, it's already pretty late, and we still got several packets to go through here. But I'm about to finish up this pack so we can go through some uh, movie posters right quick. And uh, I'm going to get a paper towel so I could blow my nose. And I can't go too long because my allergies are severely disrupting me right now. All right, so we're about to go through movie posters. If you're here just for records and you have a certainty that movie posters are no interest to you, We'll be back tomorrow at 7 o'clock for more records. I hope that you stick around, though. If you haven't already, please go ahead and like the post. I know it's extremely late, but you'll be surprised how if you like the post, it will suggest our other videos to you. So if you have more, uh, if you like our post and you want to see more of them, the more you like it, the more Facebook will show it to you in case you didn't know that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and break out the first packet, and we're going to start showing some movie posters. And let's start, let's start with a Paul Newman packet. Do not comment Paul Newman. I think y'all know the drill by now. We're about to go through some movie posters. I got to bring my laptop a little bit closer. I need to do some clean, cleaning house though. I've got empty sleeves and I got to get my laptop closer. Move this Joe Satriani over here. I also have a whole pack, I think, of Steve McQueen and Paul Newman lobby cards we hadn't gone through yet. Uh, let me move some stuff over here, though. There's the very first sleeve and the very first note of the auction I did tonight, which was Wicked Lester. First auction was a battle, for sure. Let me do some condensing and crate moving around, for sure. Let's move these right here. The new Black Keys album, down to about five copies. And let me move these over here. Sold a lot of new vinyl tonight going through crates, which is great because we're going to have some huge orders, huge orders coming in this week, huge orders coming in this week, which means we're going to really get stocked up pretty fast on stuff. Unless we sell it all, I have been known to get huge orders in and it all evaporate. Give you one second, I got to get everything cleaned up here. If not, then things will move, creep along very slowly during this segment, if I don't get everything kind of organized. <laughs> yeah, I've been known to go on 24-hour selling binges before. I don't like to know, I hate to know that I'm falling behind, so we try to stay ahead. It'll be hard to find somebody that outworks us. That'll be a difficult task. All right, I still haven't got my laptop over here, but let's at least start showing some posters. I've almost got everything condensed, though. I'll, I'll start showing some, and then we'll bring out some new ones. All right, let's see what we have here.
Sorry that took forever. Absence of Malice, Paul Newman and Sally Field. Absence of Malice, an original one sheet. In America, can a man be guilty until proven innocent? Sorry, I had to sneeze. I've got a bunch of these. Does anybody want one for $9.99? I didn't even look it up, but they're going to be $9.99. They're nice. Looks like they're unhung. Brent wants one. $9.99. Anybody else? Absence of malice, an original one sheet. Quick deal to start it off. $9.99. Looks like I got a bunch. I probably got a dozen or more. Original one sheets. Brent gets that one. Michael Ruttman says he'll take one. I figured that would do it. Try to get some stuff sold tonight. Let's sell one to Michael Ruttman, $9.99. Let's sell one to Curtis Marachi for $9.99. Let's sell one to Jamie Wills Erickson for $9.99. Anybody else? As you see, there's quite a bit of stack. That's a Paul Newman movie, $9.99. Original movie poster. Move that right there. Um... Let's see here. Flip that over. And let's see what the next one is. Now, don't get used to that price, okay? That was just a warm-up. We have... Harry and Son? Harry and Son? Paul Newman and Robbie Benson? Harry and Son. Okay, I've only got a few of these, but nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. Nine ninety-nine. Nine ninety-nine. Nine ninety-nine. I got three of them. Those two look nice. The last one looks like maybe it has pin taped corners. Nine ninety-nine. Nine ninety-nine. Nine ninety-nine. Where's my bottle of water? I'm going to need it. Give me one second. All right. Okay. No interest in that. This is Paul Newman movies. Nineteen seventy three Paul Newman, the the what? The Macintosh Man? The Macintosh Man. Only Macintosh could save them now. Never heard of that one. Ombre means man. Paul Newman is ombre. Wow. Pretty cool looking poster. Ombre means man. Paul Newman is ombre. And that introduces my uh, first official attempt of looking these up. So let me go bring, let me go get my laptop. That's the first challenge I have. I'm just, I don't need to bring my charger because we, it won't take that long for it to go through the rest of these tonight. So let me bring this over here. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Nineteen sixty six.
You get signed in, of course. I feel like this might be a good one, but we'll find out. This is an odd looking design for sure. Definitely not the one sheet. I think it's some kind of advance possibly. It's a, it's an advance. Here's where a fine, very fine with very significant corner damage and rip sold for 33, four years ago. Brent, I'll sell this for $25 and it's nice. That one had like corner rips and everything. Four years ago, 33, I'll sell this for 25. $25, Brent. My gosh, I can't believe it. I really can't believe I'm unfolding this right now. Man, how many of these do Fred have? That's incredible. Such a very desirable poster, and we have found another one. Another Cool Hand Luke. However, this one has a tear here. It has a tear there. It's Cool Hand Luke, though. Paul Newman, Cool Hand Luke. You don't want to know the price if you're interested. It's not cheap. Let's sell that to Brent, the Hombre, for $25. I'm going to put that over here. i got to probably start putting those on eBay or something. I've got like four of them now, including the three sheet that is... They're all over a thousand dollars each. Here's another Lady L. We had those the other night. Lady L. This is a different style though. This one looks a little neater. That has a big rip. There's another one in here. Let's open up a different one. This is style B. This one looks nice. There we go. She's the only lady who ever got a boyfriend for her wedding present. Sophia Lauren, Paul Newman, and Lady A. That's style B, which I think we had some style A's the other night, and they just didn't look that great. That might be the one you want there if you're interested. There's another. Well, let me make sure. Lady A, Lady A. Yep, those are all Lady A, style A's and B's. Woosa. Woosa. You prefer them folded as opposed to rolled? Well, actually, they came folded. This is how they originally were shipped to movie theaters. However, some did survive rolled from this era. From this era, E-R-A. And if you can find certain movie posters from this era, rolled, they're exponentially more. For example, Cool Hand Luke there. Cool Hand Luke is about a $1,000 poster in that condition folded. If you found a Cool Hand Luke rolled with no damage, it would probably be $6,000. Rolled or exponentially more money, usually five times more than a folded one. For the example, we sold a Back to the Future the other night for a few hundred dollars. If it was rolled, it would have been $1,500, probably five times more. Most of these came folded. That's how they were shipped from, these all came from a poster distributor warehouse in Texas. That's where the person we got them from got them from back in the 90s. They came from a poster distributor warehouse and, and uh, 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 Texas. This is called pocket money, pocket money. 
We have not found slap shot, and so far I don't have another ombre. But we got plenty of packets to go to. This is slap shot. Or, no, excuse me, not slap shot. They're asking about slap shot. This is pocket money. This is pocket money. But obviously, we were preferred road posters, but if you're going to collect posters from this era, they're most likely going to be folded, and if you want to collect road ones, you're going to be spending a lot more money. But you can get these things uh, framed really well, and uh, they look great. Some people's... Uh, we've been selling these for over a month now. A lot of people's got them, already framed them, and, and got them hanging in their house, so... Brent, pocket money is $25. It's in very nice condition. No pinholes, no rips, no tears, and excellent paper condition. $25, Brent. And the last one here is another Woosa. So, there's that first Paul Newman packet. There's the first Paul Newman packet. And uh, let's go ahead and bring out the one I think everybody wants to look at. So... Before we get too deep here, I'll do 15. Uh, what did I say, 25? Okay. Sell out the Brent for 15. I'm going to hide these over here so nobody gets a peek early. Let's see what we have in here. All right, I'm going to flip the stack over, and we're going to start from the bottom here and work our way through it. All right. What I'm trying to see if there's any of these big ones that have, if we have duplicates. These are all Jack Nicholson movies. Jack Nicholson. All right, so everybody be ready. There's a couple in here I think are big dogs, as we call them. This first one is The Last Detail. Jack Nicholson, The Last Detail. Uh, Landon and then Brent, there's a little bit of a tear up here at the top, up here, see where my hand is, a little bit of a tear there. It has pinholes in the two corners at the top where it looks like it was hung. Because of that damage, $20. Landon, you're first, then Brent Robley. $20 on that one, Landon, then Brent Robley. And I have another one. I think it's different though. Yep, I have one much different looking. I got one with just a bunch of writing on it. Landon, that could be yours for 20 because Brent's already said pass, but you had first dibs. Going south, Landon said sold. Landon, do you want that other one to accompany it for ten more dollars? He actually said, "Is it twenty? I'll sell it to you for ten if you want it for ten. So I'll sell you both of them for thirty. I have a feeling he's going to say yes. That sold to Landon for thirty dollars. Okay, we have Jack Nicholson going south. That was folded weird. It, no damage to it, just it was folded untraditionally. I wonder if a machine did these, or they had literally a human all day just folding posters in the 70s and 60s. Imagine having that job. Just all day long, you were folding these. $25. A machine. Interesting. 
$25, Brent. Sold, $25. Michelle was second. Michelle, I've got another one. Michelle, I've got another one if you want it for $25. Okay, whatever this one is, I got a bunch of them. Cinderella Liberty. Sell Michelle the other one for $25. Cinderella Liberty. Fifteen dollars. I've got uh, several. Fifteen dollars. Let's see if I can get a better one than that. Brent and then Michelle. Brent. This one's much nicer. Fifteen dollars. Paper. Oh, is this not uh, Jack Nicholson? What is this? James Caan in Cinderella Liberty. Huh, I wonder why this was in here. Music by John Williams, of course. Interesting. Nice catch. I didn't catch that either. Still $15. And I pass it. That's okay. Kind of looks like Jack. Yeah, he might have. It might have confused Fred. He had to sort all these at one point. The two Jakes. This is some kind of advance. The two Jakes. I don't think this is actually a theater poster, though. This looks like on video cassette. The two Jakes. There it is. Two Jakes rolled. Insert. Yeah, this is some kind of like. See down here at the bottom, it says coming in February. $15 if y'all want it though. Who was first? John Moreno and then Michelle Miller, $15. Probably a video store poster. Heartburn, Jack Nicholson, and Meryl Streep. $15, Michelle. $15. Sold to Michelle for $15. Michelle, I still haven't looked at the posters behind the counter for you. Dang it. I'll do that tonight because I'm cleaning up behind the counter. Sorry, I'm... I had to mute my mic to sneeze. Chinatown! Which looks odd for a 74 poster. I'll have to look at this one. 
I need a blow my nose though right quick. This one looks a little odd. Okay, I'm back. Let's check on Chinatown. And this one looks like a... This didn't, it just didn't feel like it was from 1974 when I opened it. And it doesn't look like the original one sheet. It may be a reissue of some sort. I haven't seen it on here, though. This has got a completely black border. It does have a 74 copyright date on it, but that doesn't mean anything. It's actually really cool. I mean, it's like got an all black border. I'm trying to find an exact one like it. Let's see if we can narrow it down by a year, but I'm not having any luck. There we go. 1990. I think. No, it don't say that at the bottom. Never mind. Well, let me see what else was here. Yeah, I, I know for sure it's not an original one sheet. I don't know exactly what it is, but if anybody wants it, I'll do $20 on it. And of course, the original one sheet looks like it's pretty pricey, you know. So, uh, $20. It's probably some kind of video store, but there was one that said video cassette. So, all right. Brent was first. Brent was first, twenty-five dollars, or did I say twenty? What did I say? I think I said $25. Confirm on that, everybody, or Brent, whoever's paying the most attention. I said 20. Thank you. The Fortune. The Fortune. Nineteen seventy five. Well, I'm not. Li I'm not liking the uh, outlook on this packet because we're getting down to a few posters, and I hadn't seen what we're all looking for. I am honestly starting to get worried, just FYI. Um, at least what was labeled what was supposed to be in here. We, with most of these, we don't know what's in them. $20 on this, Michelle. $20 on this. And I have another one that's extremely faded. And then I have another one that looks very similar to that one. She said sold. I'll give you the first one to open. That sold Michelle for 20 There's two more. That one is extremely faded. And then that one is probably similar to the one Michelle just got for 20 The Missouri Breaks. Marlon Brando and Jack Nicholson. The Missouri Breaks. Wow. The 
the Godfather. 25 dollars Brent and then Michelle then Michael Ruttman 25 dollars Brent Michelle and then Michael Ruttman Brent said so we did this earlier here's another last detail and then the other poster so $30 for both of them. It's style A and B. Last detail. We had those earlier, if you remember. Let's open up this one, make sure the other one had some tears. This one's okay. I don't see any pinholes or anything in this one or rips or tears. Brent, I'm assuming you want both of them for 30, but just let me know. They were 20 and 10. This one has one dog-eared corner here, which I'll try to flatten like that. Prizzy's Honor. Okay, let's see here. Uh, where did we get to? Uh, Prizzy's Honor. All right. Twenty-five on this one, Brent, and he said he'll take just the twenty-dollar one from earlier. So he just wants this one right here. That last detail sold to Brent for 20 25 on Prizzy's Honor. Ah, oh, man. I don't know. So, I get, let me check this right here. Unless there was something to do with this. Well... Don't worry, I'm going to be just as disappointed as y'all. But this is what was written on the packet, and we've got to the end of the movie posters. And two of them that was written on here is not in here. One flew over the cuckoo's nest and the shining. We have some lobby cards, but I've already took a peek at them. Those aren't in there. Now... Could there be another Jack Nicholson packet in one of these other... Uh, let me see what else is left in this tub. That is... That is disappointing. I mean, usually he scratches that stuff off, but I'd say those are long gone. However, I do have some more lobby cards. I've got the last detail. I've got Chinatown, I've got Chinatown, I've got the border, I've got the border, and I've got the border. And those are $10 each. I guarantee they're somewhere. They're in a, bo they're in a boot box back there we hadn't got to. They're in another packet somewhere. They're probably somewhere back there. So, The Border. Which movie does he say You Can't Handle the Truth? Is it on that one? Which movie is that from? You Can't Handle the Truth. Sell Brent both of the Chinatowns for $15. I still got the Border lobby cards, and I have the last detail. All right. 
put those over there. Oh, a few good men. Mm. A few good men. You can't handle the truth. Well, let's keep going though. Let's see what else is in this next packet. This next one is, aha. Well, this was asked about earlier. Slapshot, style B. Slapshot, style B. There's some damage to it though. There's like a stain right there and a stain right there, but that's not too bad. And up here at the top, it looks like it has a little moisture damage to it. Slap shot. Style B. Folded 115. Folded 42, folded 51, folded very fine, 37, 42. This one has some moisture damage to it. And I'll show you what I mean up close. Let me flip it over. You might see it more. It looks like it got a little wet, a little damp up in here. You can see kind of the moisture damage there, more so on the back. And those two not very noticeable spots. But uh, because of that, I'm only gonna price it for $25. $25. I think a nice one would be $40 or $50. So $25 on that. It was Craig and Brent. They've already passed. So Greg Lapey and Michelle and Michael Ruckman's next. $25 on Slapshot. And I think this was popular. This is uh, another small Paul Newman packet, as you can tell I found. This is called Blaze. This is Paul Newman and Blaze. And I think we sold one of those the last time we had one. Blaze. So everybody passed on Slapshot, I think. There was one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. I think everybody passed. Blaze is also $25. Michelle was first. $25 on that, Michelle. Slapshot. Oh, that's uh, still available. Curtis said he'd get 15. Well, that's more than everybody else is willing to get. There was something else over here in the Jack Nicholson. Hold on one second. There was a, a Life magazine, or excuse me, a Rolling Stone magazine for $15. Rolling Stone usually demands a little bit more money because they're music related magazines with cool articles. It's got cool music stuff in it. So there is a Rolling Stone magazine 1981 Jack Nicholson cover if anybody wants that for $15. All right, let's go ahead and sell Slapshot to Curtis for 15. This is the most I'd seen on the board. And Michelle wants to see Blaze open. You got it. Not a bad thing. So we can see it full spread. Paul Newman, Earl Long for governor. Sorry, it's kind of hard to always show these. A governor, a stripper, forced to, forced to choose between the office he held and the woman he loved. He chose both. Right. There was two posters in there, Slapshot and Blaze. And then there was some rant. This was also in the Jack Nicholson pack. It was a couple of random things. The gang's all here. Just scraps of an Easy Rider press book. Just scraps of an Easy Rider press book and uh, some other stuff. Looks like Easy Rider stuff. So. She'll pass on Blaze. That's okay. And nobody on the Rolling Snow. Let's see what the next packet is. Next packet is, oh boy, more Paul Newman. Let's skip that for now. And let's do, uh, we never did get to this one last night, the Walter Mathau, Mathu, Walter Mathu. It looks like it's just one poster. House Calls, House Calls, Walter Mathu, Mathau. Somebody help me with that. I think last night somebody said M-A-T-H-O-W. Mathau. Walter Matthau, House Calls. Fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars. Uh, Michelle, you're first.
And then there's some lesser grade ones. Well, that one don't look too bad there. Uh, there might be one more really, really nice one. She said so. If anybody else wants to see one, let me know. That's sold to Michelle for 15. That's the only thing that was in that one. I think there is another Walther Mathal, though. <laughs> Joel McCray. Joel McCray. Let's see what's going on in Joel McCray. Mustang Country. Mustang Country. $20, Curtis, Michelle, and then Michael. $20, Curtis, Michelle, and then Michael. Curtis, Michelle, Michael. Curtis said sold. I think I said $20. I can't remember these prices. And then here's another one. It has some tape bleed through right here. I don't know if y'all can see that. And down here at the bottom. So it has some damage to this one. $10 if anybody wants this one because of the tape. It's got tape bleed through damage on it. And lots of lobby cards. I'm going to skip those for now. And we hadn't done Haley Mills, so let's see what movie or movies this is. Haley Mills. Michael, do you want the tape, the one with tape on it for $10? Oh, well, it's pretty cool. The Truth About Spring. The Truth About Spring. Haley Mills, a British actress, daughter of Sir John Mills. Hey, Tiger Bay, Pollyanna. She's still alive, 1977. Parent Trap, 1961. I just had to look her up right quick. I didn't know much about her. Michelle, this is nice. Uh, this is $30. 1965. $30 on that one. Truth about screen. Michael said he wants the Tate uh, Mustang poster. Tate Mustang poster for $10. Michelle, $30 on that one. She said sold. $30. Next is... The Family Way. The Family Way. Twisted Nerve. Wow, that's got some great graphics on it. I 
I hit the mute, I hit the mute mic, the mute mu <laughs> Whew, the mute button just in time. Twenty-five dollars on Twisted Nerve. Michael, Michelle, Brent, Curtis, and Craig. Nice condition too. Twenty-five dollars. Uh, Michael has first dibs on that one. This looks like another one. It is. Uh, Michelle, you're next. Here's another really nice one, it looks like. Yeah, very another Chris, very nice one. That one sold to Michael for 25. That one's pending to Michelle and then Brent. We sold most of Haley. Haley wasn't that bad of a pack as far as percentage of sold. Michelle passed. Brent, you're next on Twisted Nerve. Brent says he'll take it for 25. Bad News Bears lobby card. Bad News Bears lobby card. Bad News Bears lobby card. Bad News Bears lobby card, a duplicate. Uh, Plaza Sweet, another Bad News Bears. Plaza Sweet. We're another we're in another Walter pack. Bad news bears. Bad news bears. Bad news bears. I got a lot of duplicates and then Plaza Suite. Uh, so let's see what we got. We might can do enough where everybody gets like a different one. Or a, the a set of different ones at least. We got three and four and eight. And then there's another four. And then there's another eight. And then there's another three. And then there's another four. And there's another eight. And there's another three. So I think there's three threes, three fours, and three eights. So we usually do these 10, 10, 10. Let's do 25 for three. And the first three people can get one of each, and they're all nice. So Brett, three for 25. Curtis, three for 25. Tim Jensen, three for 25. There's an eight, there's a four, and there's a three. Sold to Brent. So make sure those three are sold for $25. Curtis was next. He said sold. There's a three, a four, and an eight. Sold. Three more, $25. And then Tim Jensen takes the same deal. Very popular movie. And then there's a poster to The Secret Life of an American Wife, also in the Walter Matthau packet. The Secret Life of an American Wife. This is $20. Brent and then Michelle. All right, we're almost done with this tub. Wait on that stuff. I'm looking for posters. That's lobby cards and miscellaneous. Uh, she said so. Secret Life. That's 20 bucks to Michelle Miller. Let's 
lobby cards. All right, this probably, let's see what's in here. Paul Newman Rolling Stone Magazine, 15 bucks. Grider on Kennedy, Dire Straits, and Hot Computers, 1983. There's another Paul Newman. That's a Life Magazine, $15. And there's a Post Magazine. There's the big three, Rolling Stone, Post, and Life. I think I've gotten down to mostly lobby cards here, so let's show them. I mean... Might as well. There's some cool Life magazines, though. Paul Newman, Paul Newman. Look, Post is from 68. Life is from 68. Rolling Stones from 83. All right, so. This is Ombre Lobby Cards. Ombre. We've got one, four, eight, five, six, and seven, but there's some more over here in that last packet that I said that was miscellaneous stuff. More ombre. We got one. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Where's six at? There's six. Okay. There's a whole set of eight ombre lobby cards. Forty dollars if anybody wants them. Complete set of eight ombre lobby cards. Nineteen sixty seven. Very nice condition too. These don't look like they were hung or used. Forty dollars. And then there's some extras. Okay. Pocket money lobby cards. Pocket money. Nope. Sting. Ah, cool. A Sting lobby card. The Sting. Just got one of those, it looks like. Judge Roy Bean, the life and times of Judge Roy Bean, Judge Roy Bean, those are Judge Roy Bean lobby cards, this is the color of money, press book, Judge Roy Bain. Let's see if I got a whole set here, Paul. We got numbers two, one and two, one, two, and four, one, two, four, five, one, two, four, five, six, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Surely there's a three in there somewhere. There it is. Nope, that's another one. Nope, that's pocket money. Wow. Seven. Eight, six, five, four, one, and three. Yep, three's missing. Number three's missing. However, I will make you a killer deal. What did I price eight for earlier? 40, 35 for those. 35 for those. You just got to get online and hunt you down a number three. Color of Money press kit. Michelle, 10 bucks. Michelle, 10 bucks. We have the Verdict lobby cards. 
The verdict. The verdict. The verdict. The verdict. Paul Brothers has sold so those seven Judge Roy Bain lobby cards for $35. There's the verdict, the color of money. I think Brent was first. I think Brent caught a glimpse of it earlier when I didn't officially show it. <laughs> I think I had it laying over here and he, he saw it. But if you want to give it to him and he wants it, go ahead. It's 10 bucks. But. A Sting press book. The Sting. Where you could order different posters and different advertising materials. Tells a little bit about a, the movie here at the end. The Sting. He'll pass. Okay. What about The Sting and The Color of Money for $10? And I don't know what that is, but I'll throw that in too. Okay, now Michelle's bought in. All right, so those three items, let me just put them all in this packet here. That'll make it easier. That's the color of money. The Sting and the other Color of Money thing for $10. This is Never Give an Inch and Willy Boy back-to-back -back press kit top deal thing. Okay, and then we had Winning, an Advertising Publicity Promotion. And then we're back to the Joel McRae Lobby Cards. The Tall Stranger. There may be others in here. We probably need to flip through them. Let's see what other Joel McRae stuff we have here. The Tall Stranger. Trooper Hook. Wow, that's a cool one. Trooper Hook. Trooper Hook, Tall Stranger, Gunsight Ridge. This is Sullivan's Travels is not Landon. That's not something original. That's not that's nothing original. Tall Stranger, unfortunately. Trooper Hook. Trooper Hook. Trooper Hook. Wichita. Wichita and Tall Stranger. Now let me figure out what we got going on with the trooper hooks here. We got a one, two, three. We got a one, two, three, six. We got a one, two. Nope, we got something underneath that one too, I think. No, that's tape. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, four, six. One, two, three, four, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Colorado Territory. That one's pretty cool. It's like pink colors. Colorado Territory. We didn't see that one first time around. These things, my hands are very dry, and these things are hard to get a hold of when that happens. Okay, so I think the first one to Trooper Hook was uh, Michelle and then Christopher and then Curtis, mostly because that first one had some really good graphics. It kind of probably looks like the movie poster. 
me lay these out. I think we have a run through six here, it looks like. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know if there's eight or just six in this set, but $40 for those six on those. That's pretty cool. Yeah. $40 for those six. Michelle said sold. Michelle said sold. Excuse my tongue twisting. All right, put those other ones over there. Now, I have one thing left in this tub. And we're about to find out what it is. If they're lobby cards, I may wait. It says Martin and Lewis lobby cards. I wonder if Jet String's watching. Let's see what we got in here. Yeah, it's pretty nice. You can tell they're original. Look how the inking came through on that one. All right, so if you want any of these, I guess let's just do the names of the movies. We'll do them for $10 each. I'll go through them. We'll do them for $10 each. Comment the name of the movie, okay? Because I think these are all different. We have the caddy. There's the caddy. That's my boy. The Caddy, that's my boy. My Friend Irma Goes West. Jumping Jacks. Those are all $10 each. There's Jumping Jacks. Michelle Miller wants the Caddy. That's so to Michelle Miller, the Caddy. There's Jumping Jacks. My Friend Irma Goes West. Christopher Brusha wants Jumping Jacks. That's so to Christopher Brusha. Michelle Miller was second. That's my boy and my friend Irma Goes West. Those are still available for 10 and 10. Okay, here's some more we may have a set of or more of. At War with the Army, we got number one, number seven, number five, one, five, seven. At War with the Army, one, two, three, or one, four, five, seven, one, two, four, five, seven. And then there's artists and models. Sorry, I had an allergy attack. Can I see West? You can, but first, Brent, I've got one, two, three, four, five here for $35 on these. Five for 35 on those. And then there's uh there's artist and models, also ten dollars. Christopher says, Can I see West? My friend Irma goes west. Just Jerry Lewis on that one and a monkey. All right, Brent said sold. That was those five there for 35 That sold to Brent. Artists and models still available, $10. And then my friend Irma, and that's my boy. I'm going to put Brent's in this here. All right, that sold to Christopher Brusha. Let's see. My friend Irma, that's so to Chris Brush. And Michelle says, I claim the boy. Okay, that's my boy. That's so to uh, Michelle. I don't think that ever came through. And that just leaves artists and models. All right, let's keep showing Dean Martin, Jerry Lewis. Living it up. Dean Martin and Jerry Lee Lewis. $10. Living it up. You're never too young. 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 1955 lobby cards. You're never too long. You're never too young. Christopher Brush, the first to living it up. 
That's sold to Christopher Brusha. Uh, Jerry Lee, my bad. <laughs> Jerry Lewis. This guy does not play a piano, at least to my knowledge. He does not. He's He doesn't sing great balls of fire, at least not to my knowledge. So You're Never Too Young is still available. Not Jerry Lee Lewis. Sorry. I think y'all should know, though, how many times I have to say Jerry Lee Lewis selling records. Can I be forgiven? Artists and models. 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 Michelle says never. Oh! I didn't even realize what happened there. Michelle. Michelle, there's one, two, three, four, five. Forty dollars. Forty dollars, Michelle. There's five. Nineteen fifty five. Curtis, artists and models. Those five to Michelle for forty. Let's see what we have here, Curtis. We got number six with some damage on the side. Number three, number four, a five, a one, an eight, a two, and a seven. We got all eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a complete set. And I'll sell those to you for four, four, fifty dollars. That's all eight of them. Partners, 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 one, two, four, one, two, four, five, partners, 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 and partners. So sell this set here, the artists and models, for $50 to Curtis. Looks like we're missing them all but three, unless one of them stuck together. So that should be seven then. Two, four, six, seven. Uh, seven there for $50. Michelle and then Brent. She said sold, those seven for 50, partners. Honeymoon from home. Honeymoon from home. You're never too young, you're never too young. You're never too young, you're never too young. Another you're never too young and honeymoon from home. So, Michelle's first on You're Never Too Young. Michelle, I'll say all three of those for $20. And Christopher, I'll say you both Honeymoon from Homes for $15. Those three for $20 to Michelle. Those two to Christopher for $15.
Did you do the Kiss albums yet? Michelle said sold. That was those three for 20. We sold Kiss albums, Billy, from 7 to midnight. I still got about 40 left. We're probably going to finish them up tomorrow. We're now doing movie posters. We sold Kiss albums, though, from 7 to midnight. We auctioned and auctioned and auctioned. We're going to resume again tomorrow at 7 o'clock. Christopher gets those two for 15. Now we're doing movie posters and Hollywood memorabilia from the golden age, 1949. My friend Irma. 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 Dean Martin and Jerry Lee Lewis. I did that one on purpose. Jerry Lewis. I'm going to mute my mic for a second. Anita Ekberg on this one. Hollywood or Bust. I think that's who that is. One of these are. Hollywood or Bust. 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 So we got eight, five. Eight five four, eight five four three two, eight five four six seven. I don't think I said number one. There's no number one, but there's two, three, four. There's not a number. Yeah, five, six, seven, eight. There's seven there. Uh. $55, Michelle's first, $55, then Curtis. Michelle said sold, those for $55. If I get them back in the sleeve, Michelle. There we go. Okay. Scared stiff. Scared stiff. Number six. Number seven. Scared stiff. Number three. Scared stiff. Number five. Scared stiff. Number four. Scared stiff number one. One, three, four, five, six, seven. Another number four. Another number five and a, a number eight. So one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're missing number two in that set. $55, Michelle. And if anybody wants four and five, 15 bucks for those. 15 bucks for those. Tanner, are you leaving? Yeah, I am. I'm about to eat a burrito. Chipotle. <sighs> All right. Uh, so, Michelle, those seven for 55 or... Uh, four and five for 15. Christopher says he wants four and five for 15 if you don't take them. <sighs> My allergies. I've been fighting them all night. I'm going to go. Actually, I said I'm going to eat a burrito. I'm going to go to Walgreens first. And get some clarity. If my mom's awake, I'm going to ask where, if there's some here, if it's good <laughs> or something. All right, so those sold to Michelle. Those seven, I'm going to put them in a pack, 
And then, Christopher, you get the last two for 15. Wow, that turned out to be some pretty good stuff. Michelle, was you watching the other night when we went through the other uh, other ones? Other uh, Martin and Lewis stuff? Well, we have completely emptied that tub, and that was a great one. It wasn't much in there, but those were really good packets. The Paul Newman stuff, and let's see. Uh, all the, This is the only ones that didn't sell. My friend Irma, I will sell... Um, I will sell all the My Friend Irma's for $30 right now if anybody wants them. My Friend Irma's. There was uh, several in there. Haven't been able to watch. Were all the Koi and Luthpo you found the same? Uh, yeah, they're all the same design. I still, I haven't, I don't have any more that's in like really top condition anymore. Uh, hold on, I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've got like three, I got four Cool Hand Luke posters in stock right now. Three, but they all have something wrong with them. The one I had from tonight is the best. It just has two holes in it. The other one had some uh, writing at the top and pen. And the other one, I think, was faded or damaged. I can't remember. And then I've got a three sheet, but it's pretty tattered. But the three sheet's rare. The last one Heritage had was five years ago, and it sold for over $2,000. So... Lillian, I can show you uh, the be the best one I have. And uh, Michelle, I don't know where those are at. If I can find the box next time you're in store, I'm pretty sure we had some left. Like, I'm pretty positive we had some left over. Uh, same thing, when you come to the store, if I know where it is, I'll let you dig through it. If I can tell my mom, if not... We'll catch you the next time. But I think we're done. This tub's empty. Sorry about the Nicholson posters. Trust me, if they were in there, I would have loved to sold them to you because there probably have been a couple that might have been an air horn. Uh, maybe they'll show up. And uh, we still got that other tub we hadn't finished, and I went to the back and tried to find the other ones. I know where they're at. I've got to go get some medication to clear this up because I can't do this again all day tomorrow and sound like this. So hopefully this is all gone by 7 tomorrow. I'm about to eat. Tanner went home to go to bed. And after I get everything lined up for tomorrow night's auctions, that's probably what I'm going to do. Because I have been... I've been on the golf course. I didn't sleep that much. I went and played golf. I've been here. Done a sale. And I feel like I'm being punched in the, in the nasal cavity right now. So, But I don't feel bad. It's just annoying. I just wish it'd go away. So, uh... Wow, we've had a great night, and we're going to do it again tomorrow, and it's going to be even better. This KISS stuff was amazing. We had some rare stuff that we don't get too often, the KISS and Time Track and the the uh, uh, the Blue Tear Drop. That was a cool one. If there's anything else, let me know. If so, send a message or do something. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll do it again tomorrow. I'm about to eat, clean up, hopefully clear my nose. And I'll be back tomorrow at 7 o'clock. Thanks, good night, and we'll see you then.